very good morning and welcome to day two of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens part by dialogue coming to you live from the Nithavela Rugby Stadium here in Kandy. It's a beautiful morning. The sun has come out. There's still cloud cover just covering the, the mountain range uh, on the far side as you can see on screen just about uh, on top of that Kandy Sports Club logo. And uh, this is live pictures coming to you on the popray.com and also Channel 1 and My TV of uh, dialogue as the women's game uh, will kick off proceedings today. Joining me on the commentary box is Sachin David. Good morning, Sachin. Good morning, Dinuk, and uh, good morning to all our viewers. It was uh, an excellent day of rugby yesterday. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a repeat today. It's the business end of the tournament. Um, some exciting rugby to come. We had uh, the Mobital Eagles last evening, the only unbeaten team in the tournament so far, the defending champions. Picking up... Uh, three wins in their three games. Uh, the team to beat, we thought, was the Atisla Panthers, but the Cargill's Gladiators put them down last evening. Uh, so, some exciting stuff to come. As we see the Sri Lanka Army women's team warming up, getting ready for their game. And they're going to kick off proceedings for us today. The opening game in the women's segment will be Army Sports Club taking on CRNFC, while Navy Sports Club will play uh, the Air Force in the women's segment and then we get into the franchise quarterfinals uh, after which we will go into the school semi-finals and we'll continue on from there with the semi-finals of the franchises and the finals to end the day's proceedings so gonna be an entertaining day of rugby uh, Dinuk yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a big day no matter what happened yesterday is uh, it's gone down the drain people the teams have to prepare from scratch today and uh, this is where it will be decided yesterday's games were just a warm-up game uh, quarterfinals and uh, I was just talking to Laga after uh, the day yesterday and he, he said that if we win the game if we win the if they win the game today morning and they'll they're through to the cup semis and they'll they can finish in the top three exactly so uh, everything from scratch as Dinuk said uh, there you have the draw, the Cargill's Gladiators taking on the Soft Logic Warriors, the Walkers CML Vipers will play the KBSL Dragons, the Etisalat Panthers taking on the Access Kings and the Easy Wolves against the defending champions, the Mobitel Eagles. And then we have the schools, uh, Sachin Josephs uh, against King Sud, have upset there, King Sud coming on top in that first quarter final yesterday and then Dharmaraja going down to Science College, so both uh, the Damaraj fans will not be happy yesterday with, as St. Anthony's also went down to St. Peter's. So lo two local schools going down there and Trinity beating Isipatana. So they'll play St. Peter's in the first semi-final and Kingswood against Science. Yes, yeah, so Colombo Candy affair in the semi-finals. Uh, I think Trinity College definitely looked the side to beat uh, yesterday. They in the school's games. Vishwa Ranaraja uh, scoring a plethora of tries. So, some exciting stuff to come there. Yeah, the only worry for Trinity will be that uh, the injury at that last game for Warren Virakun was taken out with a shoulder injury. And that's uh, a big thing to worry about. Uh, heard that even Nalaka Virakuri was screaming from outside to take him out because he has to play in the Commonwealth under 18s <laughs> for Sri Lanka. So, uh, everything to play for. And uh, Kingswood College is another side to watch Sachin. They're very strong runners. And also, science. They. they, they uh, create some magic from nowhere and St. Peter's have a lot of experience in that lineup so it's it's uh, it's going to be a very competitive uh, day of rugby as you can see uh, the walkers wipers just walking in Kevin Dixon on the uh, uh, on the near side uh, had an injury I saw posted a picture on Instagram yesterday in hospital so hope he is recovered and ready to go today yes uh they have got uh, quite a side, haven't they? They played the first two games without uh, skipper Danushka Ranjan. He came back in and immediately made an impact and they picked up the last win. The, the win in their last game rather. Beating the Easy Wolves, 17 points to 14. Um, you see Priyam Taikanayaka, the Sri Lanka Rugby CEO. In charge of uh, tournament operations here. Yeah, he's been walking around, he's doing his business, uh, he's not a CEO who sits on his chair and instructs things. He has 
walked onto the field and that has got things done and that's the way he has been doing it so far. I hope he can do that uh, for a longer period and turn Sri Lanka rugby to where it was. Yes, and this is de- this tournament is definitely a good start, isn't it? It's improving. Uh, last week, uh, last year, rather, we started off with playing games just in Colombo. Now we brought it up to the hill capital. As you see in your background, uh, Motil Aljayatilaka talking to his former student uh, Sudarshana Mututantri. Interesting fact that Mututantri started off on the wing. It was uh, Motil Aljayatilaka who spotted his brilliance and moved him into the flank. Uh, so interesting there. A lot of credit goes to Motilal for. I think a lot of Sri Lankan fans will be happy he did that as well. Yeah, and also I was told uh, he even spotted uh, Andrew the Wilbur at uh, Vidyartha. And then uh, what a player he has turned out to be now. So there is a lot of talent, a hidden talent, I think, uh, in Sri Lanka which has to be brought out. And uh, coaches like this have been walking around and getting. A lot of players out. Danushka Ranjan is one. Sandun Herat is another. Keith Gurusinghe was one. Fazil Marija was another. So, uh, Motilal has done a lot of work. Yes, he's been a part of uh, quite a few winning sides. He was involved with Kingswood in the unbeaten run from 2003 to 2005. He then moved uh, to St. Peter's as the CRNFC ladies and Sri Lanka Army ladies take the field. The opening game of day two. Uh, early start once again for Sevens Rugby. Sri Lanka Army taking on uh, CRNFC. A lot of Sri Lanka women's players involved in this as well, and it's good for the game. Yes, and it's good to give these ladies some exposure in the big league, isn't it? Uh, uh, we're expecting some big crowds later in the evening, hopefully. Well, uh, RNFC taking it up. This is uh, nice offload off the ground there. Nice turnover there by uh, the army. And uh, Sri Lanka Army have gone over for the first try of the day. Excellent work that did <laughs> very well to hold on to possession. Forced the turnover inside the 22 and went over on the far corner. Yeah, rushed their defence up against the CRNFC line uh, and uh, managed to put a lot of pressure on uh, the CRNFC girls. Turned over ball and then uh, just managed to uh, spring a couple of paces and then uh, won the on the battle on the outside with a lot of pace to score the first try for Sri Lanka Army. Army getting us back underway. Fumbled by CRNFC Army again with possession. Definitely one of the favourites going into this uh, game, Dinuk. Nice draw and pass there. Excellent work by the Sri Lanka Army. And the player out on the wing he had the legs to go over in the corner. 
and she's under the post. Yeah, once again, CRNFC you losing the ball in contact and uh, Army capitalizing on that. Just uh, send the ball from right to left and too much pace to run around to score that try. The conversion is uh, not good enough to uh, gain the extra two. Here's the replay once again. This is the last passage. Nice draw and pass. Beautiful technique. Just running around uh, the CRNFC win three quarter. There are too much pace to score the second try for Sri Lanka Army. That's another try for Army. <laughs> Off the kickoff once again. The replay once again. Too much pace. Just covered the line of the drift defense. Gave the ball on the outside to score that try. Yes, um, Army doing the basics very well and executing it very well. And that's the reason they are up three, ti three tries to nil. So if you're around Candy, please drop into the Nithavella Rugby Stadium. It's a carnival atmosphere here at uh, the Nithavella Grounds. Uh, it's not that you'll get it every day. It's again that you'll see when the Candy Sports Club team run out here end of uh, this year for the club season. So, uh, so there won't be some rugby for a quiet while up in Candy. So if you're around at uh, Candy or just around uh, Nithavella Rugby Stadium, come join us. Have fun, spend a day, bring your kids here. There are a lot of things happening, a lot of promotions going on. So you can come here, have fun with the kids on a beautiful Sunday afternoon and evening here in Candy. Yes, definitely. Uh, and it's not often you get Sevens Rugby up in Candy. As uh, that arm in win three quarters prints over once again for her second try of the game. She's got some legs on her, doesn't she? That's just pace shown there, isn't <laughs> Sachin, what pace just to put the foot down on the accelerator. Ran around that CR defense. Look at this replay once again. Look at the acceleration, just put the foot down on the accelerator, pinned her ear backs. Oh, brilliant stuff from uh, Army. Sia now trying to play inside their own half. There was a forward pass and once again conceding position. Once again, a big reminder to all of you around uh, Candy, the fans of uh, Candy Sports Club, Treaty Anthony's, King Sud, Dharma Raja, Vidyartha, Sylvester's, all the schools, fans just come over here. Exciting rugby, entrance free of charge. So uh, there's nothing much you need to spend. Come have fun here at the uh, Nithavella Rugby Stadium. Yes, uh, yesterday they claimed uh, Candy was the rugby capital. So we'll see what kind of crowd uh, Candy can put out for this uh, excellent day of Sevens Rugby. As the Army is still with possession, leading 24 points to nil in the first half. Here's Army once again. This is the speed on the outside. A lovely draw and pass. And again, too much pace on the left flank. Another try coming up for Army. It's a try fest here in the first half of the women's action. The replay once again. Once again, good hard running. And uh, some strength to finish that off. Yes, Sachin, I hope our fans won't let me down. The rain didn't let me down, the weather didn't let me down yesterday, so I predicted right. I hope my fans will turn up today. So, uh, of course, yes, if it's a candy game, you'll see a packed stadium. 
A lot of candy players are involved here as well. So come over, support your local boys. Kingswood and Trinity in the semis as well of the cup. And then you have Dharmaraj and Anthony is also playing in the plate segment or the bowl segment. Bowl and shield segment. So uh, that's the half-time score. 29 points to nil. Army leading against the RNFC women's. Don't be afraid, make the call. Enjoy a host of benefits with Mobitel via Knetua Rovi. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Army Sports Club leading uh, 29 points to nil as we get the second half underway. Good counter are coming from CRNFC, but uh, referee penalizes them for diving over. Good strength shown there by the CRNFC girl. Here is Army once again. The speeds are now trying to show and go once again. Brilliant stuff. Just uh, passes the ball to her inside teammate to score another try for Army. Yes, excellent space of Anna Stel, isn't it? She's, she saw some space on the outside, used it, drew the player in, stepped back inside, threw the gap and the inside pass to send her teammate over. Thirty-six points to nil. Eight and a half minutes on the clock. Restart by Army once again, putting this keeper deep into CRNFC territory, and they rush up in their defence. Poor pass. Knock forward. Great opportunity, but a knock forward from Sia. Yes, uh, Sia have failed to hold on to any sort of possession in this, any meaningful possession in this game. The cut back on the inside, loop around. Good offloading game from Army. They're not throwing position away, they're holding on to it, getting those passes away, and they go over under the post for another try. Very well done there by uh, Sachin by Army. They switch the direction of play, couple of loops, inside passes, ran around the defense, brought back play in. So playing with a lot of 7th sense, uh, this army team. 
I'm sure most of these girls are involved in the Sri Lanka squad as well. Conversion under the crossbar. Now we see the pass back on the inside. Step back and turns on the gas. And also good awareness of the ball carrier changing hands where the defender came from. So a lot of basic skills shown there by Army Sports Club. 41 points to nil. I think arguably this is the highest uh, points that has been scored so far in the tournament. 41 points to nil. Now the difference in a game. Army conceding a kick, a free kick rather, of the kick off. But they managed to regain position. Once again, looking to run from inside their own half. Oh, lovely step on the. Oh, blind side there by the army player and she will go for a third try just spotted the pace on the out space on the outside had too much pace and class to go through around uh, the CR defense this time once again hitting the crossbar Yes, uh, that's something the army players are going to need to work on is their conversion. And we've had quite a few tries under the post. And uh, those are the basics they need to really get right. Once again, um, CRNFC now taking the ball. Finally with some possession. Looking to break on the outside. Doesn't have the legs. Excellent defense, co cover defense uh, by Army. The counter are coming. Referee opting not to play any advantage. See, are now with possession. Pass goes out the back. A little kick over the top. The chase uh, not coming from CRNFC. So Army back with possession now. So the fan and an offload out the back door. Beautifully done there. Coming up next is the women's game between Navy Sports Club and Air Force Sports Club. The referee warning uh, the CRNFC player. Lovely inside step. Switch once again from Army. And the ball just. Uh, She's now looking for a support player on the, the inside. One uh, decoy runner. Lovely step back in. Good game awareness there. Now some numbers on the outside. Knock backwards says the referee. This is the speedster. And she puts the foot down and she's going over for her third try, I believe that is the new. So a hat trick for her. And that takes Army Sports Club above 50 points. And now lead 51 points to nil as uh, Full-time Hooter goes with the conversion still to come. Conversion labors over. So that final score for you. Army Sports Club winning that game 53 points to nil over CRNFC. 
and a change in uh, commentary as uh, Joe and Romario will take over for me and Dinuk. Welcome back to the www.thepapre.com. You're joining us live from the Nitevela grounds up in Kandy for the second day of the first leg in the Sri Lanka Super Sevens uh, competition. And uh, now it's uh, the second uh, ladies match for the day. That's uh, Air Force versus Police. As you could see, both teams making their way to the field and, of course, uh, going through their customary huddles. Joining me in commentary is uh, Romario Di Silva. Good morning to you. Yes, very good morning to you, Joseph, and all our viewers joining us uh, from around the world on www.thebavare.com, Dialogue TV and MyTV. We are in for an exhilarating day of uh, rugby here on day two as uh, the cup semi-finals and uh, all the finals are scheduled to be played today. Just a small correction, that's uh, Air Force versus Navy ladies uh, in this particular game. So. Army in the previous match uh, made quite fair weather of uh, the CRNSC ladies winning by a whopping 53 points to nil. And it will be Air Force to kick off as uh, Navy fields the ball and uh, look to string an attack from the onset. Some, some lovely offloads going there and uh, this will be the first try of the game for Navy. And yes it is as she runs around the post and uh, dotted down under. That's the first point of the day for Navy Sports Club. Within a blink of an eye right off the restart or beginning of the game rather. Navy managing to capitalize on the opening and it's a comfortable conversion to come. Yes, and as the conversion goes over, Navy leading seven points to nil as we see the replay here of the drive. Beautiful couple of offloads, one, two, and the third one, and there was no stopping her as she ran away under the post for the first try. Good movement, good understanding, and uh, right place at the right time when it comes to the offloading. And it just looked uh, quite simple and uh, very easy on the eye. Yes, and now it's uh, Yafos on the run, the wing three quarter, putting on the pace and uh, getting the offload away and uh, she's away down the left wing. Uh, will the defence get there? Yes, it will, but uh, knock back, says the referee, but now I think it's, it is a knock on and it is a turnover, in fact, as uh, now Navy spring a counter. Good bit of strength shown on that occasion, but still uh, Air Force managed to keep uh, the attack down, but still Navy with possession and the numbers out on white. This could be real trouble for Air Force and uh, well, it's just a matter of a stroll now. Completely outnumbered on the counter and that should be the second try, that is the second try for Navy Sports Club. From defence to attack, uh, within a blink of an eye, Navy managed to turn things around and score the second try for themselves. And now the score stands at 12 points to nil with the conversion once again to come. The conversion is good, so 14 points to nil for Navy Sports Club. Here's the replay once again. Right off the breakdown. And uh, I think uh, once she got into her stride, she realized there was hardly any defenders around. So she took uh, matters to her hands and uh, saw that uh, move home uh, and scored the second try for Navy SC. Slowly but steadily, crowds gathering into Nitavela as uh, Navy restart proceedings. 
comfortably gathered now. Naf was looking for some inspiration, looking for possibly a response to get back into the game. Some good speed and uh, there she goes. This is the first try for Yafos and they strike back uh, right away to cut the deficit uh, here at Nittavala. And uh, she will take her time and dot down and yes, it's the first try now. And uh, ideally if this conversion goes over, it's just a seven point game. One score away, Yafos. Perfect response for going down by two tries. I think uh, just when they needed something to happen for them, the inspiration came from the wings. And that was just a stroll uh, once she shrugged off her uh, initial challenge. Here's a replay of uh, that try. She tried to go out wide. There was a sweeper, but uh, she was too strong for her man. And uh, once she got into her stride and uh, galloped along, she took uh, very little in terms of stopping her. Now forced to restart. Once again, Navy, this time uh, coming in, shrugging two people off, offloading at the nick of time, but still Air Force defending well, learned from their mistakes by the looks of it. Uh, slight obstruction, but referee allows play to go on. Still, Navy with uh, ample amount of numbers. This time, number two decides to go out wide and towards the cor corner. Comes around and uh, collapses uh, as she crosses the white line. Yes, and I think that's just the score that uh, Navy needed uh, to put the two score cushion in between the two teams and uh, they could uh, rest on the laurels a bit. Slightly challenging conversion to come, but I don't think they'll really mind as uh, they put uh, five more points on the board. The conversion goes astray, but still, Navy have a 12 point advantage in their hands. Yes, I think uh, Navy and Army are the, clearly the two uh, sides to. Uh, beat here in this uh, women's competition as uh, they seem to be the two strongest teams as we see the replay of the try number three of Navy going over for their third try massive miscommunication on that occasion the player who was camped under the ball eventually decided to leave it to the player behind her and uh, I don't think the player was uh, ready for that. So the ball trickles out of touch. Just uh, what the doctor ordered in terms of uh, as far as Navy are concerned. So we are line up for Air Force. They have to have clean pair of hands if they were to make something out of this. Lovely line out there. And uh, here comes the Air Force on the attack. Uh, lovely loop there. And now numbers on the outside. Uh, but unfortunately, the pass does not go to hand. And it's called forward as. Uh, the referee blows for half time, uh, the half time score. Navy going in with the lead. 19 points to 7 as uh, we'll take a short break and be back with the second half. First and exclusive. Your job is to be their eye in the sky, not kill. We have the ability to strike a target. I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Rescue mom! We're coming! First and exclusive, and all new on Saturdays. Welcome back to www.thepopular.com. We are bringing you live pictures uh, up here from Nitravela Candy. This is, of course, uh, 
the second of the women's matches in the Sri Lanka Super 7s. The Air Force taking on Navy at half time. Navy comfortably leading Air Force by 19 points to 7. The ladies are slowly making their way to the field to resume the second half. I think it will be Navy who will kick things off. So Navy to restart uh, the second half as uh, they get the kick underway and a uh, lovely collection there by the Air Force girl and uh, she tries to step her way through, goes through the first tackle but uh, is brought down and uh, Navy somehow disrupts and uh, manages to change position in their favour and uh, now Navy will be looking to string an attack. A lot of bit of... Uh Wrestling going on, lovely instep and uh, easily maneuvering herself through the defense, the number five. And that's the first try of the second half as Navy take uh, a 24 points to seven lead with a conversion to come. Well, uh, the conversion goes astray, however, Navy still with a comfortable lead. Here, here's the replay of that uh, last try. Yes, that was a lovely step there in by uh, the number five. Uh, she showed the dummy and uh, put the right foot step and uh, there was no stopping her from then on. And, uh, now Navy with the commanding lead in this game as they kick off uh, following the try. And a uh, bit of sloppy work there by the Air Force girls. But still managed to uh, hold on to possession as uh, Navy's uh, defense rushes in. But uh, to no avail as the Air Force spread the ball wide. And now she puts her foot down and uh, runs straight into the cover defender. But uh, has support, uses the offload. But now it's... Uh, back with the uh, navy yes it is a scrum down for navy in favor of navy well uh, despite looking promising efforts uh, off up the opportunity and the ball back towards navy here's the replay of that incident well, clearly running into players of course uh, well, it was clearly an infringement on that occasion okay if he calling the scrum back, laying down the instructions clearly, if they go into a contact, they feed the scrum, scrappy but still with possession, here's the try scorer, a lovely step again, coming inside, going through the gap, and there's the opening she needed, that's another comfortable try, Navy running away with this now. Easy does it. And now uh, another comfortable conversion to come. Should be a 31 points to 7 lead. Maybe more than assured of victory here. Well, uh, the conversion doesn't go according to plan, but still 29 points to 7. Here's a replay of that uh, last try. Lovely hands. She faked her move as, she, as if she was going on the outside, stepped in, pierced the gap and uh, well, the defenders were wrong-footed by that time and she ran through 
and uh, cross the white wash. Maybe restart once again with the deep kick. Yes, and as and we can see in the uh, Yafo's in goal, uh, Soft Logic uh, warming up for their first game against uh, Kargil's Gladiators. Coming up uh, in the cup segment of the franchise category as uh, Yafo's. Uh, a lovely loop there and uh, now Yafo seemed to break the line and uh, is, uh, has she got space? No, she hasn't as uh, she is tackled by the Navy player and now Navy on the counter. Advantage. Uh. High tackle, number 14. Yes, and there's a bit of confirmation of uh, the next game, the Cup quarterfinal number one. Kargi's Gladiators topping uh, Group A, taking on Soft Logic Warriors, who were the last place in Group B. There's the confirmation of that uh, high challenge as to why uh, there is a penalty in favour of uh, Navy. Going out wide again, cutting across. Well, lovely footwork on that occasion as well. Easy does it once again, going under the post. Maybe really making this look like a stroll. Yes, and I'm sure they would want to beat the Air Force score as they posted the Air Force, uh, rather correction, Army posted 50 or so in the first game against CR and FC ladies. Yes, once again a replay. She came across, step, stepped across, and uh, wrong-footed a defender once again. And uh, as she was on the ascendancy, the momentum easily carried her across the white line. It's a formidable lead at the moment, 36 points to seven. It's just a matter of uh, seconds to play in this second half. Yes, 50 seconds or so as uh, Navy restart the game of following the try and a good deep kick into the 22. As uh, Yafo's look uh, to come back and score a consolation try at least in the dying embers of this game. <laughs> Yafo's uh, deep in their half and uh, trying to run from their own half. Uh, they have a woman on the outside as uh, she tries to offload, but uh, unfortunately. The offload goes forward as the referee calls back play in favour of Navy for a scrum down. As we hear the hooter going, think uh, this will be the last uh, move of the match following the scrum. Maybe feed the scrum. Sloppy bit of hands, but still maybe retain possession. I don't think they'll be in that much of a hurry considering the fact that they've uh, sealed the deal against uh, the Abbey men. Roll away, just roll away, matter of, uh, seeing out this game. That should be a knock forward. A bit careless on that occasion, but uh, all but settled uh, here in this particular tie. Crowds gathering here at Nitavela. Still early days, but uh, expecting a, something close to a full house throughout the day because uh, it's a business end Leading of the first leg for the cup competition and the trophy games will be played today. Yes, and that's the end of the game. Uh, Navy in a convincing win over Air Force. So Navy and Army go in to the second round matches with uh, two convincing wins over CRNFC and the Air Force and uh, coming up next uh, will be the franchise quarterfinal number one and before that we just uh, see the confirmation of the score in this game Navy ladies beating the Air Force ladies 36 points to 7 
Yes, and as we see, the Kagi's gladiators line up today. I think Richard Dharmapal and uh, Gayan Viratna are the two men to watch out for from this team as uh, the foreigners as well have uh, stepped up in the plate. The soft logic warriors as well. Sali Ahandapangada, Jason Disanayaka, Arshad Jamaldin, of course, uh, some of the biggest names uh, in the country and also not to forget uh, Fatsua Otto and uh, Rafael Wa to have their standout players from the overseas contention and uh, two very promising under 23 players Nishan Pereira and Avish Kali so a lot of talent uh, when it comes to the soft logic players irrespective of the fact that they have not been able to deliver yes I think uh, they, the soft logic team the lads will be very disappointed that uh, they did not manage to get uh, any convincing performances yesterday in, but I think uh, a win, three wins from here on could uh, win the cup for, uh, rather uh, win the first leg for any team. So, I think uh, there is all to play for on this uh, second day. Just on your frames were the Axis Kings warming up. I think uh, they'll be coming onto the field next against the KBSL Dragons. KBSL Dragons, of course, uh, performing uh, quite uh, brilliantly yesterday. Put up some stellar performances, a, good, a few good comebacks and... Uh, very good defensive performances. Vishwamitra Jayasinghe of uh, the Axis Kings. Big game uh, coming ahead for them as well. As we see the first of the franchise quarterfinals about to kick off. Kagi's Gladiators taking on the Soft Logic Warriors in the franchise cup number one game. Well, uh, a lot of determined faces. Nishan Pereira. Jason Dizanayaka, Rafael Wa, they'll have to step up, step up to the plate of course to make sure they make a different kind of a beginning to this uh, particular competition. Let's throw it to Rajapaksha in your frame, supporting uh, Jason Dizanayaka. As uh, Arun Pereira kicks off the game, Kagi's gladiators attacking left to right. Kagi Gladiators uh, regathering their kickoff and now they are they seem to be springing an attack as a uh, foreign player goes in to contact. Correction, that was Gayan Viratna. Well, that's a high challenge. Penalty given. He let go of the player and uh, his defense, defense went to sleep. I think uh, the player who initially committed the Foul was right to let go of his player, but the defense should have been more alert. And that's just a stroll past uh, the white line as the Kargis Gladiators score the first try of this cup quarterfinals. Yes, I think uh, that try was expected as uh, Kargis Gladiators are the uh, team uh, predicted to win this as uh, Pereira puts the conversion over. And uh, now, uh, Soft Logic Warriors playing with six men due to the high tackle and uh, the number eight has been uh, sin binned that is uh, Ed Fido so I think uh, soft logic warriors will have to up their game in the next couple of minutes uh. there must be a familiar sinking feeling for the soft logic warriors who have not tasted uh, victory throughout this uh, first group set of games here's Rafael Wado steps tries to step past one taken down with Raj Paksa in support. Yes, Jason Disanayaka steps past one. Beg your pardon, that's Ali Handapangoda. Nice to chip and run, but uh, clearly Kagi's Gladiators had enough numbers covering up. Oh, lovely, lovely step over. Completely outfoxing his man. Now they are completely outnumbering this soft logic defense. Well, that's poor. That's not what you expect in that kind of a situation. That's uh, Kavin Pereira on that occasion. He, I think he was a bit uh, too excited to uh, try to get the ball before it bounced but uh, in, in the end he did not do anything and uh, knocked it on forward as another chance goes back in for the Kargis Gladiators to score. It was a perfect opening to double their advantage. Well, uh, this was actually after the knock forward advantage was handed towards the Soft Logic Warriors. Just a slight uh, mishap on that occasion.
as we see the fans uh, coming in slowly but surely Steady. to uh, to view uh, to view the uh, the money end of the game tournament rather as uh, Niroshan Fernando switches in uh, and now Sali Anupam Goda trying to put in some footwork but uh, he's brought down as uh, Richard uh, Nuan Pereira rather knocks it on there and the referee playing an advantage. Sean Pereira now here's the uh, Rafael Wa bullies the first defender but still taken down. Here's Rohit Rajapaksha has support on the outside. That's Jason Disanayaka. That could be the first try. And that is Jason Disanayaka not really keen to go under the post. Just making sure the points are secured. Seven points to five with uh, a conversion to come. Yes, I think the captain Jason Disanayaka will have to step up if uh, the soft logic warriors are, are to have any chance in this game. And uh, there you go, he scores the first try. So something to play for for the soft logic warriors as uh, Nirshan Fernando lines up the conversion. Well, the kick goes astray, but still, I think Soft Logic will be happy that uh, they've gotten themselves back into contention. Here's that breakdown. Rohit Rajapaksha striking off uh, his first challenger and offloading, and the nicker time for Deshan Dishanayaka, who had uh, space on the outside and uh, pretty much uh, walked him in uh, towards uh, the try line. Roshan Fernando to kick off. That's a poor restart uh, from Soft Logic. It's a horrible restart there by Niroshan Fernando. Not what the doctor ordered on that occasion as uh, they just scored and uh, they had the chance to pin back uh, the gladiators in their own half. But uh, a horrible kickoff uh, lets the Kage's gladiators off on the that occasion. Here's the... Uh Pereira, Pereira offloading uh, to Richard Dharmapala. <laughs> now looking for his numbers out wide. Well, uh, here he goes, the number 10. The big number 10 there. There is no chance of putting him down. And uh, he will go over to score. That's uh, Nasoni for the Kagi's Gladiators. Uh, and uh, he will score under the post, uh, round it off under the post as uh, we see two, two number 10s on the fifth pitch. Well, one number 10 handing it over to the other for the conversion, both successful. Once again, uh, Kagi is restoring uh, uh, nine point advantage. That's Nuan Pereira with the conversion. Lovely. Strong run. He bumps off uh, Sali Handaban, go to the final defender and uh, just uh, strolls his way under the post. Uh, as uh, Rohit Rajapaksha has been sub substituted and uh, Roshan comes in for the Soft Logic Warriors as uh, Rafael returns the, ki the kickoff with uh, some eagerness. Ball goes out wide. Back. Now yes. uh, Soft Logic uh, back to the full contingent of seven players as uh, they look to make something out of this. Uh, Sali Handapan Goda with the ball tries to step one, step two, and uh, now releases the ball. But the referee says you are not supporting your body weight, lad, and uh, that's a penalty for the opposition. As we see the crowd gathering slowly but surely. Well, here come the gladiators once again as the the halftime bell has rung. But still, they'll continue. This really is the last move of the game. The number eight is clattered down. Uh, just a confirmation. This is the first cup quarter final between the Gladiators and the Soft Logic Warriors. Advantage over! Advantage over! Trying to pierce the gap, uh, but taken down. Support not arriving. Here's Nishan Pereira. Nishan Pereira looked to. Uh, put on some footwork and get away but the referee has called back play for the tackle not releasing so it'll be a Kage's gladiator's penalty 
in the final seconds uh, with time already up on the clock. Gayan Viratna flicks it out from the back door and uh, here goes uh, Radish. Uh, he gives it back to Gayan and Gayan will go over. Oh no, he won't. Uh, actually, that's uh, some good bit of defending there by uh, Oshan Pereira as he knocked out the ball and uh, that brings an end to the first half of uh, the first uh, cup quarter final between Kagis Gladiators and uh, Soft Logic Warriors. Try saving a challenge on that occasion keeps the Soft Logic Warriors in contention. Here's a confirmation of half time scores. The Kagis Gladiators leading the Soft Logic Warriors by 14 points to 5. Sri Lanka will be able to challenge Suvishalatum with GB Lakshatunaka Data Jamal. Dialogue Data Vasana. Data to pop curl and have a bit of a dialogue data Vasana. It can be free data. Vedivedian to pop curl, Vedivedian free data Labagan. Saikaran, Shakaran, Agilifi ticket the Agan. Dinatia Puravata free data the Agan. Tavasaka Chagrahak and Sia. Welcome back to www.thepapere.com. As uh, as you could uh, see the highlights of uh, that last move, and uh, just a replay, as uh, you could see, the try was pretty much on the cards until the number four for so so Soft Logic Warriors uh, Pereira stepped in and uh, nicked the ball out of the hands. That's a uh, proper last ditch work. Soft Logic Warriors having to regather and regroup. Yes, that was some good thinking there by Oshan. He saw Gayan with the ball in his single hand and uh, he just thought if he just uh, taps it out, there will be a knock on and uh, that's exactly what he did. So, the Cargill's Gladiators will be looking to get another score and uh, put a bit of cushion in between the two teams. Uh, but uh, the Soft Logic Warriors will be having other ideas and will be hoping for the first score in the second half and if they do so I think we are in for a cracker of a game so it'll be Ed Fido of uh, the Soft Logic Warriors to kick off the second half correction that's Otto A high hanging kick but uh, Rafael does not manage to collect but uh, now he tows it forward once, twice uh, but uh, the Kargis gladiator Richard Dharmapala seemed to tap the ball out of play and yes, correct, rightly so. Soft logic warriors uh, get a penalty try but uh, was there a knock on in build up? Uh, we'll have to wait and see as uh, the soft logic warriors strike back at the beginning of the second half just the perfect response that they required at the beginning of the second half yes and uh, now with the new rule change the penalty try is seven points and they do not need to convert it so just a two point game as uh, soft logic warriors uh, goes to restart you can see here on the replay rafael chasing but uh, because richard uh, pushed the ball out like that they get a penalty try and now it's 12-14 in favour of uh, Kagi's Gladiators but with a slender lead. Here's Richard Dharmapala offloading but uh, they're still pinned to their own half but uh, a lovely cross field booming pass. Here are the numbers but uh, Soft Logic have uh, sufficient amount of defenders to cover up. Kagi is trying to hit back and hit back hard. A lovely tackle there by Salihan the Pangoda and uh, knocks the ball out of uh, Kavindu Perra's hands. The skipper to be of CR next year as uh, foreigner Otto. Correction, uh, that's Ed Fido. Uh, another lovely tackle coming in there by uh, Kavindu Perra. He gets one back on uh, Salihan the Pangoda as uh, both men uh, take a bit of time to get back to their feet. But play is still going on as Nishan Perra. Offloads. And now Otto bounces off one, sets it for the second. And now here goes uh, Soft Logic Warriors through Sali Hanapangoda. 
Gives it back to Fido. He goes uh, straight through the middle and gives it to Nishan Pera as he steps and uh, will he have the gas to go? No, he's not. Uh, he's brought down by Nuan Pera but there is a man on the outside and Jason Disanayaka will cross the whitewash and uh, round it off uh, for the try. So that's uh, the third try of the game uh, for the Soft Logic Warriors and now they go into with the lead. They take the lead for the first time in the game and uh, probably one of the most crucial times in the second half. They seem to be uh, running into an unlikely victory. This is uh, quite exciting times uh, for the Soft Logic Warriors considering the fact that they were underperforming yesterday uh, just in the nick of time seem to be coming on song and uh, with the conversion to come they still uh, would uh, fancy this game. Yes and I think uh, the convert, the, the person who will be taking the kick yes, yes. will not uh, be in any hurry. That's uh, Fido, Ed Fido will not be in any hurry. He will take as much as time he can. And uh, the more time uh, that goes by, I think the Soft Logic Warriors will have the chance uh, to wrap this up as uh, the conversion is good uh, from an acute angle. So it will be uh, a five-point game as uh, Fido runs back to, convert, uh, to restart. Uh, can see on the replay, Nishan Pera did all the hard work, broke the line, gave it to Niroshan Fernando and he correctly committed the last defender and gave it off to Jason Disanayaka as uh, Richard and Kagils come back. Trying to get through there Richard but uh, he's brought down as again there is another knock on there by Shermal and now Sali Hanapan got to step in, offloading. And uh, now it's uh, number seven, Niro, Nishan Fernando, Nishan Perra, and he goes over in the corner. And that could be the game. That could be the game for the Soft Logic Warriors. They seem to be peaking at the correct time. Just when you want a team to come to the party, they seem to be going all guns at the moment. Here's a replay once again, stepping aside, going towards the corner. I don't think it really matters where they go over as far as they do. And uh, Soft Logic Warriors, everything going their way. And uh, now it is, it's just a matter of seeing this game out and uh, they are into the cup semi-finals. Yes, and it will be Fido to take the conversion on the five meter line. He got the first one over this time. Uh, unfortunately, just uh, had the direction but did not have the legs as it goes under the post. Uh, So the scores read 24-14, 10 point gap and I think it should be a comfortable gap if uh, Soft Logic managed to defend and hold on. Yeah, Gargils uh, have to strike twice uh, if they were to make a game out of this. Even, well, passing like that will not help as the ball goes astray and uh, Soft Logic uh, surely will breathe a sigh of relief because uh, this move could possibly see them to the end of the game. That was not what was required from the Kargis gladiators whatsoever. That was a horrible pass there by uh, Richard Dharmapala as you can see here on the replay. Not this one. Well, it's this pass uh, down low near the boot lasers, and I think uh, that was uh, a tough pick up as we see the next semi-final, the, correction, the quarter-final lined up. The Viper is taking on the Dragons as uh, Fido puts on some footwork, uh, gives it off to Jason. He sends it out wide to Nishan. Get back! Back! And now, Jason, he gives it out to Fido. He spots the numbers and uh, puts a little chip in, but uh, it is uh, brought down and uh, the Kagi's uh, gladiators regather and uh, kicks, but uh, it seems to be a horrible kick, uh, but somehow it finds touch. And uh, just 30 seconds or so to go on the clock, but uh, the Soft Logic Warriors uh, go quick and uh, that is the match uh, as uh, Fido scores but does uh, the, the, the referee have other ideas and is he coming back to the line out yes he is coming back to the line out so I think uh, that uh, is a bit of a harsh call but uh, well it's uh, what the referee sees but he calls and uh, he says uh, Correction, that was the AR who called it, so it'll be a line out for the Soft Logic Warriors. And it was good thinking on part of Otto and uh, Ed Fido. 
which uh, ensure the fact that they go on a quick break. But uh, well, the officials thought otherwise, but uh, gives Cargill's an opportunity, a, a somewhat a sniff. But I think uh, the game is all but done at the moment for the Cargill's gladiators. We are looking for pretty much a consolation try at the moment. That's a confirmation of uh, the full time bell. So, pretty much uh, the last move of the game. So, Cargill's looking for a matter of consolation, to be very honest. Yes, and uh, the Soft Logic Warriors win a penalty through Jason Disanak, and he puts it out. And that's a surprise win there for Soft Logic as they progress through to the semi finals, beating the much fancied uh, Cargill's Gladiators. The final score reads. Uh, 24 points to 14. Well, uh, that's a confirmation once again. Gargis Gladiators going down to the Soft Logic Warriors by 24 points to 14 in this first cup quarter final. As I hand over the mic to Dinuk and uh, Sudarshan Apiris to take you through the next few games. Thank you. Eh? Good call, good call. Thank you very much, Harshan. And uh, yes, that's the Walker CM Wiper team on your screen. That's the squad that we have been handed over. And will not be the playing playing 13. But um, as for the first of, uh, first game of the quarterfinals, uh, the first cup quarterfinal, Big Up said Soft Logic Warriors didn't have a very good day. They had put everything behind them and they've come on and upset the Gladiators' chances. They will uh, not be featuring in a se cup semi final, the Gladiators, but Soft Logic have done one better. Yeah, Sudarshan, I was having a chat with uh, Laga yesterday after the day's proceedings and he said, Whatever happened yesterday is down the drain and what happens against the Gladiators tomorrow is real important. And he was stressing the fact that some of the key points that where they need to attack, but I will not say it now because they still have a couple of matches to play for. But uh, yeah, so they have come back on top. So uh, it's, uh, it's a, it's a, it's, it, it doesn't matter how you finish yesterday, it's how you start today and the Gladiators will not be happy. There you go, that's the same story for these two teams as well. Wipers versus Dragons. Dragons were a little bit of the better outfit out of the two, but uh, the Wipers will be very rejuvenated at the fact that they've gotten their skipper, Danus Karanjan, playing for them. They didn't have his services yesterday. Since he was still serving, uh, since he was still serving uh, the ban that was imposed on him in the Asian 15 aside Division 1 tournament as the Wipers kick off. They yeah, the Dragons spinning it out wide to Budima Priyaratna. Cutting back in once again, Priyaratna pushed back by the Wipers. Sent out by Samit Dananjaya. Looking for space on the outside is Lahiru Herat. Once again, cutting back in. Charit Seneviratna, referee playing advantage for the Wipers. And it'll be a penalty against them. Quickly taken by uh, Danushka Ranjan, the skipper. Ranjan was right on spot for that. He was right on the money. And here goes the little Dixon, is it? That will be the first try for the Wipers. As they get through, that's Danushka Ranjan's fiance, <laughs> who is extremely very happy, jumping around as Oscar Oma is the try scorer. A perfectly done, isn't it? Sudarshan, a turnover ball, quickly taken penalty. A couple of moves, and Oscar Oma powered his way through. Oscar Oma, a Kenyan uh, sevens player, played for Candy Sports Club as well. And here's the conversion coming up. That's uh, Kamidu. It's good. Uh, that's a good conversion, and it goes through. So seven points to nil. Only in the, 
the half KBS uh, Dragons are very happy. CMA Wipers rather very happy. Here's the replay Take a look once at again. This. Oscar Oma fans of Priyaratna and then also uh, Titan Adams and he scores the try uh, for the Vipers. With the restart that has been such a problem for all these teams and uh, pity because when it comes to sevens it's one of those main skills that you need to be able to execute. Dragons now with an opportunity to strike back Budima Pieradna, the highest try scorer yesterday. Oskoma still from meddling with the ball, but uh, Dragons come away with it. Samit Dananjay, largely unknown before this tournament, but was uh, the highest bid for the Dragons. So he's turned a lot of heads, but uh, with his play yesterday, he did justify why he's found a place in this franchise. Scrum for the Wipers and knock forward there in the meantime. Look at that back four. That was the infringement, Shahan Patirina forcing the error. But look at the pack for the Vipers, Shahan Patirina, Dulaj Pereira and Oscar Oma. That's, that's a lot of trouble that you got to deal with. Yeah, all very experienced as well. Here's the ball coming out for the uh, Vipers on the outside. Cutting back in is Danish Karanjan. Karanjan, the skipper, steps off a couple, fends off another, goes into ground but not releasing, says uh, the Singaporean referee, just Wong. Now here's an opportunity for the Dragons. Buddhima Priyaratna stepping, steps off Ranjan, running across field. He has been doing this all game. Oh, that's a very loose pass, untidy play there. Luckily for Dragons, he's bounced into a, one of their players. Til Navira Singer taking the ball into contact. And this time, nice body position. Shehan Patina right on top of that wins the penalty for the Vipers. Very strong, isn't it, uh, Sudarshana? Shehan on top of the ruck. On top of the ball, carrier tackles him, releases. There's Dulaj Pereira. Kicks the ball into touch. Quarter final two. This is Walker's Wipers taking on the, the Dragons, KBSL Dra Dragons. Wipers with Kevin Costa as uh, their halfback. Gustav plays his club rugby for Sierra and FC. The third of uh, three brothers who all played for Isi Button and Sierra and FC. That's a terrible pass by Costa, but uh, he finds it way to Ranjan at the end. Uh, now fending off Buddhima Pieradna. Pieradna did very well to bring Ranjan down. Not a very easy man to bring down. Now Uma. Takes a man off loads to his fellow countrymen. Almost in the five meter mark and uh, Ranjan will walk into the in goal. Titan, what a challenge that was. That was a real good challenge. Oh. Lost forward, says the referee. It came off Titan's hand. Look at this replay once again, uh, Sudarshana. Didn't uh, allow Ranjan to settle. Ranjan took it too easy. Just walked into that try line. And this is what uh, these international players will never give up. Titan Adams there just wrapping around Ranjan and pushing that ball out. Perfectly brilliant stuff from uh, Titan Adams. Five. Right. Set. Out. Out. Okay, release now. Here's an opportunity for the Vipers once again, settling it down. Oscar Uma on top of that, still waiting, picks it up now, gives it out wide. Trying to go over. Good Ball defense, pops Tom. out and uh, 
coming to the Costa isolated there and Titan Adams had true defensive brilliance and wins the penalty very iconic man on the field with his dreadlocks Titan Adams making uh, himself very useful for the Dragons definitely most certainly stopped two tries there no, 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 Dharus Garantan was in goal and it's uh, not very common that you see runs are not able to score once in goal let alone being inside the five meter mark that'll be half time in fact another free kick has been awarded by just quickly taken by Dulaj Pereira once again the hard running Kenyan that's uh, Odehambo making his way and he scores the first try on the stroke of half time for the Wipers Odehambo the Kenyan under the post he goes with the conversion to come which will uh, equalize going into half time in the quarter final here's the replay once again Sudarshan Take a look at this, straight on, too strong for that tackle, fends off and he goes straight, there was no stopping him afterwards, had his eyes set on the white line and uh, he scores the Vipers second try, the Vipers go into the half time 14 points to nil and uh, Dragons are yet to get a score. <laughs> Welcome back. That's the uh, Wipers huddle. We'll be very happy going into the half time with uh, 14 points. Salia Kumara, the coach. Here are the highlights. Oscar Uma scoring the first try for the Wipers. Good power shown, uh, couldn't stop there on the Pangoda, the Titan Adams. This is what he managed to do soon after that. Just wrapping her arm on his tackle and uh, disrupting the ball from his hands. Then Odihambo, look at that friend, uh, very powerful. Both Kenyans showing their power in the first half for the Vipers and scoring 14 points to nil. It's been a uh, Kenyan party all the way for the Vipers. Two foreign players adding that impetus when in attacking uh, whereas for the Dragons it was the South African uh, Titan who definitely saved a sure try but uh, the Dragons were unfortunate now uh, they started it strong lost the ball forward good collection by the South African Danny Rue but he lost the ball forward going into contact Referee Wong, uh, just as he said, the advantage was over. Dragons losing the ball forward. And now Wipers trying to attack from their own 22 through Skipper Runjan. Now they have Uma and uh, Joseph on the outside. Hiranta Pereira gives it back inside. Now Kevin Dixon brilliantly sets up Shahan Patirana. Patirana, good strong run by Patirana and offloads to the hands of Uma. Back to Dixon. Kevin Dixon has support on the inside through Hiranta Pereira. That's not a very good pass to Joseph who managed to collect it. Runs it now, trying to power his way through. 
nowhere to go from there. Now Hiranta Pereira almost at the touchline, just inches away. Samuel Joseph should have given it out on the first time. Ranjana. Good tackle coming in from Samit Dananja. And uh, the Dragons are penalized for hands inside the rock. Hiranta Pereira taking it quickly and it will fall over easily. And uh, Dragons give the first try of the second half very cheaply. Yeah, good, good passage of play uh, for the uh, Wipers. It started off all inside their own in goal. When uh, Hiranta Pereira put Shehan uh, Patirana into space, a good dash by Shehan of about 50 meters, and then the Kenyans managed to keep, keep the ball in hand. Kevin Dixon, in the end, uh, you saw that heavily strapped left hand of him, Kevin Dixon. That was the finishing move by Hiranta Pereira, where it all started by him on the far corner. So 19 points to nil, the Wipers lead. Omalka Gunaratna on the bench for the Dragons. That's a very unusual sight. Keeping him on the bench. One started for Sri Lanka Sevens. It's a different call, call by the coach, Coach Motilal. Let's go. Maybe he's uh, hoping to use him later on in the game, but uh, if he wants a change in the proceedings, he needs to do something different. And um, as Wipers make a mess of uh, their kickoff, less than four minutes to go. Samin Dananje tries to show and go, but he's penalized for holding on. Brilliantly done by Kavin De Costa. Now Joseph puts the ball into touch and that's a good long touch and this is good game management by the wife because there are 19 points in this front take all the time you want play territorially and it's important that you are playing the more rug most rugby you can in the opposition half as well there's a lot of experience in there isn't it oscar Oma, Adi, Humbo, and their coach uh, salia kumara all of them have uh, enough sevens knowledge to kill time and to keep this lead and uh, make uh, dragons wait for their Etisalat Panthers versus Axis Kings coming up next. That's a big one. Both big teams and one of the one of the oh, like both oh. of them are favourites for uh, for this uh, okay. first leg uh, up in Nittavela. But unfortunately, one has to drop off. So Etisalat Panthers taking on the Axis Kings coming up next. Satafana Takao against uh, Fazil Marija. Absolutely, that's going to be uh, an interesting one. But as for now, the second semi-final spot seems to be reserved by the Wipers. If Dragons can make a comeback, that'll be a brilliant match. And here it is when we talk of a comeback. Joel Boyson trying his way. And around the Virakur is on field. Haven't seen him around much. And he's penalized. Yet again, it's coming to Costa, who's right on top of the ball. Very, very animated, uh, cushy that is, Danush Karanjan's girlfriend. Animated and sideline coaching there. Let's go, Blue. Coach, oh, Coach Jayatalika having a word with Sorry, it's anyway, right, no? I hope Ranjan doesn't get more advices at home. <laughs> and the Wipers make a change. Kevin Dixon being substituted. I think about Kevin Dixon. He's going for the ball, is it? That's right. Short line out. Being held by Titan. Now to the outside channels. Fresh legs on the path for the Wipers. Advantage, 15 yellow offside. 
Referee playing advantage to the Vipers. Now Kevin Dixon puts his foot on the pedal and uh, that is certainly going to be a penalty but uh, never mind that, Dixon scores anyway. Kevin Dixon, such a good find for Sri Lanka Rugby, a pocket dynamo in its true essence. His spots, gaps and his acceleration is unbelievable, Dinak. Yeah, what a try. Where it all started was uh, just before that when Dulaj Pereira put that big goose step in, spotted the pace, ran on the outside and then put Kevin Dixon on space. And from there on, it was all individual brilliance from Kevin Dixon. Put the chip behind, collected. It showed a lot of strength, as you said. Little dynamo for Sri Lanka and both Pete Wrights working together, Dulaj and Kevin, to score the fourth try for the Vipers. Great stuff by Kevin Dixon there. An under 23 player but all credit to Dulaj Pereira for creating that try. Had the good sense and the awareness to put oh. Kevin in space and Kevin executing the little things brilliantly. Here on the Pereira, the man on his screens as Samuel Joseph looks to kick and uh, Walker's CML Vipers have certainly secured a spot in the semi-final. Dragons will be uh, looking for at least a consolation try and uh, they will not get that with handling like that. So at the end of the second quarter final, Walker's Vipers have secured a spot in the semi-final in the cup segment. They will meet uh, the winners of the earlier game, Soft Logic Warriors, in the first semi that's the full time score 24 points you now KBSL Dragons defeated by Walker CML Vipers it is a lot Panthers taking on the Access Kings next led by Fazil Marija Srinath Surya Bandara and Chamara Dabari the local talent and uh, there is uh, some uh, Fijians as well in that. Here's the Access Kings, Satafano Takao, their captain coach, Tarinda Ratwata, Risa Rafaidi, Chula Susanta, and Danush Dayan, Vishwamitra Jaisinger. A lot of talent there in that as well as Vota is one of their key players. Here is Takao starting for the Access Kings this time. He never started yesterday. He knew how important he is uh, today. He's kicking off Takao. Lovely uh, collection from uh, Anuradha Herat. Here is Marija trying to break through Fazil Marija. Soiru Anthony trying to slow it down. It's Srinath Surya Bandara. So much experience goes through one. Srinath Surya Bandara. Now Marija swinging it out wide to uh, Mulivoro. Mulivoro puts Navin Henakan Kanam in space and Setafana Takao brings down the youngster. Lovely offload in between the legs, but the referee says it's a penalty against a Takao for not releasing and slowing the ball down. Here's Mulivoro giving it out, out wide. Once again, looking for options inside pass to Anuradha Herat. Now Srinath Surya Bandara brought down by the big man, Bale. Panthers once again switching it, this one on the outside to Lutu. Lutu shows a lot of space. Lutu steps back in and Lutu will score the first try for the Etisalat Panthers. Good build up and kept the ball in hand and continued pressure by the Panthers and the Lutu. And the big Fiji and scores under the post with the conversion to come to Darshana. Several only little made it look so easy, he made it look like he was just playing a game of touch rugby in the beach. But uh, brilliantly set that try up. But uh, let's talk about Navin in Kankanamke, his first touch. He looks so good, he looks like he belongs there. And Apasi Marija making no mistake in converting that one. Now take a look at this replay. Step, good step, beats him. Raisins up, three tackles beaten, Sandunera had no chance, goes right under the post, takes his own three time to plant the try. Several only Luto for Etisilat 
Panthers. So they are in the lead. Axis Kings need to play catch up now. Here's Srinath Surya Bandar kicking it uh, this time straight to uh, Abel, swinging it out wide. This is Takao. On the outside is Danish Dayan. Has uh, Lavanga Pereira with him. Brought down to the ground, ball pops off. Navin Hena Kankaramke pouncing on it. Now it comes towards the Etisalat Panthers. But referee Irshad Kader has says it's a knock forward by Navin Hena Kankaramke. Referee Irshad Kader seems to be slowing the game down a little, making it look like we are watching a mini shift in a side game. What we need to see is a fast open rugby here. Pereira to feed in for the Kings. But uh, the Panthers have been penalized for going in too early with a short arm penalty. Takao now gives it inside to Santon Herat. Herat coming back from an uh, injury. It's been well in the opening day. Now to the open side. Dayan cuts back inside. Danish Dayan will go all the way, and that, that will be the first try for Axis Kings. Very well done, Dino. Yeah, it all started where when Satafana Takao drifted that Tedisala defense to his right side. He, he gained the attention of about good three players, pushed the defense wide, and then Abel cut him back on the inside. And then Danish Dayan had too much play, space and space and class to go over for that try for the Axis Kings. So he, they hit back soon after that try for the Etisalat Panthers. And Takao has taken a lot of responsibility, has started this game and will put the conver conversion through as well for the Axis Kings. It's seven all deadlock here at the Nithavela Rugby Stadium. Here the replay once again. This was the switch back later on by Sasankari Ratna and put Danish Dayan into space. But uh, yeah, it was the hard work was done before by uh, Abel and Takao drifting that Etisala defense. The restart by Setefano Takao. It was actually Chula Sasanta who was making that break earlier. Now Sevaluna gives it out to. Now we need a Kanga and MG. Now this is a brilliant picture to watch. Setefano Takao chasing Navin. But not able to catch him on the run. Now Kings with the ball. Good turnover. Lost forward says Referee Carter. So Panthers will be looking to attack from there. So much. So much time, uh, isn't it, okay. for Takao in that uh, turnover ball. He had enough time right on top of that uh, My left. player, Navin, to turn over. My left. Okay. Ready. Good. Navin Hina he will be very happy running Six. around Takao. Steady, steady. The youngest and the oldest in the park. Definitely, definitely. But uh, his legacy talks about itself, so it's a brilliant opportunity for Navin to be able to play with these type of players as play Panthers play who are looking for their second try. Brilliantly done. Muliworo is the man who scores that try and he praises the higher power above as Fijians do when they score. Yeah, if you take the replay once again, uh, the big Fijians working uh, in the middle in the center field for the Etisalat Panthers. Lutu set that up on the outside. And then uh, Imosi Mulevur, he has been here in the Sri Lankan circuit for so many years. And he has played across Fasil Marija and Lutu. And he knows how these players work for and a brilliant conversion by uh, the Sri Lankan veteran Fasil Marija. will take this score to 14 points to seven. If you can take the replay once again, here it is. Look at that, that was Lutu who made that break. Inside pass to Mulevur, picks stood up released the ball, picked up in the tackle. Good referee by Irshad Kader to let that play go. And Imosi Mulivoru scoring under the post for the Panthers. Panthers will be very, very happy. 14 points to seven, they're back in the lead. This is a good game of sevens that we see. Fast to open rugby. Two look forward. Stand up. 
gegen das And uh, that's the end of the game. So take a take a look at that lost no, forward. The there you go. No, he keep the ball in touch. Just play on, man. Play up, play on. And referee got up, deeming that enough is enough for the half time. So at half time, Panthers in the lead, 14 points to seven. Invites have been sent to the ones whom the world knows, whom the world recognizes, gods of dance. I am my squad, world dance champions. Who will win, will win Dance Plus 3. This time there will be a dance hoga, ek level up. Dance Plus 3, Saturday and Sunday, 8 p.m. Only on Star Plus. To activate this channel, use the Dialog Self Care app or type on space your Dialog Television account number, space channel number, and SMS to 679 from your Dialog mobile or 0770 679 679 from any other mobile network. Welcome back to Netavela, and uh, this is a quick highlight of. The first half's action, Lutu getting towards the first try. Brilliant stuff, and this was the inside ball to Danush Dayan. And the axe is equalized. But before the end of the second half, the two Fijians, Muliwuru and Lutu, working together, and Muliwuru showing his brilliance and scoring that try to put Panthers back in the lead. 14 points to 7 is the story. In this second quarter final, Sri Lanka Super Service 2017 brought to you live from Nittavilla Rugby Stadium, from Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, thepopery.com, and also on Dialog TV Channel 1 and My TV. And all of you who are watching in and around Candy, you got to be here. You got to come to the park because some brilliant rugby is happening, schools finals to take place. Later on in the day, as it's uh, Panthers yet again go on the charge. Lost forward says the referee. So, Danush Dayan, the cheer girls have a lot to cheer about. Their team is in front. Yeah, Lutu once again trying to go on the outside, but uh, went to the ground. And uh, when he was trying to place the ball, he was uh, he was just just uh, mishandled it and went forward for Lutu. But a good start for the Panthers and uh, the Access Kings will try to hit back soon to stay in contention. Now the Kings, Setefano Takao, the experienced man. He has four men on the short side. They're not using the field. The Kings places the ball and gets up. Ebe. And uh, now the Panthers have lost the ball forward, says the referee. So Kings with the chance, they'll be breathing a big, big sigh of relief. Coming up next, Easy Wolves taking on the Mobita Legals. That's cup quarter final number four. And uh, here's the crowd. Some have turned up today here at the Nittavella Rugby Stadium. And uh, here is uh, Takao giving it out wide to Bota. Now Sandun Herat, does he have the pace to go through? Good tackle by Navin Henakan Kanam Gyanem. Ball pops off the ruck. Yes, stuck out, trying to use the short side, twisting and turning, getting it back to Lavanga Pereira, who puts the kick pass to uh, Sasankari Ratna. Fence off one. Looks like a big Fijian, Sasanka, but he's a local boy. Now, Danush Dayan, it'll be a penalty for the Axis Kings. A 
It's a try for Danish Dayan. Apologize, that's the candy coach, Sean Vijay Singer in black watching from the stands. Danish Dayan scoring that try for the Axis Kings. Danish Dayan touching down for this for his second try. But uh, they need to make sure that they get this conversion good. Setefano Takao handed the responsibility. No better man to take that on as well. And it's a good kick. But doesn't sail through the post. 12 points to 14. Two point different. Take a look at this. Danish Dan steps in, steps out, and he goes inside. But this was create. This opening was created by the player on the outside. Kings need to make use of this one. A very good kick off. Sandu Nehra collects it, and he bumps off the tackle, races towards the line, needs support, and set the final takao. Will collect the ball and go underneath the post. What an upset for the Panthers. They've been leading the first opening minutes of the game. First half rather. But now, Axis Kings in front at the business end of this game. What class from Takao. He'll use all his experience to slow this down. He knows his team is in front. His stuck out spot space so much uh, to Darshana. He just turned to his left, showed that one eye to Sandun Herat off the kickoff. And then Sandun Herat just picked it up. Navin Hernakan Kanamige couldn't hold to him. Lutu chased him down. Look at this. The old man Takao coming in support and scoring under the post. The veteran from the from uh, the islands of Fiji, former skipper Setafana Takao scoring that try for Axis Kings. It's just brilliant, isn't it? He's the one who kick-started the proceedings and he's right there to support Danish Dayan when needed. And another kick start by the Kings, 19 points to 14. And uh, the Panthers have been penalized. Susanta telling Abe, slow it down mate, <laughs> kick it out and we'll take all the time we need, 12, almost 30 minutes on our clock. The next game is going to be Easy Wolves taking on Mobidel Eagles, a crucial se semi-final spot on offer. But this game is coming down to the wire, Kings with good game management and time management rather, they're taking all the time. They won't slow stroll to the line out. There's a lot of experience to do that in that lineup, isn't it, Sudarshan? You know Danush Dayan plays for Sri Lanka, Chula Susanta, Sasanka Arya Ratna. Here's Lavanga Pereira now trying to step his way through on the short side. Good power shown by Lavanga Pereira. Now uh, Arya Ratna to Dayan. Dayan gives it out right to Takao. Takao trying to step back in a couple of steps. Not held in the tackle. Spin behind. Here's Diane once again. Gives it, it out wider. Trying to run on the outside is... Uh, that was Tula Susanta Tula who Susanta. took the ball into contact. What the Kings need to do is they need to keep position of the ball. Not losing it until the bell. There goes the bell. But Interesting call by uh, referee Carter because remember, the infringement happened before the bell went. So he absolutely needs to continue play with that stoppage. Surya Bandar asking that question from uh, referee Carter there. But Axis Kings, the final long whistle has gone. And uh, Axis Kings will walk into the semi-final of this cup segment. 14 points to 19. And uh, what an upset. The second upset of the day. Panthers out and Gladiators out. And uh, the next game is going to be Easy Wolves taking on the Mobile Eagles to take you through it. Sachin David will join 
Dinuk Baskaran. Welcome back. Welcome, uh, Sachin, to the commentary box. What a game it was between the uh, I think most experienced two teams on the park. Yes, excellent game, of course. Uh, a few questionable calls. As we say that, the defending champions, the Mobile Eagles, taking the field. Going up against uh, the Easy Wolves, led by uh, Sudarshan Mutudantri. Bilwar and Mudutantri they are on your screen, two former teammates, played at St. Thomas's and at uh, Havelocks together. Shamli Bura at the back, he has bulked up a bit. Sudam Suryarachi at number 15. For the Wolves, he has uh, Roshan Veeratna to the kick start proceedings. Good high hanging kick by Veer Ratna. Collected by the Eagles, Sudam Surya Rachi. Good chop tackle by Sam Rubura. Sashan Mohammed at the base. Now Billy on the armbar. Out to Still with the easy balls inside their own 22. Mujudantri in cent center field. Wide pass to Surya Rachi. Looks to go on the outside. Sees that there's no space, cuts back in. Does well to stay in field. But uh, Mujudantri penalized there for having his hands on the ground. That rule usually applies only when you're contesting for the ball. Taking the ball into contact. Sambal Bura feeds. Viraratna swings it out wide. Once again, Sachin, two calls from the referee for keeping the hand on the ground. Priyanta Gunaratna, the man in charge for this game, quarterfinal number four against the uh, Easy Wolves taking on the defending champions Eagles. Yes, and, uh, we've seen a few questionable calls over the course of the day, or at least calls that we haven't agreed with. Referees are much closer to action, so sometimes they see things that we don't. We obviously have the advantage of HD replays as well. Easy goals now with the line out in their own half. Sasha Mohammed feeds Surya Rasha. Now out wide to uh, Andrew Amonde, uh, Kenyan teammate there, Nelson Oyo. Mobile Eagles now with a scrum right on halfway. Good attacking opportunity for the Eagles. We've got a split lineup. Martin Yusefo on the right, Andro the Wilver on the left. They go to Yusefo. Easy balls, take it quickly. Sashan Mohammed out to.
Sudam Zurara she takes it up quickly. Now Andrew Monde. Out to Dinusha uh, Chaturanga. Steps his way around under the Wilbur. Not often you see that. And uh, goes over for the first try of the day of the game for the Easy Bulls. A brilliant stuff from uh, Easy Bulls. Uh, it was initially started off when Sasha and Mohamed put uh, Boyo Nelson on uh, to space on the near side and then they swung the ball out wide uh, off a penalty. Sudam Suryar, she took it quickly, gave it through the hands to Sandhu Nehra to run around under the Wilbur as you said. Very unusual to see that. But uh, both both have good, good pace and have played for Sri Lanka for most number of years now. Uh, Chat Dinusha Chaturanga as Sudam Suryarachi doesn't kick uh, the conversion properly, so it's five points. Here's the replay once again. Oyo Nelson, or rather Andre Mante, putting Dinusha Chaturanga. He was already on the outside when the pass came in, so it was a bit tough uh, to uh, undo the Wilbur to make the tackle. Yes, uh, Wilbur are just probably lacking a bit of technique. They're going a bit too high, just got pushed off with the fin. Martin Yusefo now with the ball. Uh, interesting fact, you know, uh, Wilbur missed uh, last evening's game. The last game of the tone of the evening yesterday, he was uh, down with a bit of fever. So probably a bit out of sorts as well. High tackle there by uh, Nelson Oyo. Referee playing advantage. Wilbur now looking to make amends. Steps through, still going. Order the scrum. And the fourth and final quarter final of the cup segment in the franchise uh, tournament. The Easy Wolves taking on the Mobitel Eagles. Easy Wolves leading five points to nil. Just under six minutes played. They're just joining us. This is the Sri Lanka Super Sevens powered by Dialogue. Brought to you on uh, www.thepapare.com as well as Dialogue TV Channel 1 and Dialogue My TV for our mobile viewers. Easy Wolves, correct option, they're not going for the corner. Uh, they're leading on the scoreboard and have about 30 minutes to put some pressure on the uh, Mobitel Eagles if they can try and extend this lead, which will give them a breathing space come second half. League Eagle on your screen. And the Mobitel Eagles playing with Martin Yusefo in their side, an Olympian. I had a chat with him yesterday. He was talking about how uh, he feels the standard of Sevens rugby in Sri Lanka is up there. He says uh, quite a few of these players can make it on the Seven circuit. If only they were given the opportunity. So that's high praise coming from an Olympic uh, seventh player. And the halftime bell goes. This time we do play the scrum. Lost backwards. No, nope. referee Priyanka Gunratna says it went forward. And Uh, referee calls for half time. So Easy Wolves going into the half, leading five points to nil. You have the final con the half time confirmation. Mobitel Eagles trailing five nil against the Easy Wolves in the fourth quarter final. Wi Fi everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Get seamless connectivity with SLT Mobitel Wi-Fi hotspots in cafes, food courts, shopping malls, restaurants and more across the island. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back. Easy Wolves in their handle. A lot of experience there on their Monday. Nelson Oyo, Billy Odiembo, Chanaka Chandimal, Sudam Suryarachi, Sudarshana Mutudantri, one Sri Lanka captain.
Yes, uh, both three Kenyan players in this side have played on the World 7 circuit, they know. They are a couple of them actually in the uh, Kenya Olympic squad as well, so they've got some experience there. Uh, Andrew Monde spends, uh, plays a lot of his rugby uh, with the World 7 Series uh, leading try scorer Colin Zanjira, also from Kenya. Unfortunately, not down with us uh, on for this tournament. Good clean out there by Lee Eagle. The Eagles now with a chance to attack. Wilvera gets a bouncing pass straight into touch. The Mobile Eagles have uh, struggled to click a bit uh, early on, you know. The passes haven't been going to hand. A bit uh, lackadaisical in defense as well. Uh, not something Coach Nilufa will be happy about. Because they have good runners on the outside. People like Andrew the Wilbur have not got enough space to run so far in this game. Yes, they haven't got good space with the uh, ball. Nelson Oyo goes into contact, uh, takes two men to bring him down. Mutu Tantri now changes direction. Black on the blind side, step back in from Oyo. Surya Rachi looks for space on the outside, nothing available. Steps back in. Uh, penalized for a deliberate knock on there. Mutudantri driven back in the tackle there. Sore Arachi looks for space out wide. Wilvera commits the tackle, makes it. Needed to make that tackle there, Wilvera. He uh, left a man on the outside, came in to make that tackle. And very good technique shown by there by Wilvera. Perfect technique for a tackle. Head on the side of the thighs, wraps, wraps uh, around the ball carrier or the ball receiver under the Wilvera on his screen. Sri Lankan yeah. Dynamo. I'm sure Coach Nilfa Ibrahim had a few words for him after he allowed uh, Chaturanga to slip through earlier on. Milvara just making his comeback after almost two seasons out due to injury. Another wide pass. Martin Yusefo looking to set up Wilvera straight through the hands. Quiet day for Andrew the Wilbur. Very yeah. uncharacteristic. Yeah. Of him. Yes, the pass was a bit hard and high, but uh, he'll take nine times out of ten. Yes, it also yeah. 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 How important uh, rest and recovery. Is probably not had the best of nights. Uh, went in with some fever last evening, missed the last game as well. So. Not in his best form, Dinusha Chaturanga tries to get around him, this time not able to. Nice lo looping pass there. Uh, over the head of uh, Rehan Silva. He is once again on Monde. Just threw a pass, uh, thinking that a Kenyan, six foot five Kenyan, is on the outside, but it was unfortunately the young Sri Lankan Rehan Silva, a bit too high on him. Yes, uh, Rehan Silva. He's pretty high for a back. He's a uh, fairly tall player. Martin Yusef, this time, cuts Wilver back on the inside. The fend looks to get through. Two men taken to bring him down. Yusef feeds from the base. Mohamed Absal swings it wide. Now back on the inside to Roshan Veeratna, dancing his way through, gets the pass away to Mohamed Absal, puts the hammer down, swings a wide pass to Martin Yusefo, looks for Wilvera. Wilvera steps in, referee playing advantage.
Mobitel still with possession. Martin Yusefo. Penalty for the Eagles. Shamlibura. Lee Kegel tackled a little bit early there. Referee uh, showing a yellow card. Shamlibura goes over for the try to equalize. Try awarded. So five points apiece now. Roshan Viratno will take this conversion. Just over a minute left in the game. Defending champions coming back into the game. Roshan Viratna will take his time with this. Knows his grounds very well, he knows the wind. Not to say that there is much wind today. Fairly humid day in uh, Nitavala. Perfect con uh, conditions for Sevens Rugby. And the replay once again, taken quickly. And then uh, offloading in good strength and uh, skill showed there by Shamli Bura to stretch and score that try for the uh, Mobitel Eagles. The Eagles uh, opting to go deep. Oh, beautifully collected by Martin Yusefo. I think he landed on his shoulder there. He doesn't look to be too much, too comfortable. Referee probably needs to stop play here. Looks like a fairly serious injury. Referee having a chat to his assistant referee. I didn't think there was anything wrong with that. Both men were in the air. Uh, the only thing perhaps going against, uh, I believe it was Surya Rache who contested for that, was that he took his eyes off the ball. He looked down. And... Uh, <laughs> So hopefully our technical team can bring us another replay of that. Referee having a chat, so he's going to award a penalty, I assume. That's uh, Supun Dilshan having been spoken to by the referee. Mutudantri doesn't agree with the call. You see oh there, they know yes. he, he took his eyes off the ball and he looked down at the man coming in front. And at that point, uh, the... Yeah, Sanjeev, if we can get another replay of that, that shot in the air. That, that slight hesitation is what uh, really did him there. If he had committed and kept going for the ball, I don't think the referee could have penalized him, but he just pulled his way out. Looks like he's uh, not in good shape. Yeah, you see, there you have confirmation. Seven points to five. The Easy Wolves taking it. Just the conversion in it. So Shamri Bura's try. The difference between the defending champions and the Easy Wolves. And uh, we now move on to the school's cup quarterfinals. I beg your pardon. It's the bowl quarterfinals. Bowl semi-finals. Dharma Raja College taking on St. Joseph's College. And uh, taking over in the commentary box will be Romario to take you through the school's games. He's been anxiously waiting for the St. Joseph's game. Thank you, Sachin. Yes, uh, after yesterday, we'll be looking forward to St. Joseph's uh, getting a good result today. And as you can see, the St. Joseph's College uh, Lineup. I think uh, Rashen Gunavadan will be one man to watch out for, along with uh, Keshav Kavinda and uh, Akila. I think uh, they have been the three standout players uh, playing for the first 15 team as well. 
There is the Dharmaraja College team, uh, Bhavan Taudangamu, the star player for them. And then they have some runners on the outside uh, in the name of Heshan Kasturiara. She's one very good speedster for Dharmaraja College. Welcome, uh, Romario. Uh, not the not the place uh, you would like to see a school in, but uh, yes, they are here in the bowl semi-final. Yes, definitely not the place we would have liked to see our lads. Uh, but uh, well, there is uh, more to play for as uh, there is a second leg as well. So let's hope that uh, there will be some good results from now on and in the second leg going forward. So as the two teams line up in the uh, tunnel and uh, are waiting to get all the go-ahead uh, to run out, I think uh, you can see the uh, the Papare.com photographer as well, giving you uh, live pictures, uh, live coverage as uh, the fans have uh, filled in and uh, the teams have uh, run out to watch, uh, rather to uh, contest this game. Uh, these two teams played yesterday and uh, drew 19 all, so I think uh, both teams will be wanting to get one over the opposition. Yes, Romario, there's a lot of history, isn't it, between these two schools. Some for good, some for not that good, but uh, it's all over now and uh, St. Joseph's will have everything to play for and also Dharma Raja College yesterday evening going down to uh, science. So it's a big moment for the youngsters in the Bolt semi-final. Here's the kickoff. Yes, that was Johan who kicked off and uh, that was a lovely kickoff there. Just go in the 10 meters and uh, well contested by the Josephian and uh, wins the kickoff and now they are on attack. Uh, but a not uh, good pass. However, Johan uh, collects and uh, now he runs forward and gets the offload away to Carvin. Then uh, will he have the speed? Yes, he does have the speed to go over. And that's the first points of the game for St. Joseph's College. Uh, good place to be in if you're a St. Joseph's College supporter as uh, Carvin the dots down under the post. Uh, A very good start from St. Joseph's. Straight away putting the mark on. And their key players touching the ball. Lovely passes. Here the replay once again. Good run from uh, Johan. And then on the outside went uh, Keshan Kavin. These are try scoring machines in the seventh circuit, isn't it? Yes, and he has been uh, prolific in the 15th tournament as well as uh, the game restarts from the try. And uh, here is uh, Dharma Raja College getting some footwork on and uh, going forward. That was uh, Malindu, the number 12. And here's uh, Udan Gamua. We know what he's capable of as uh, they decide to send the ball wide back with Malindu. He tries to run over Johan, but. Uh, Unable to do so as they spread the wall wide and now there's a man on the overlap and uh, has he got the speed? Uh, no, he hasn't as uh, a good tackle is made by Johan but the ball is loose and uh, now St. Joseph's College uh, bundle Dharmaraj into touch. So that was a good passage of play by both teams. Good in attack and defence as well. Yeah, scrambling defence by St. Joseph's. On the outside was uh, Piatissa. Just had that, had, he, had, he had that little bit of pace, he would have gone around but... Uh, that's the danger of this Dharmaraja team. They have good hard runners in centre field and on the outside. Udanga Amur will carry the ball any time in centre field. And then Dharmaraja have good uh, players like Piatissa and uh, Kasturiarachi on the outside to run. Yes, and now it's back with uh, Kavin as he pops the offload. Single-handed offload to Johan and he puts on the footwork and now he's through. Will he, will he go over? Will he have the pace? No, he won't as uh, he's brought down from behind. So, some good... Uh, Defend, cover defense, but uh, St. Joseph's College managed to win the, the penalty. And here goes Rashen with the quick tap. Uh, now it's uh, number four, Shehan Kalniagoda. He sets uh, and uh, pick and go. And that's the second try for St. Joseph's College. Uh, some lovely bit of play. First by Keshav Kav in the end. Uh, Johan to set up the second try as uh, St. Joseph's College extend their lead further. So 
it, it will be Santosh Algama to convert the try and uh, he does so successfully as uh, the St. Joseph's College score is extended to 14 points to nil. Good uh, balanced play Dinuk there by uh, St. Joseph's uh, first in defence. They scrambled, they put the man out and uh, won the ball off the scrum as we see the yeah, replay. The replay once again. Off that right foot, boom event. And then it was, uh, saw the space on the outside, uh, right in front of him, uh, went uh, Vishwa Pereira for that uh, try for St. Joseph. Here's the restart once again. Good high hanging restart, but uh, unfortunately a bit too far for the Josephian uh, attackers to compete as uh, Dharmaraja spread the ball wide now. Number 15 putting in uh, some uh, footwork as uh, the player goes through and uh, a lovely turnover there. I thought everything was uh, fine, but uh, saying that the referee has other ideas, uh, the tackler has not released. Quickly taken by Dharmaraja College. They'll spin this ball outward. Here's Bhavanta Udangamua. Backhand pass, trying to step his way through. Yes, and we this can. Is Piatissa trying to step off one, step off two, offloads it on the outside. Now men on the outside for Dharmaraja, ball not going to hand. Referee says it's a forward pass, so oh dear, oh dear. If we can manage to see a replay there, it will be very interesting. But I think uh, the St. Joseph's College defence did well, flying out. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the forward pass. It uh, seems to be quite a marginal call, but I uh, think the referee is in the best position, so we'll give it to him. Uh, it's, it's just millimeters of going in front and going straight off your hand, isn't it? So one of those calls that the referee has the best view of it. Here's St. Joseph trying to attack on the outside once again. The referee has stopped for a knock forward. Fourteen points to nil. One and a half minutes to go on the clock. St. Joseph's leading. This uh, against uh, Dharmaraja College. It's nice weather, isn't it, here in Candy uh, Romario? It's a bit hot today, a bit warm than yesterday, but the rain has uh, kept out so no, far no, no, from no. the grounds and, and not even in the Candy area. It's it's perfect conditions for Simon's rugby. Yes, I think uh, the rain not coming down today has been a plus, but. Uh, We'll hope uh, that uh, as the day progresses, the heat does not get, uh, does not increase. So, uh, and if uh, it stays like this, I think we'll be in for a good day of sevens as uh, Dharmaraj feed the scrum and uh, now they regain position. Switches in. Once again, isolated player there from Dharmaraj. St. Joseph's doing good to turn over ball. Penalty will come up for St. Joseph's for holding on against the Dharmaraja player. Pia Tissa was isolated and on top of that was Vishwa Pereira. Yes, I think that was some uh, good defensive work as well by, by the St. Joseph's College lads. Uh, not only in attack, uh, defence is also a pivotal part in this game and uh, they have uh, stepped up today. Centre back. Let number 10. So here's uh, St. Joseph's College field in the line out and uh, seem to bounce. Uh, lucky there for uh, Rashain Gunavadana, but unfortunately the line out did not go straight, so the referee pulls back play. And uh, the hooter goes off in back play as uh, the first half. Uh, Seems to have come to an end, but the referee says that there is one more play left. Some lovely play there by Dharmaraja College off the scrum. But now, unfortunately, they lose the ball forward, but uh, illegally, says the referee. 
and uh, now uh, Dharmaraja will be ideally looking to get one score and uh, end this half and if they do so I think they'll be in good position as uh, Budangamu gets the offload but does not hang on to it so now St. Joseph's College uh, with the ball again and they should just ideally kick it out and end the first half but uh, they have other ideas as uh, Rashi and Gunavadana runs now lobs the pass but it's knocked forward and I think uh, if uh, nothing comes off this this will be the end as uh, yes uh, that's, that's the knock on first knock on second knock on and uh, it's the end of the half so St. Joseph's College uh, going in uh, with uh, a two try lead over Dharmaraj College the score con confirmation coming up 14 points to nil in favour of St. Joseph's College at the end of the first half Purunay Sahita Sri Lanka Ve Vegabath Majalain Dialogue 4G Home Broadband Handanwadhanu Prepaid Broadband Ita Bahasuwin Top Up Karala Data Plan Nika Activate Karagana Rupiah Annu Hathya Andhila Data Plan Maghe Persekata Hariya Nama Vidhi Hata Maasika Gaastu Munna Vatnay Obey Nivasuhu Vyaapare 4G Broadband Samagin Balagan Vaan Dialogue Anagathya Adai Welcome back. Bull quarter final one. St. Joseph's uh, taking on Dharmaraja College. Bigger part in bold semi final one. Quarter finals were played yesterday. Is the Sri Lankan uh, trainer? Crowd building up slowly. That's the walkers, wipers, uh, the VIP seating area. So if you're around uh, Candy, drop into the Nitha Villa Rugby Stadium. It's uh, entrance free of charge. And it's perfect sevens rugby going on here at uh, the Nithavilla Stadium. Your stars are playing. Come and support a lot of local heroes. Couple of uh, local uh, teams as well. St. Anthony's, Dharmaraja, King Sud and Trinity playing uh, here at uh, the Nithavilla Stadium. So if you can drop by and uh, cheer your squads. It'll be awesome. It's normally a packed stadium here in uh, Nithavella and it's Candy Sports Club players are playing. So, yeah, maybe after lunch for a chill out, you can join up here at Nithavella Rugby Stadium. Yes, as uh, Dharmaraja College kick off the second half, uh, chasing the game, going behind uh, 14 points to nil in the first half. And now they have all to do in the second half. So it will be Rashe and Gunawadhan throw into the scrum, uh, correction, throw into the line out as uh, gets uh, picked. Josephian Pocket gets picked by Dharmaraja as Dharmaraja go on attack now. A big tackle coming in, but uh, to no avail as uh, number 15, uh, that's uh, Dulang, he puts on the pace and goes over for the first try for Dharmaraja College. A perfect start for Dharmaraja, isn't it? Dulang appears to so there on the outside for Dharmaraja College. So much pace and talent this boy has. And lovely hands as well from Dharmaraja College. Couple of beautiful passes right in front, man running in support. And Piyatis on the far side just scored it. Here is the Bama Taurangama hooks the ball off the left post far away from the left post. Here's the replay once again. Look at his hands. One behind and in front at pace was Piatisa. Was already on the outside of the defender. And he scores uh, the first try of the Bull Court semi final for Dharmaraja College. And they need to hit back soon if they need to uh, come up against St. Joseph's. 14 points.
So Dharmaraj College winning a penalty there and uh, takes a quick tap and now they're off as uh, the ball is sent off uh, to Udangamu as he fends the first defender and uh, runs away and uh, flicks the ball back. Now it's back with Udangamu. A good uh, bit of play there by Dharmaraj but unfortunately uh, their hands let him down. Yeah, brilliant, isn't it? Buenak Udangamu is standing up on the tackle. Bhavanta Udangamu, Buenak is his brother playing for Candy Sports Club. Surprised not to see him in the franchise list. Buenak Udangamu, very strong ball carrier. Bhavanta standing up on the tackle and offloading it a couple of times. For Dharmaraja College, looks like has lost a bit of uh, lost a bit of weight of when I saw him in the 15s. Yes, the referee requesting a bit more steadiness in the scrum as uh, we see the next uh, ball shield semi-final lined up. It's uh, Easy Patna College taking on St Anthony's. Both teams did not perform. To the up to the mark uh, last evening yeah, and throughout yesterday as uh, we see St. Joseph's College ringing the changes. Feeding the ball into the scrum. Scrappy ball coming out for Josephs. Trying to play inside the own 22, a forward pass. Yes, it was coming out in front of the hand of uh, Keshan Kavinda, the try scoring machine for St. Joseph's College. 11 minutes on the clock, uh, Romario. 14 points to 5, St. Joseph's leading. Yes, the game has uh, drastically slowed down in the second half, I think. Uh, the boys seem to be running out of steam as the St. Joseph's College win a penalty and Dharmaraja penalised for throwing the ball away by being marched back for the 10 metres. Rashen gives it to Pereira as Rashen gets it back. Now it's uh, with Imesh Disanayaka as he tries to put his pedal on the gas but uh, there seems to be another penalty coming for St. Joseph's as uh, there was hands in the ruck and here's Kavin the he steps on the gas and uh, takes uh, three men to bring him down as he get recycles back, get back, get back. and now Russian Gunavadana sends it out to the sen fly half as uh, he puts on the speed and uh, is caught by uh, Udangamu but managed to get the ball away but uh, the linesman the AR had his flag up uh, so we'll go in uh, to a line out for Dhanuraj College deep inside their own half. Yeah, Dhanuraj has to hit back soon here. The replay once again. Just running on the outside is uh, Nehan Pereira. Just bundled into touch. Didn't release on time. Untidy line out there by Dhanuraj but uh, somehow managed to uh, get out of jail by winning a penalty correction uh, in fact that penalty was for St. Joseph's so, so more pressure on uh, Dharmaraj to defend uh, but uh, Kavin the should go over easily and he does uh, and I think that will be the game as the referee blows for the try yeah, it's a bit hard to come back from here for St. Joseph's Oh, sorry, Dharmaraja College. Yes, as you can see here on the replay, uh, Kavin, the he saw there was. Uh, acres of space on the outside brought the fend out and uh, got her down so St. Joseph's College uh, in with a comfortable lead as uh, Santu Shalgama restarts deep restart into the 22 and now Dharmaraja College have everything to do for 
Some good speed shown there by number 13 Vijay Siri as the Supun Vijay Siri steps the last defender and he goes uh, under the post. Uh, no, 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 number four. But uh, there's no stopping him, and uh, but that's too little, too late as uh, St Joseph's College managed uh, to secure the game, even though the conversion is there to come. This, as you can see, the fans uh, and the popper bands uh, all in full flow here at Nitavala Stadium. And if you're close by, do make sure to drop in and have a glimpse of this super rugby as uh, Supun Vijay Siri converts his own try. That's the end of the game. Uh, St. Joseph's College progress through. That's the confirmation. Uh, 19 points to 12. Uh, St. Joseph's College prevail over Dharmaraj. And... Uh, they will move in to the bowl, bowl semi-final which will be held today throughout the day. Thank you. Yes, and uh, next it will be uh, St. Anthony's College uh, taking on Isipatana College. Uh, the man to watch out for in this Antonian line is uh, Mohamed Shabir as he has been uh, Played well, but unfortunately his team hasn't uh, been up to the standard. And uh, for Isipatana College, uh, unfortunately, you don't say this too often, but Isipatana College have not been playing to their capabilities, and they had to pay for it by losing all three games yesterday. So it will be Isipatana College to kick off, and uh, the man to watch out for Isipatana will be. Nadisha Cham in the, the win three quarter playing in jersey number two as you can see here on the bottom of your screen he, he represented uh, college in their first 15 team as uh, the, the high hanging restart is caught well by uh, St. Anthony's College and they managed to secure position and now on attack inside their own half Amar Sridhar there collected the ball and now it's uh, with the number 7 Shabir he has been uh, the man who has uh, lit up this uh, rather sorry Antonian uh, team but now it's uh, good to see how they will perform against uh, a rather weak Isipatan as uh, Shabir spreads it wide Shabir is a man with uh, a lot of work rate, he, he puts in so much in every game, gives in 200% and uh, that's why he's been uh, standing out as uh, a star player for St. Anthony's as uh, they are now just uh, 7 meters away from uh, the Sipatana try line and there goes the first try, that's number 11, uh, Leonage, Ishara Leonage for St. Anthony's as he dots down onto the post. Uh, good build up and they were rewarded with a try as uh, Harshan Josephs joins me in the commentary box. Yeah, lovely build up play, lovely steady progress towards the uh, Isipatana College try line and they are physically quite imposing St. Anthony's that is why it's quite a surprise as to why they find themselves in the bowl competition but uh, that being said it's a very strong start for them in the morning. Janidu okay. Himsara does the honours with uh, the conversion, it's 7 points to nil in favour of St. Anthony's College as we have a look at the replay, fending off his men, holding quite strong and uh, once the support arrived, uh, it looked quite ominous. They were trying to weather this uh, Isipatana defense, wore them down and eventually found uh, the space that they needed. So it will be uh, St. Anthony's to kick off and they go deep, but uh, the kick off is spilt. But uh, the referee says uh, knock back and Isipatana managed to gather the ball again but this time it's a knock on and uh, it'll be a scrum down in favour of Isipatana Isipatana College fortunate to an extent in that occasion but still uh, they'll take that make sure they make something out of it here's a replay trying to find his man but uh, was it a convincing pass however took a bit of a touch over 
from the Antonian player, which was uh, why the knock forward was given in favor of Isipatana College. Scrum uh, cleanly taken by Isipatana now looking for their numbers out wide. Once again, uh, not really clean from Isipatana College, but still they managed to retain possession. Yes, I think one thing that Isipatana lacked in this tournament was uh, managing to hold on to the ball but uh, now again as I say that uh, they managed to cough up another maybe a try scoring opportunity but uh, it's all in vain now as uh, St. Anthony's College are awarded another scrum. Once again good marauding run on the line, did the right thing, drew two men towards him and uh, offloaded in the nick of time. This is an unkind uh, bounce in front of the player. And uh, just a confirmation, this is uh, the second semi-final of the bowl competition in the school segment between St. Anthony's College and Isipatana College in the Sri Lanka Super 7s. First leg up here in Nitavala. I bring you live pictures from Sri Lanka's number one sports hub, the www.thepapra.com. As uh, once again, another handling error, handling Isipatana College, another scrum, let off jail once again because uh, the numbers are growing outside uh, for St. Anthony's. Here's that uh, replay once again. Good quick offload, but I don't think uh, the man out wide, the number 15 for St. Anthony's College. That's uh, Chamod uh, Wanasinghe expected that. And uh, as a result, uh, couldn't hold on to the ball. It's a scrum for Isipatana College as uh, Isipatana player feeds in the ball. Penalty says the referee. Well, all the franchise teams uh, coming in their numbers to support their team. And as the day progresses, we are expecting a bigger crowd. Here's, uh, here's the man with a bit of speed, uh, Nadish Chamin. Yes, and he was the man to watch out for in the beginning of this game. And he managed to spark something. But unfortunately, St. Anthony's uh, managed to uh, get a lead on it as uh, number 13 this time. Uh, for Saint for Isipatana College uh, runs uh, through and uh, rounds it off yeah. under the post. Uh, Anjula Hetti Arachi. Easy does it. Went out wide. Made sure he uh, created that amount of space where the cover up defense could not reach him. And uh, once he rounded them off uh, comfortably, went under the post as uh, the conversion is good. They're back on level terms here. Seven points apiece. That's Samad Kodikar with a conversion. And uh, here's a replay. Lovely hands once again. Drawing the defense, giving the pass out wide. Made the overlapping run. Went out wide as possible. Took both the defenders out of the game. And uh, squared it up by going in under the post. Good bit of work by Dizipat Anad to bring his team back into contention. Yes, and now uh, St. Anthony's managed to collect the restart as they send it through the hands, but uh, through the hand indeed it went. Uh, Mr. One Man, and now they managed to uh, recollect it uh, through Shabir, but uh, he too loses it forward now. Really scrappy, really scrappy play there by uh, St. Anthony's, but uh, now it's easy button on the attack as we see a hand in the ruck. The player takes it quickly and goes and the referee is not aware but uh, he seems to have let, thing go, let things go or has he? No he hasn't so he, is br he has brought play back to where the penalty happened. Unfortunately the referee wasn't aware that uh, Nanji Samin was getting on with things. So having, having a bit of a word with the, the Antonian uh, player. That's the number 15. Jani Duhim Sara. I think he's attending to a blood wound if I'm not mistaken or maybe a challenge uh, or a tackle on the head. Making sure the players are alright to continue. Player safety is of course priority. At the end of it all, Isipatana College has still have a penalty. Uh, 
Loose pass, cleanly gathered though. Sipatana still with the opportunity to finish this half off uh, on the ascendancy. Just in, just in. Again, the referee says uh, the player left his feet in the contest, so it was not fair. As Isipatana now again on the attack, ball strikes the shoulder of uh, the Antonian, but uh, the referee blows again, brings play back, and calls for a knock on. As we see the spectators and the players, St. Anthony is uh, trying to get something out of this game. Uh, they have been having a Tory tournament along with Isipatana and both teams ideally will be searching for a win to kick off uh, the second day of this tournament. Funny enough, Isipatana College, very unlike them, looking for their very first win of this uh, first leg. Uh, very uncharacteristic of uh, the Isipatana we know. But uh, that being said, it's a very young team, very inexperienced team, so something you'd probably expect. And uh, uh, that was uh, a knock forward, so that should uh, bring things to an end when it comes to the half. Referee has a look at his clock. There goes the bell, and uh, that will be half time. Yes, it was. Uh all even Stevens at the end of the first half as uh, both teams uh, seven, pe seven apiece. So everything to play for as we come back with the second half after the short commercial break. Lanka's fastest network. Are you ready for Dialogue Data Vasana? Every time you top up, you could win free data. Top up more and win more. So get those fingers ready to swipe, surf and share all day. Win free data throughout 30 days with 100 winners per day. Enjoy unlimited data roaming in 75 countries for just $5 a day. Now available to all prepaid and postpaid customers. Dialogue roaming, clearly the best way to roam. Welcome back to the www.thepapra.com. We bring you the Sri Lanka Super 7s, the first leg up here in Nitavela through the Sri Lanka's, to Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. And uh, it's half time. In this bowl semi final between Isipatana College and St. Anthony's College, it's tied seven apiece, and uh, we are about to kick off the second half. But has been a rather scrappy affair from both the schools. Promised a lot uh, in this tournament, but unfortunately, find themselves in the bowl competition. And uh, come the end of this, uh, one of them might find themselves in the plate, uh, plate competition actually. So it will be uh, St. Anthony's to kick off the second half as uh, both teams are on seven points apiece. And there is everything to play for as uh, a shield semi final is, uh, shield final is in store for the winner. Horrible catch there by Sipatana College lad as uh, he knocked it on. And now St. Anthony's uh, goes straight in, into the attack with. Uh, a scrum on the 22. Well, uh, the scrum was uh, not clearly taken, so scrum will have to be retaken here by the Antonian players. Nicely taken on this occasion. There are numbers out wide. There goes the ball, but Isipatana well, well, well uh, manned up to defend that. But still, St. Anthony's remain uh, with possession. Once again, here's the number seven. Just as we see the live action, we have uh, Dinuk uh, who has lined up uh, 
a special guest uh, who has uh, made a visit to us in the com box. Thanks, Joe. We've uh, gotten a very special guest here uh, in the com box. Uh, welcome, Justin Wong, uh, visiting referee for these Carlton the Sevens tournament, Sri Lanka Super Sevens. And uh, just in it, uh, how was the experience here so far refereeing? It's the second day on. Uh, you've refereed quite a few games yesterday. Uh, how has it been? Yeah, it's been a great experience so far. Um, refereed four games yesterday and I think there'll be another four for each of the referees today. Um, weather is not as hot as Colombo. A little bit cooler here and we had a bit of rain yesterday. So that helped to cool things down. Um, it's been great, the level of rugby has been good, the teams have been going out and trying to play positive rugby. So, yeah, it's been a real uh, good experience so far. And uh, being a man who's been officiating uh, the games yesterday, uh, when you look at the Sri Lankan players, the local players, what is the most common mistake that you've spotted and uh, you've seen that they commit in this Game of Sevens rugby? Uh, I don't think there's any one particular infringement I would identify. Um, players have been quite compliant, uh, they've been playing to the whistle and I think they've been coached to do that. Uh, in sevens rugby there's no time to get into debate over the laws, um, it's just about playing to the whistle and getting the game free flowing as, as quickly as possible. Um, and it's been good to see the, the local players uh, interacting well with the foreign players as well. I don't, I don't, sometimes I don't even uh, distinguish between the foreign players and the local players. So yeah, that's been really good to see them mixing well. And also, uh, just to, just to, uh, to add on uh, to that, but we'll come to that as Anthony is looking, looking to uh, come back into the lead. And they do that through uh, their number 10. Janit Sera Singer. And uh, Antonians will be very happy and they're inflicting pain on Isipatana. Isipatana is uh, looking down the barrel at their 50 feet. And uh, that's how much they've lost in the past three years, I believe. And uh, just in, we're talking about the schools, how do you how do you see the quality of rugby in Sri Lankan schools? Yeah, I've been really impressed with the level of rugby by the school boys. I heard there's uh, just 18, under 18 level, but some of the skill level has been really impressive. Uh, the passing skills, the running and the sidestepping skills, uh, as well as some of the hits that you, you've, you've seen and you've even heard. Uh, yeah, it's been really, really good and good to see so many local schools involved and so many local kids getting involved in the game. And uh, let's talk about back home. How, how is the rugby back home uh, for you as a, play a person coming back from there? Yeah, rugby back home in Singapore is good. Um, we're heading into seventh season now. So uh, that's why it's good for me to be given the opportunity to come here as well to, to do some sevens rugby. But yeah, um, Singapore rugby... Uh, we're slightly behind Sri Lanka, I believe, but uh, yeah, hopefully in the coming years we will we'll be able to catch up. I I hope that it wouldn't come through. I'd like <laughs> Sri Lanka to be in front of you all, but uh, just in just another note, I would like to know the level of refereeing. You're the only foreign referee that we have here, yes. so the level of refereeing when it comes to the local referees, uh, what is the feedback? If you are to give them feedback on something, on one particular thing, what would it? What would that be? Yeah, I mean, the main thing I would say would be to try and get as much experience as you can. Uh, you can get, um, continue to try and have consistency in your refereeing. Um, keep doing it and keep uh, working hard. Learn from your experiences and, and improve with every experience. Um, these tournaments are great experiences for, for young referees starting out, even refereeing the school games or the women's games. And uh, you've, got to go, you've got to learn from each experience and, and take a few learning points from each tournament and go into the next one and, and become a better referee with every, ex with every tournament under your belt. That's a very diplomatic answer that I got from uh, the referee Wong. But what I'm looking at is, uh, just in, I'm looking at what do you think as a shortcoming that is common around the Sri Lankan referees? Because we've seen uh, in our aspect, when it comes to sevens rugby, the free flow is hindered sometimes. We don't see the fast open rugby. Uh, in, in that aspect, what do you think is is uh, the referees of Sri Lanka can improve on? Um, maybe perhaps at the, the playing of the advantage. Um, in in, uh, in, in sevens rugby, you know, we really want to have uh, 
quick and short advantages so that the play can can be really lightning quick. Uh, uh, one of the, fr the the phrases that we use in sevens rugby is to facilitate a uh, lightning quick ball and you know advantage is over really quickly um, but I mean I, I've, I've seen the referees uh, work hard over the, the, the past day and a half uh, uh, with with all aspects of their game not just the advantage and I, I think that's an area that all referees continually try to to work on and improve brilliant thank you so much for sharing your break moment with us Justin and we wish you good luck for the rest of the games that you're going to officiate big ones coming up and uh, we hope you enjoy your stay here in Sri Lanka. Thank you. Thank you, Sudarshan. And uh, just to get back into the action, St. Anthony's have uh, pretty much run away with this tie. 22 points to 7 from the last time we were on air. But it seems like Isipatana will have a consolation right at the depth. Well, uh, just uh, uh, try in vain uh, by the looks of it. 22 points to 12 as it stands with the uh, conversion to come from an acute angle. Unfortunately, Isipatana, well, uh, they opt to go for the restart rather than the conversion. So, well, they're looking really trying to go for the kill but St. Anthony is up for it and that's the conclusion of that particular semi-final and uh, here's a confirmation of what's next to come Kingswood taking on Science College in the plate semi-final one in the cup semi-final one I beg your pardon and here's a confirmation of full time St. Anthony's College 22 Easy part of the college uh, Defeated once again, 12 points. Welcome back. Uh, you are joining us live uh, from the www.thepapere.com. Here's a confirmation of the Kingswood team, which is going to take on Science College. A few big names to look out for a few uh, upcoming superstars in this Kingswood lineup and here's uh, the Science College team well uh, a lot of hard-working uh, players Tanuj Rashmika being one of those players alongside uh, the number seven Roshan Sanjula and uh, joining me in commentary for this uh, First Cup semi final is Sunet. Uh, good morning to you, Sunet. Been an enthralling start for this uh, second day. Good morning, Joe. Yes, it has been an exciting couple of games in the morning as we come down to the first Cup semi final of the school segment. Science College taking on Kinswood College. Science beating Dharmaraja coming into the semi final as, and Kinswood upsetting St. Joseph's. Come into the semi finals as Kinswood kicks it off. Good charge forward by Science College as they opt to go out wide. Science slowing things down as they opt to run. That's, a num that's the number three. Dananjay Fonseca being taken down. And the support arriving, but still penalty in favor of Science College. Trying to take it in a hurry. Going out wide now. There's the dancing feet. Trying to hop past his uh, challenge, but uh, taken down in the nick of time. There's the other big name, the number seven. That's uh, Sanjula Rohan. Science College has exciting players to watch Madhu Madhu, the key player in the number five jersey as Kingswood College turns the bo ball over as Janita is still going forward, good offload there as Kingswood having a chance, very good pass and they go to score the drive, the number eight Ishara Kure goes first on the board for Kingswood College, so Kingswood College five points up in the scoreboard 
Well, out of nowhere, Kings were turning things around, turning up the heat on uh, Science College, who are on the ascendancy. And I think this is what made the Kingswood prevail against St. Joseph's as well. Against the runner play, they came up with a performance which completely baffled a uh, much fancied uh, St. Joseph's College as we have a look at the replay. Yeah, that's the Kingswoodian who took the turnover. Beautiful piece of handling by the Kingswood team. And Ishara had nothing else to do, just go over the line and score. Okay. So, Kingswood College, seven points to nil in the lead as Kingswood kicks it off good collection by Science College they have space out wide the strong lad going forward but brought down then taken into touch Kingswood College with the line out good bit of defensive work by uh, Kingswood College on that occasion quickly taking the restart Mark once again the referee wants it uh, Taken uh, from uh, the line itself. Science College now uh, well, uh, with a bit of a task up their hand. Kingswood uh, should not be underestimated. They can uh, spring a few surprises. They might have a few tricks up their sleeve. Here they come again. This is a very good offload, but still, Kingswood held on to possession. As Azi Seni Viratna charges forward, he needs support. But Science College turns it over. As Hassan Madhumadhava runs easily under the post and he scores the first try for Science College. And they're up on the scoreboard, seven points to five. As Madhumadhava well, is uh, down. Well, on the aftermath, uh, the trailing defender left a foot on his face by the looks of it. Doesn't seem to be in. Uh, any sort of comfort. The Wouldn't assistant have... referee having a word with the main referee. So, referee Madhuval wants to speak with the Kinsudan captain. And he sends him off. Yellow card. So, that's one man down for Kinsud College. Number I think the referee has gotten the wrong player. He carded the number one from uh, Kinsud College. That's... Uh, Tarindu Waligampula, but it wasn't him, it was actually the number 12, uh, that's Shazan Rahman, he there you the go incident. The, there you go, the replay, that's the boat, that's nasty, really unnecessary, that deserves a yellow card. That's quite cynical, that's actually a red card, that was quite intentional, he knew what he was doing, that was not uh, because he was... Uh, not in control of his momentum. Now that's a little bit naughty from uh, the Kingswood player. I think he's uh, lucky to survive with the yellow card on that occasion. So the score stands at 7 all as Science College messes up with the gear start. So Kingswood with the ball. Good tackle coming in by Science College Abhishek as Kingswood still with position. Well, you not a good pass, but still Kinsud with the ball. Lovely spin, but uh, still not able to find that uh, yard of space for him to explode into second gear. Still, signs holding a leash on uh, Kingsud. Also, not to forget that they're numerically having an advantage of science. Uh, As Madhmadav, yet again, trying to go as he beats the defender there's, there's a defender coming behind him but he will easily go under the post to score the try that's the second try for him so science college in the lead for the first time in this game that's his double and that's the second try for science college as well once again there was a bit of a shove from behind Madhumadhava had his hands up at the referee saying what's going on seems uh, not uh, seem to be able to cut a break for himself but he's doing quite so well for his college as he converts his own try 14 points to nil and science college are marching on here as i said earlier madhumadha has been exceptional yesterday as we look at the replay of that try lab with great pace beats two defenders goes on easily to score a try to put his team 
to 14 points just against Southern for Kinswood College. So Science College with the race start. Now uh, Kingswood College will have to make sure they hold on to the ball at least until uh, the the player who has been the returns. Good tackle coming in by Science College as as the the referee says coming from the side. So Sa Kingswood College with an advantage. Not going tense as a ref. So advantage was over, but still. High tackle says the referee, so Science College with the penalty. As we say, Peter Woods, the Sri Lanka servants coach. And this is the first cup semi final Kinswood College versus Science College, as Science is leading, and yet again, an easy try for them. That's number seven, Sanjula Rohan. So Science College extending their lead. 19 points with the conversion to come. Extending their lead and exploding into pace, uh, suddenly come into life. Uh, have Science College after going down seven points to nil. Now they have an opportunity to make it 21 points to seven come the end of the first half, and the conversion is actually pretty efficient. And Madhu Madhava makes no mistake, so it's 21 points to seven. Science in the lead, and there you go, the replay. The small chip kick. And stays beautifully done. Great servant skills. As Sanjo Rohan easily goes under the post to score that try. So Science College, leading Kinswood College, 21 points to seven in this first cup semi-final. G Internet. Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back as is the second half of Science College taking on Kinswood for the first cup semi-final and that's the halftime scores. Science College in the lead 21 points to 7 against Kinswood. So Kinswood need the momentum they had against St. Joseph's yesterday where they came and defeated St. Joseph surprisingly. There you well, uh, here's that incident once again. This was uh, Madhu Madhava's first uh, try, and uh, well, clearly that was quite cynical. That is not, that's quite inexcusable. He knew what he was doing, and uh, irrespective of uh, the apologetic hand, he knew he wanted to leave a mark on Madhu Madhava. Clearly agitated due to the fact that uh, he was taking the mockery out of them uh, when he scored the try. That's not something you would want to see. A real stamp on uh, Madhu Madhava. Fortunately, he didn't come out short in that. He's all right to continue. And that would have been a real shame to lose him uh, in this uh, semi-final. So a good high kick by Madhu Madhava to kick it off for the second half. As Kinswood tries to charge forward. They're going out right now. There's space on the outside with numbers. But he goes into contact. Quick ball out there. As Kinsu charges forward. It's number 12. He's brought down Shashan Rahman. The player who got the yellow card. As Kinsu is brought down on the 50 meter mark. Goes out wide. A small tap. Kinsu under pressure now. Penalty says the referee offside. It was a knock forward by Kinsu, then a play in front collected it, so it's offside. So Science College with an advantage early on in the f second half. Well, Science, uh, if they score one more try here, it's going to be a real mountain to climb for Kim Kingswood College. And uh, that being said, here's one of the try scorers teaming up with the other. That's Madhu Madhava, once again, dangerous ta tackle attempted. But still, Science recycled the ball quite well. Looking for the man out wide, lovely crossfield pass. 
And that should be an easy crossover. That's the number four for Science College. That's uh, Abhishek Fernando. Abhishek Fernando goes in to score his first try of the game. As Science College extends their lead to 26 points with the conversion to come. And another Science player on the deck as referee goes on to check what's wrong with him. They're not quite sure what happened to him. Not really certain about uh, what the injury is, but uh, interesting to see what the consequences are. Because uh, as referee says, it's not a try forward pass so it's brought back Kinsut College with the scrum now so the score stands at 21 points to 7 still Science College leading as Kinsut opts to run not a good pass but he manages to get out of the defender as Kinsut trying to go forward with good pace but brought down Shasham as now Sanjula with the ball, the try scorer has men on the outside but de decides to go by himself who loses the ball, unlucky there so it's a scrum for Kinsut College slowly mistakes creeping in from both the teams very inconsistent rugby at the moment but still Science College very importantly hold that 21 points to 7 lead over Kingswood College Candy and uh, with the likes of uh, Madhu Madhava and uh, Sanjula they still are a very dangerous team Kingswood College with a penalty advantage for line outside so they are trying to go forward as Shashan is taken down cheeky little move there but a fumble Penalty says the referee coming from the side. So Kinsut College with an advantage now. Takes the tap quickly. As Janita goes forward. He's been taken down. And it's a penalty for Science College. Now Science taking that time. Chip and run. Oh, very unfortunate. His idea was good, the execution haunting him, but still the number three covered up quite well. Sands still with possession. Ball uh, still being recycled among the Science College players. Here's the opportunity. This time they're going on the opposite direction, looking for numbers out wide. They're not rushing into things. Very smart bit of work by uh, the Science College lads. That's uh, Sanjay Rohan, who has been held up. Well, the referee eventually giving the advantage to Kingswood College. Kingswood College doing a lovely bit of work there and next up is the second cup semi-final St. Peter's College taking on Trinity College as Kingswood College with the scrum Dananjay Gunatilaka to feed in it's 11 minutes gone in our clock, 3 minutes left for Kinsut College for a comeback as Dananjir passes the ball out wide. Yes, Asiri going forward, good offload there. He needs support now. As Science College turns it over, unlucky for Kinsut. A bit of pressure on the Science attack now. But manages Madhuan that manages to step off two defenders and give it out. I think it's Abhishek. No, that's number six. Imas Sasindu. Who had been impressive for Science College yesterday. Goes under the post to score easily. Well, I think uh, that ought to seal the deal for Science College. Probably the final nail in uh, this Kingswood coffin. 
and uh, lovely bit of footwork initially from Madhu Madhava then to set up uh, the man out wide uh, who just had a matter of uh, running the ball home which he did here's the replay of that uh, last try once he received it he had an open field to run at to be very honest and uh, he did it quite comfortably in the end so it's 20 po 28 points to 7 science college cruising through the finals of the school's cup segment of sri lanka super 7 2017 as Madhu Madhav lines up for the restart. Well, uh, the next game is probably the biggest of them all. A lot of superstars uh, on display. Ravin Fernando from St. Peter's College. Vishwarana Raja for Trinity College. Warren Birokon also. Another one of them. So, a lot of talent uh, on display. Interesting to see how the boys will handle the pressure. And... Uh, go on about their business the St. Peter's College number 8 of course Rukshan another player to watch out for as Science College continue with their brilliant attack as Madhu Madhu with his brilliant footwork still going forward <laughs> a long offload as number 15 Shamika Malinda goes to score the try with the hooter well, absolutely brilliant from uh, Madhu Madhava. Initially to step uh, inside and away from his defender and to eventually offload the way he did with precision. That's class. Uh, brilliant bit of work and uh, science convert that. Here's the try once again. Look at that for feet. He just absolutely outfoxed his... Uh, opposite numbers and once he knew he ran out of space the awareness he had to offload was uh, brilliant so science college easily cruising through to the cups finals of the school segment there you go with the full-time confirmation 33 points to 7 science college winning it easily as we get ready with the kickoff of the second cup semi-final Trinity College taking on St. Peter's College. This is going to be an interesting semi final. Well, the hometown boys against uh, one of the favorites for the title. St. Peter's will kick things off. It will be Ryan Fernando. Referee uh, making sure everything is in place prior to kickoff. And uh, there goes the first whistle. Not, uh, that's poor. not a very good restart. Most of the teams are struggling with the kicks. So, Trinity College earning a free kick earlier on in the game. As they take a tap, as Navin Rajaratnam charges forward. Brilliantly done. Sakit Sakal Surya gives it out. Jamal is taken down. Amit Kulatunga gives it out to Akita Sakala Surya. Their numbers out wide. And space as Navin Vijay Na Rajaratnam opts to run. Knocked forward by Vishwarana Raja. So, St. Peter's with the scrum. Not the start uh, Vishwarana Raja would have wanted. But uh, still, I think uh, it's a matter of shaggy it off and going on with the game. St. Peter's, uh, well, Alarm bells were looming, but still they were yeah, let off uh, the hook on that occasion. A lot of uh, talented young individuals uh, on display from both teams. So it's going to be a really nip and tuck battle here between both the schools. As we see the crowds slowly but steadily gathering into Nittavala to experience this final day of uh, the Singer Super 7s. Brought to you, powered by Dialog, brought to you live to the www.thepapre.com. As St. Peter's loses the scrum to 20, with position as Warren Wigan charges forward. <laughs> Penalty says the referee, not helping his body weight. So unlucky there for Trinity College as St. Peter's takes a quick tap. St. Peter's charging forward. 
as Lakshan is taken down. Good pass by Rukshan. Small chip and charge as Navin Rajaratnam makes a mistake. So it's gone dead. But the assistant referee sees something there. I think it's a knock forward by St. Peter's. Well, uh, at least for the naked eye, it looked like uh, Ravin Fernando knocked it forward. And I'm um, pretty sure that's what uh, the linesman had flagged for. Well, uh, one of our co-commentators taking a small break and enjoying uh, the live action. Of course, the former Trinity and himself. And so apparently there was no knock forward. So St. Peter's with the scrum. It's a good opportunity to go on boots earlier on in the game. Good feed but taken down by Amit Kulatunga. St. Peter's under pressure. Now Trinity with an advantage. But Ravin Fernando with the ball now. Good piece of work and speed. And he goes on to score the try under the post, Ravin Fernando. Well, that's what you don't, or that's what you shouldn't afford to give this man space and time. Once he works his way around a few defenders, he's very hard to stop. That's the first uh, points of this semi-final. Seven points to almost uh, missing that conversion, but still seven points to nil in favor of St. Peter's College as uh, they take the lead against uh, Trinity College. Here's the replay. Trinity had a small advantage, but Ravin did really well. A beautiful step there. As he goes on to score the try easily under the post. So St. Peter's College, seven points ahead of Trinity as they kicks it off. Sakalasuri with the ball, goes into the gap. Scrappy offload, but Trinity is still with the ball. Goes out wide. They have Warren Virokon charges forward. He is in the gap. Can he go through? Yes, he does. As he goes on under the post to score the drive. Pace and power and quite commanding. Warren Virokon will uh, punch us, St. Peter. Punches, uh, punches back uh, St. Peter's College after there. Try. Akitasakal Surya messing it up. So it's 7 points to 5. St. Peter's College still leading. There you go, the replay. Well, look at this. Uh, shrugs off the first uh, defender. Well, shows as if he's going inside. And by the time he steps out, he's unstoppable for a. Uh, Big lad, he has quite some speed under his boots, uh, that's for sure. Yes, he does. As Akka Jisakali Surya restarts deep with a deep kick. St. Peter's, number 15, Jason gives it out right. He gets the ball yet again. Brought down. As St. Peter's with the attack, works the ball. They have a huge gap there. Trinity trying so hard to stop St. Peter's attack. As Vishwaran Raja tries to chip the ball. And knock forward, says the referee. You're watching St. Peter's versus Trinity College, the second cup semi final. Earlier, Science College. Science College went on to win against Kinswood College to qualify to the finals, cup finals, and this is the second semi final. Well, uh, didn't look uh, as if it was uh, forward to the naked eye, but of course the referee has a better view. We are entering the last few seconds of this first half as Robin Fernando tries to chip and run, but uh, the defense does well, but it's an awkward bounce. Ravin Fernando is kindly treated by the ball and uh, well he crosses over for his second and uh, St. Peter's take 12 points to 5 lead with a conversion to come that's Ravin Fernando once again. So 
there you go Rami Fernando goes for his second try of the game St. Peter's now in the lead Trinity College in a bit of trouble being the only unbeaten side in the first day as St. Peter's College lines up for the conversion as the Hooter goes it'll be the half time after this conversion kick goes astray but still 12 points to 5 for St. Peter's as they go into half time they will uh, Love being in this position. Here's the replay. He chipped uh, his defender. Seemed like he had it covered, but Robin Fernando didn't give up. And uh, the unorthodox bounce or the uneven bounce helping Robin Fernando to gather and cross the whitewash. Ranaraja well, truck was tracking back to force the mistake, but didn't work. Here's the confirmation of the halftime scores. St. Peter's College uh, 12, Trinity College 5. We're the last Lannisters. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. If we don't put aside our enmities, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The world premiere of Game of Thrones, Season 7, on HBO. To activate this channel, use the Dialog Self Care app or type on space your Dialog Television account number, space channel number, and SMS to 679 from your Dialog mobile or 0770 679 679 from any other mobile network. Welcome back to the www.thepublic.com. We bring you live pictures from Nittavella, the second half uh, between uh, St. Peter's College and uh, Trinity College. St. Peter's College leading Trinity College by 12 points to 5 as they regather the restart. Now, problems here for Trinity. But, uh, well, good cover up defense. That is great defending. That's what you call a typical bear hug. As an obstruction, at least for what it looked like. But Trinity not wasting time on the referee's call. And they've crossed the whitewash. What a... Well, it looked like they crossed the whitewash. He has gone for a consultation Did the, as the referee. Lots happening at the beginning of the second half. Yes, uh, I think Vishwara Raja was in front of the man. But the try is given. So Trinity College first up on the board in the second half. So pressure back at St. Peter's College as it's 12 point of 10 points to 12 with the conversion to come. So here's the guy who comes up with one of those uh, cute uh, conversions once in a while. Hope this is one of those occasions. Well, it looks good. Well, unfortunately, just missing the upright towards uh, his okay. left. There you go, the replay. That's number six. Dulan did net It looks like it's a forward pass, but it's Vishwara Raja finally scoring. So it's 10 points to 12. St. Peter still leading as they work the ball. Has it been brought down? Advantage for St. Peter's College. So penalty given. Come inside. Coming from the side, says the referee. St. Peter's College in no hurry to restart the game. Look, it looks like they're going for touch. And uh, surely they have a game plan up against this uh, Trinity College team. Which is... Uh, well, that's, that's not really a good bit of work. He couldn't find touch, but knock forward, says the referee. Interesting <laughs> replay. Quite a few interesting it. calls in this semi-final, I tell you. 
But uh, that being said, it's a scrum in favour of Peter St. Peter's College. As uh, once again, I think uh, looking for touch, they were they came out short and they were completely let off uh, the hook. Thanks to the referee. Jason with the feed in. St. Peter's. There's no mistake in the scrum. Giving it out wide, but decides to run alone. Ravin Fernando. Please. Takes three men. <laughs> As Jason gives it out. But it's brought back. As Ravin Fernando yet again with the ball. With his pace. Good foot movement there. But ripped off by Warren Birukun, the try scorer for Trinity. As Naveen Rajaratnam now charging forward. Brought down. Stay back. Amit Kulatunga gives it out. Good pressure, offside, advantage for Trinity College as Vishwaran Raja, the speedster. Yes, the man you want on the ball when there is space on offer, Vishwaran Raja. Well, uh, he's the man who is riding a scooter. He makes it look so simple. He can stop, start and accelerate at a rate of knots. And now he's actually walking himself through. That shows you the man's class. Absolute. Brutal display of speed on that occasion. This is the problem Freddy had in the first half. They couldn't get their star player Vishwan Ranaraja to play. As St. Peter's did a very good job in covering up him. But this time he makes no mistake. Runs around the defenders. Yes, quite a lot of speed with him. As he tries to convert it, misses to convert it. So it's 15 points to 12. Still, the game is in hand. There you go, the replay as Amit Kulatunga gives it out. Bit of pressure there for Nimsala as Twin Vishwanath Raja takes it on by himself. Goes around. Good pace to score. An easy try in the end. Well, uh, now it's pretty much hanging on uh, a knife. Two minutes to play. Three points separating both the teams. What a semi-finals we have had. Referee once again giving a penalty in favor of St. Peter's College. Here's, is this the opportunity they wanted? Here's Ravin Fernando, the man who can spark something for St. Peter's College. Well, uh, trying to offload, but Tim holding on says the referee. Penalty for Trinity College. Trinity College is now with an advantage to extend their lead. Akita Sakalasuya trying to take the, a quick tap, but referee... Wants him back in the mark. So Trinity. Akin Sakalasuya charging forward. Held by his ankle. So he has to stop his run. But that wouldn't uh, be a problem for Trinity College. As Prabhat Vimal is taken down. As Navin Rajanathan picks and goes. Strong lad. The captain going forward. Just brought down inches from the line. A pick and go by Trinity. Stay. As Navin Rajaratnam easily scores under the post. And that might be the game. It's 13 minutes up in our clock. So 20 college up 20 points to 12. The skipper With the conversion to come. The skipper leading by example. He's the man who created the opening and then uh, picked up the pieces and finished off what he started. Here's the conversion to come. And uh, could should be a bread and butter kick. Yes, it is. And now it's a seven point. Uh, it's seven points secured. It's a twelve point lead. Uh, I beg your pardon, a ten point lead. Prabhat Vimal makes no mistake. There you go, the replay. Now in Rajaratna making the initial break. But brought down. He got up quickly. Knew what he has to do. Goes on to score easily. So it's 22 points to 12. Prabhat Vimal with the restart. A lot of words of encouragement coming from our combox as well. Everyone's in full voice. Well, uh, as Jason trying to run forward, good offload there. St. Peter's trying ever so hard to make a change in this game. As beautifully defended by Warren Mirakun. Jason again with the ball, gives it out. Advantage offside, says the referee. So, penalty for St. Peter's College. 
as St. Peter's gives it out wide. Yeah, that should be a knock forward, definitely. Is the referee calling things out. back? Uh, Not that meter. Well, yellow card for the number one. So Trinity have to defend this uh, advantage Not with uh, six men on the field. Well, the quite dramatic, uh, quite a dramatic finish uh, to the semi-final, I tell you. But still, here's uh, St. Peter's College on the ascendancy, trying to go on the inside. Here are the numbers. Well, uh, that should be a try. But I think Trinity College won't mind it, even if it is converted. They have a 10-point advantage. So now they converted at seven points. Yes. So Trinity College with the win, 22 points to 19. Cruising to the final against Science College. Well, uh, this is what we expected, this is what we got. Here's a full time confirmation. St. Peter's College going down to Trinity College by 19 points to 22 to secure their place uh, in the final in the cup segment against the Science College. Welcome back to www.thepopper.com. We are bringing you live pictures from the Sri Lanka Super 7s powered by Dialog. Live and exclusive uh, coverage brought to you by the number one sports hub. And uh, as soon as he takes his leave, uh, Sachin joins me in commentary. Good afternoon to you, Sachin. Yes, uh, good afternoon. Some excellent rugby on hand. We move back into the women's segment. The Sri Lanka Army taking on. Sri Lanka Army taking on Air Sri Lanka Army to kick off. Uh, Sri Lanka, the Army picking up the first win of the gate of the day, beating CRNFC 53 points to nil. The Air Force went down to Navy Sports Club earlier in the day as well. The Air Force with possession now. And fortunately, we haven't got the team cards with us. Two to bring her down, goes into contact once again. Picked up from an offside position. Well, quite uh, a bit of uh, scrappy rugby on that occasion, but uh, possession remains with uh, the army ladies. is uh, Ayesha I'm trying to work the ball out wide trying to find a, a bit of a loophole in this Air Force defense which they do lovely hands lovely offload should be the first try of this game ball grounded and uh, referee awards the try so Air Force is bigger part an army on the board early on Here's a replay of that uh, try. Well, uh, it looked like uh, the ball was slightly held up, but eventually uh, it was grounded for the first points of uh, this game between uh, the Army ladies and the Air Force uh, ladies. 
Five points to nil. Army lead at the moment. Conversion wasn't good. And now uh, Air Force trying to spring something of their own. Going out wide. They have the numbers. Can they utilize it? Well, a bit of pace on offer on the outside. But uh, Army's cover up defense is good. Carrying the ball, uh, carry out of uh, touch. That's a good bit of uh, sweeping defense by uh, Army. Keeping uh, Air Force still at bay. offload on that occasion now army building momentum as uh, support out wide but uh, air force uh, doing their defensive duties quite well that's uh, the army speedster dulani palli kandagi step back on the inside bit of a hair pull there the referee opting not to play any advantage well, that's uh, disappointing considering the fact that army actually could have built on that uh, penalty advantage now so uh, as a result they have are given, the given the opportunity to regroup in defense but still army i don't think would mind as they are going over for their second try of the game Now lining up the conversion. Conversion goes over. Well, that's a 12 points to nil lead for Army. Here's a replay of that try. Nicely working himself uh, through the defense and then uh, finding uh, a yard of space, which is all she needed to get into stride and go over the white line. Army with the restart, opting to go deep. Collected by uh, G1 Tegunawadana. As well to go to ground. Good hands by the Air Force Sports Club. They made some space on the outside. Does she have the pace? A little stop dart and around she goes. Good cover tackle coming there. Air Force still with possession. Now with numbers out wide. Guno Adana bundled into touch. Second time uh, the player the player was bundled out of touch. That was a confirmation of the game that is going on between Army SC and uh, Air Force uh, Sports Club uh, in the women's category. Army leading the game uh, 12 points to nil. Just a few seconds left in the first half. Got a player down injured. Medical staff attending to her. That looks uh, a bit concerning. I think uh, would have been a, a head injury if I'm uh, not mistaken. And she's uh, pretty much not in the state to continue. That's uh, not what you want to see. Yes, uh, good to see the medical staff taking all the precautions. 
last thing you want is a serious injury. You've seen what can happen with a serious injury, Joe. Uh, you remember during the league tournament, one of the Science College players was injured, suffered a in head injury, wasn't taken off the field. And uh, resulted in having to go through brain surgery. So it is very serious and it is crucial that the teams and the medical staff all take the necessary precautions. Well, I hope it's not that serious and I uh, hope she is able to at least recover. And uh, surely she will be uh, stretched off uh, the field by how it looks at the moment. It's quite unfortunate. Uh, I think uh, this was the incident. Here's the. Uh, that was a that was a nasty, nasty head uh, clash to the ground. I think once she was taken down, uh, she went uh, collapsing onto the ground with her head uh, clattering to the floor, and uh, that's a problem. Yes. Uh, almost seems like a bit of whiplash there. So that's why the precautions taken. You don't want to mess around when it's uh, an injury to the neck. But uh, we continue playing. The halftime hooter has gone, but Army is still playing. They want to score more points. There's a step on the inside, pass out wide. Army with some good hands, actually. Very good uh, understanding between the players and good offloading. Slips past one. Now she's trying to step inside. Does very well but uh, eventually he's been tackled but uh, look at the number of support uh, has which has arrived it's just uh, quite easy isn't it uh, when it is like that and eventually it is the number seven who started the move that is going to complete it it's uh, another try for army sc That's the third try for the day for Army SC with a conversion to come. The conversion is no good and that will be half time uh, in this encounter. Here's a replay of that uh, try. That's the first offload and then uh, here comes the second and then once he was caught there comes the third and then well, it was just a matter of going over. Here's a confirmation of halftime scores. Army SC 17 as to Air Force SC nil. Don't be afraid, make the call. Enjoy a host of benefits with Mobitel via Knathua Roving. SLT Mobitel, we care always. Don't be afraid, make the call. Enjoy a host of benefits with Mobitel via Knathua Roaming. SLT Mobitel, we care always. Enjoy unlimited data roaming in 75 countries for just $5 a day. Now available to all prepaid and postpaid customers. Dialogue roaming, clearly the best way to roam. We're the last Lannisters. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. If we don't put aside our enmities, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The world premiere of Game of Thrones, Season 7. On HBO. To activate this channel, use the Dialogue Self-Care app or type on space your Dialogue Television account number, space channel number and SMS to 679 from your Dialogue mobile or 0770-679-679 from any other mobile network.
Welcome back to the www.thepapere.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. Bring you live pictures from Nitevela, from the Sri Lanka Super 7s. This is the women's row. It's Air Force taking on Army SC. This is the second half. And the Air Force will kick things off. Army Sports Club leading 17 points to nil. And uh, they've been quite the dominant force uh, during the early exchanges. Well, that being said, that's the commentator's curse. An error has crept in. As Romario Di Silva joins me in commentary. Yes, uh, Joe, I think uh, the Air Force are continue, uh, correction, Army are continuing from where they left off in the first game against CRNFC. As uh, now they have piled on uh, 17 points in the first half and uh, are looking to extend that lead. Since it's a scrum in favor of Air Force, they'll probably want to get the most out of this so, they get, so that they can get themselves onto the scoreboard. Yes, now Air Force uh, in attack going forward, but uh, I think the loss of uh, their number 17. Uh, Anusha was, is a big loss as uh, she had... Uh, she was stretch stretchered off the field a few minutes ago as uh, Army now on the attack and I'm sure there's no stopping her as uh, she number 20, number 22. Charani goes over for Army. Well, once uh, they cut loose, it looked quite promising. They are offloading and they're passing also the interchanges are quite uh, quite swift and quite accurate uh, it's very hard to contain a team which has such good uh, understanding between themselves and uh, like you mentioned earlier Romario it's a big loss for Air Force I think uh, she is uh, by far the standout player for them she's the one who scored uh, in the first game if I'm not mistaken so losing her it's just uh, another step backwards as the conversion is no good but still 22 points to nil as we have a look at the replay of that try here was that lovely inside pass and once she went on the outside, she just burst into speed and uh, well, there was no stopping her from that point onwards. Yes, I think she was too fast for the Air Force defenders as uh, now Army, Army will be just uh, looking to uh, put more points on the board and just uh, see how this game as uh, there's no way you can see uh, Air Force coming back. Not at least for what we have seen so far. Nine, uh, almost ten minutes on the clock, with just four minutes to play in this game. Army have a commanding lead. All they have to do is uh, to make sure they see out this game. Yes, an army not only in attack, uh, in defence as well as you can see they are again are potent and they have been playing a lovely brand of rugby for this uh, ladies segment. Once again, good uh, intensity shown in defence by Army, forcing the error and uh, getting a, a knock forward penalty in their favor it's a scrum now for army sc try to make the most out of this probably round uh, things off uh, with another try if possible scrum being fed in by uh, the number eight Now, here's the number 15 trying to go out wide. Well, lovely offload once again. Uh, there's no stopping her. There was a tug of the shirt, but uh, she cut loose. And then uh, it was just a matter of uh, touching down. Yes, sir. That was Dulani. They are setting up Ayesha for the try for Army. And uh, now, I'm sure this is just uh, a matter of time. Conversion to come from a testing angle, but I don't think uh, Army will really mind even if it doesn't uh, go through. Oh, the conversion is good, so a bonus uh, on that occasion. 27, I beg your pardon, 29 points to nil. Collector's item there, the conversion.
There was a, a replay of that uh, final try. So Army are the team to beat here as uh, they, they seem to be running away with another victory. 29 points on the board already. But uh, as you can see here, the player, the injured player, Ayesha, correction, Anusha, been uh, take, stretched off. Uh, it's not a good sign in any game, in any sport. But uh, we wish her all the best in her recovery as uh, Army continue to dominate this game. Another good line out, one there, good execution, and now the ball sent out center to the winger. And uh, will she have the speed to go as the center loops around? And now it's uh, a foot raise, and uh, number 15 Dulani steps in, but uh, the referee calls the playback for a forward pass. Quite unfortunate. Uh, if not for the pass, uh, Army would have been surely over, but unfortunately, they have to. Regather and restart. Well, she did all the hard work, but uh, the offload was quite uh, disastrous. Here's the scrum in favor of Air Force. Yes, and. Uh, the Air Force make a meal out of that scrum and now it's Army back again with position just five meters away from the Air Force try. As uh, we hear the full-time hooter going off, Army going on one final attack and uh, there goes uh, number seven. That's Ayesha as she dots down on the stroke of full-time and uh, another convincing win for Army as they beat uh, Yafos uh, with the prior to that the conversion to come of course. Just a matter of a formality in terms of the con conversion that goes astray and uh, Army wrap up yet another impressive win. The second game they've managed to keep a clean sheet in their defensive efforts. Here she comes again. The gap was opening up and uh, well, all she had to do was just exploit it and uh, she was over. And uh, that is the end of uh, that game and uh, the next match uh, prior to that, uh, here's a confirmation of full time, Army SC 34 to nil in terms of Air Force SC and the next game is between CR and FC ladies and the Navy ladies, Navy also one of the favourites in this women's segment, get another strong outfit. Yes, uh, Navy won their first game against the Air Force and now they, they, will, they will also be looking to make it 2 out of 2 like uh, Army who did early on. But uh, early signs are that uh, the kickoff uh, is not good enough and uh, now it's a, it's a free kick for CR and FC. Yeah, not a good restart, so CR and FC handed the advantage straight away. Okay, CR advantage. was at the hands of a drop in by Army in the first game. They oh, conceded 50 plus, defense. so ideally CR will be hoping to come back from that loss, but uh, it won't be any easy. It won't be getting any easy with uh, Navy. They are another strong outfit, and uh, along with uh, a lovely handoff there by the number six of uh, Na Navy, that's uh, Sandika. She just uh, fended off uh, the defender and uh, went over to score the first try for Navy. Well, that was quite uh, bullish on that occasion, but a uh, good bit of uh, offensive play as the conversion is uh, 
conversion is good. Yes, that uh, replay once again. Handing uh, off the first uh, defender. And then uh, this was quite... Uh, that was quite a man handling on that occasion. Oh, and then uh, she managed to cross over for the try. Yes, uh, you cannot go high. And uh, if you go high, that's the result. As uh, Navy restart uh, proceedings Advantage. with uh, seven points in the lead. Yeah. And Navy takes the line out quickly and uh, now they are on the attack uh, as uh, we see the winger step in and uh, weave in her way and will she go over? Yes she has but uh, will she dot it down? Yes she has that's the answer yes it is. Uh, so try number two in uh, a matter of minutes. Well uh, once again it's a uh, golfing class in terms of strength between both the teams. She was able to carry three of her defenders and still cross the white line and score for her team. She will take her own conversion. Hurry up, hurry up, 30 seconds. So that's a conversion uh, goes wide but uh, still Navy two tries to the good and uh, seem to be heading towards another massive victory. So far from what we have seen, here's the replay of that try. She went out wide, tried to come across. She was uh, temporarily held by her defender, but she managed to bully her way through, carried them both and crossed the white line. Yes, that was Tanuja wearing the number five jersey. Who did well and uh, finished it off. Forward right, come down. Red ball. Mark here, boys, please. Knock forward says the referee, so it's a scrum in favour of CR and FC who are holding on get up, get up, get up. with their dear lives at this moment of time. Don't seem to be having any sort of answers for this uh, Navy onslaught. Okay. Another strong scrum there by Navy, but uh, CR somehow managed to recycle the ball, but now it's uh, an interception and uh, there goes uh, try number three for Navy. That's the same person, Tanuja, going over for her second try in a couple of minutes. Uh, a loopy pass there and they did not have uh, the legs. And uh, rightly so, Tanuja just uh, picked the pocket of CR and went off to score. And the try is converted by Sanjeevani and uh, that's three tries on the board already as we see the replay. That's a pop pass and it was... Uh, too much, uh, it had too much hang time and uh, Tanuja made 10, no mistake. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. I'm sure CR won't be happy with these uh, performances they have put in uh, this morning as uh, both matches have uh, not wait. been, uh, both no, no, opposition wait. haven't, have not been kind to them Ball, look forward. and now on this occasion, it's Navy. Red ball. Scored 19 points already. Well, not really a, a convincing performance so far. As we approach the five minute mark in this uh, first half, Navy leading by 19 points to nil over CRNSC. This is the ladies' segment of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens. Day two brought to you live by the www.thepapra.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports up. Once again, a handling error. Mistakes creeping right, in from CR and FC. We'll they are just uh, absolutely Second crumbling under right. pressure. We'll look forward, Blitz, come down. Blue ball. Mark here. It will be a scrum at the end of it for Navy SC. Probably want to round this uh, half off with uh, another try if possible. Set. Set is. Okay. 12.40. To Once again, uh, handing off to. She's going out wide. Surely, this is the the hat trick for the tall Navy player, Hanuja. She will come back to convert her own try. It's uh, 24 points to nil at the moment as we approach halftime. 
Yes, this has been a complete first half performance by Navy as uh, they seem to be running away with the game. Three tries to Tanuja already and uh, four in total. So Navy seem to be taking the game away rapidly. So there's another error by uh, CRNFC and uh, these unforced errors uh, have seemed to be quite costly as uh, the teams uh, switch sides for half time. Navy in a command in a 24 nil lead at the Lemons. Here's a confirmation of your half time scores. Navy SC leading CRNFC by 24 points to nil. First and exclusive. Your job is to be their eye in the sky, not kill. We have the ability to strike a target. I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Rescue mom! We're coming! First and exclusive, and all new on Saturdays. Here we are at the sidelines and I'm here with a franchise owner, uh, basically Mr. Silmi Ahmed, CEO of KBSL and uh, the owner of KBSL Dragons. And uh, Mr. Ahmed, uh, do tell me what inspires you to come support 7th Rugby in Sri Lanka? I think 7th uh, Rugby is getting, uh, Rugby as a whole, it's getting very popular in Sri Lanka, specifically 7th Rugby. If you notice the recent past, the country has been performing well. So we did it last year also, so we thought why not again? Brilliant, and uh, this time this tournament has travelled up to Kandy, unlike uh, last time where the both legs were held in Colombo. What do you think about the tournament travelling up to Kandy? I mean, that is very impressive because Kandy has been always uh, uh, a better place for rugby. And I think there are so much of enthusiasm and there are so much of uh, rugby uh, enthusiastic here. So it's a very good move, I think. And unfortunately, the Dragons lost out in the Cup quarterfinals. They are in the bowl. Yes, and as we join the game, back live for the Dragons. So winning or losing is all part of the game. So what depends is how we are playing the game. I mean, the boys are very much committed, so I, we can see that. So we'll see. I mean, there are two more games, and there is another leg goal together. So that, thank you very much, Mr. Ahmed. There you go, a franchise owner who's very, very positive about it, and he will be looking uh, for his uh, Dragons to go on and continue their victorious run. Thank you Sudarshana for that interview and uh, we are joining you live back uh, from uh, the commentary as we see Navy once again crossing the white line and uh, they are actually putting up a real show here. They're they are running away with it uh, with uh, this game against CR and FC. Good restart. Lovely offload. Once again, a strong off handoff. And just like that, Navy score yet another try. Yes, that's uh, Sanjeevani on that occasion. A lovely handoff. That is a good show of power and strength. And she ran down the near touch line and rounded it off under the post. So another lovely try there by Navy and Sanjeevani. Well, Tanuja will convert. The conversion is also good. Everything going according to plan for Navy SC. Here's a replay once again, right off the restart.
good take, lovely offload. And look at that strong handoff. Absolutely taking no respite on that occasion. Yes, indeed, correctly said. The Navy ladies are putting the CR ladies through a lot of pain here as uh, they seem to be just uh, running right and uh, taking the game. Uh, but now CR with some position finally but uh, throws that away and now it's back again navies but uh, they managed to knock it knock it forward and it'll be a crnfc scrum inside their own half one of the rare mistakes from navy sc but uh, i don't think they'll mind it one bit because uh, pretty sure the game is uh, in the bag right now just a matter of seeing out this time and uh, completing this game Okay, tackle, 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 get back, boy. Just a confirmation of the scores. It's 36, actually 41 now. As uh, once again, Anuja crosses over. 41 points to nil. With a conversion to come, CR and FC completely being uh, clattered in this game. Yet another thumping loss for them. The conversion is also good. 43 points to nil as it stands, CR and FC. Are completely down and out, maybe completely running away with it. Here's the replay of that try once again. Double show and go. Drew the defender away, but I don't think she had the legs to cover up anyways. There was a moment where she was interested in uh, taking her down, but uh, once she mistackled her, it was always obvious as to what the outcome was. Yes, and uh, in the game of sevens, first up tackles are a must. They need to be made, and if, if not, uh, I think your team will dearly pay and uh, on this occasion Navy made uh, CR pay. Once again another deep kick, CR and FC put under immense pressure, whistle goes pass. off, forward pass says the referee, penalty for Navy. It's a scrum uh, in favour of Navy SC. It's just a matter of a minute or so to go in this uh, second half. Coach. Bye. Lovely feed in, cleanly taken scrum. Here's another opportunity. This could be the try which takes uh, Navy past the 50 point mark. Well, that's a five point secured and she's making sure the conversion also will be good. Coming right under the post. Yes, again, uh, there's no stopping her as uh, that's uh, number 12 for Navy, Jilani. And uh, I think now it's, uh, it's getting embarrassing for CR and FC. The second uh, 50 plus loss. I don't think they expected that when they showed up for this tournament. It's a thumping 50 points to nil at the moment. Here's a replay. Red number three out. Taking it Red cleanly off uh, the scrum. Red number three out. Going around. Uh, well, of course, uh, wait, wait, the spectators wait. and the players were okay. warming up as well. Once again, the restart. Just a matter of seconds remaining in the second half. Even though it's just a matter of seconds, the Navy has not uh, taken their foot off the gas as uh, what seemed to look like a high tackle, but uh, the referee turns a blind eye to it. And now CR concede position again. And uh, it's uh, number nine, Gaini, who offloads. Uh, and uh, that's number seven, Dasuni, who goes over. And now the Hooter goes as well. 55 points to nil, another easy and comfortable conversion to come. 
Sierra Nessi completely down for the count at the moment. <laughs> That's the end of the game. That's full time. As Navy SC have completely annihilated uh, Sierra Nessi in this uh, in their second group game uh, in the women's draw of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens. Brought to you live and exclusive to the www.thepubble.com from Nitavela, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. And uh, with the conclusion of that game, we we'll bring you uh, confirmation of the final scores. We'll uh, go for a side commercial break and join you all back with the live action. First and exclusive. Your job is to be their eye in the sky, not kill. We have the ability to strike a target. I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Rescue mom! We're coming! First and exclusive, and all new on Saturdays. Make your TV truly high definition. We built the baddest diesel now, activate any HD channel at 99 rupees per month. Dialogue Television, Sri Lanka's number one television experience. Sri Lanka we wake up with challenge. So we shall have to make GB Lakshya to make a data channel. Dialogue Data Vasana. Data to pop current have a bit of a dialogue data Vasana. It can be free data. Very good to pop current. Very good free data. Laba gun. Swipe current. Share current. Angle feet ticket. The gun. Dina the upper of it. A free data. The gun. That was a good chair. Bro. I can see ya. Attack, defense, pattern, 
Back to the Board, the Rugby Analysis. What's happening here? The time for... You follow Sri Lankan sports, obviously, even while you're traveling. How do you do that? Well, I follow. I, I always keep an eye on the cricket. I know the, the match is starting in a few more minutes. Uh, and the internet is a great way to do it. And, uh, you know, initiatives like the papare.com. And it gives us so much information. Excellent access, excellent insights. And I've noticed now that, you know, I, I, I played the game. There are a huge amount of cricket fans out there. They look at things in so much detail. They demand detail much more than, you know, we have a video analyst for us. Mm. These guys want even more detail when it comes <laughs> to, you know, reading about the game. and under So I think the Papare.com provides all of that beautifully. So, uh, you know, congratulations and well done to the Papare.com because for people like me and for, for millions of other cricket fans around the world to have a, a deep insight, an intricate look into sports and also follow um, live scores, results and news, that's an ideal way. Well, you're at the right place, sharing the passion here with Kumar Sangakkar. Kumar, thanks very much for joining us here. Don't be afraid, make the call. Enjoy a host of benefits with Mobitel via Knatua Roving. SLT Mobitel. We care always. The Breakdown Enter end Sri Lankan rugby. Samahara Vishleshane and Tienoa, Eva Samahara at Harian that Puluang, Varadin that Puluang Post. Ticket can avenge the Kridavak Donuska. Apidana Mona the Siduan Nigra, Goda de Katakara and Pulum, Pitia and Pitaka, Namu, Siala Siduan, Pitia Tulu. Pitia at the Mata Katawa in the Pulum, Pitia Atule Katawa in the Pulang, a cricket Vishleshana, Makabo, Ubata, Samakaran, Abisudan Migina, Pitia Katatulin, Randina Abitek, the Papere dot com, Sri Lanka, a Premukotam, a Krida with Adi Sama. Wi-Fi everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Get seamless connectivity with SLT Mobitel Wi-Fi hotspots in cafes, food courts, shopping malls, restaurants and more across the island. SLT Mobitel. We care always.
Hello and welcome to all of you uh, back to Nittaveda and it's a, it's a great occasion here in Nittaveda. Sri Lanka Super 7s have come to Nittaveda for the first time and with me is the man in charge of this tournament who, whose brainchild it is today that is Super 7s. Uh, the Honourable Minister of Telecommunication and Digital Commerce, Mr. Harin Fernando. It's a great pleasure to have you here in uh, Kandy. What are your thoughts of Sri Lanka Super 7s coming to Kandy? Well, uh, it's a great uh, honor to be in Kandy because I think Kandy breeds rugby. Uh, I, uh, I think I think the Kandy people would love to have this tournament being here all, all all the years. I think as long as we go forward, I remember the uh, the Sri Lanka Sevens started off in Kandy way back then as Sri Lanka Super Sevens or the or the Sri Lankan Airlines uh, or, or they are yeah. So I think I think this is a this is a great honor to bring the Sri Lanka Super Sevens in dialogue powered by dialogue to bring it, uh, bring it into Kandy. So I'm, I'm very happy to be bring it here. Uh, Mr. Fernando, oh, from last year to this year, we've seen uh, the same franchises continuing. Do you think it will uh, garner a base of people who will support a certain franchise? Oh yeah, it'll, I mean, it, the, the trend is just starting. So I think it'll, it'll, I mean, that's why we want to take it out of Colombo as well. So we wanted to bring it to Kandy, so people will get used to the franchises, they'll get used to the names, they'll get used to the taglines, they'll get used to the song. So that's what we want to do. We want to be making it a lifestyle, a tradition. So that's what we wanted to do. And, uh, let's, turn our, let's turn our focus to what's behind us, the Highlanders jersey, Hurricanes jersey rather. If you're familiar with Super Rugby, you'll notice that this is a, a jersey that is worn uh, for the matches and this is a championship side jersey. Last year, Minister Fernando was involved in an auction where he sold off, uh, auctioned off uh, all black jersey that he got himself from the Prime Minister of New Zealand. Uh, in order to raise funds for Isipatana College, but this time around, he's turned his attention to another school, Science College. Uh, Mr. Fernando, why Science College? Well, I think it's an up-and-coming school which needs a lot of support. To be on an A division rugby, uh, it, it's not easy. Uh, you see Isipatana doing so well uh, with a very small budget, but they've been champion, uh, champion side. Now today you see Science College coming into a final. Uh, it, it's great to see with, with very limited support. Uh, being on top uh, with the top eight or ten schools with a lot of uh, money involved as well, it's it's not easy. They having to having have a ground to to keep maintaining these players. So we thought we just want to uh, Super Sevens uh, is not just Sri Lanka Super Sevens, not just merely rugby, but we want to keep supporting up and coming schools as well. So last year I made a choice that we will give it to Science College. Next year we want to give it to another school who is up and coming. So uh, that was the choice. So we hope to raise some funds and. We hope that uh, people will support us and uh, uh, participate in this auction as well. And also, sir, last year uh, it was sold off at five million, and this year, what are your what are your plans and thoughts for this one? All Black jersey was a bit uh, costly. I, I I hope the Hurricanes will come somewhere close to it at least. But uh, let let's hope and uh, pray that something good will happen, and uh, Science College truly and richly deserves something good as well. Brilliant. And uh, finally, nothing. Uh, uh, nothing to do with the sevens or this jersey. Yesterday, All Blacks being drawn with the British and Irish Lions. You are a big All Black fan. What are your thoughts? Well, I think uh, uh, justice prevailed. I think uh, it drew. So I think everybody is happy. All the contingent that came from uh, 
uh, Britain or the, or the um, uh, supporting the British lands, uh, they were happy. All blacks are happy. They never lost. So I think everybody's happy. So they could all have a beer and then enjoy themselves. So it was all good. Brilliant, Minister Fernando. Thank you so much for joining with us. So there you go, an all-black supporter, Minister Harin Fernando. He's happy that uh, it was a draw, but we will go back to the live action uh, here at Nittavala as Cargill's gladiators are taking on the ball semi-final. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sudarshana. Uh, Sudarshana Piri is there speaking sideline to the chief organizer of this event. Minister of uh, Telecommunications and Digital Infrastructure, Mr. Harin Fernando, as we uh, get you back to the live action of the KBSL Dragons taking on the Kargis Gladiators in the first cup semi final. The Dragons going over for their first try of the semi finals. Apologies there, uh, the bowl semi finals. Titan Adam opening the scoring for the KPSL Dragons. Joining me in commentary is uh, Dinuk Baskaran. Thank you, Sachin. That was uh, Titan Adam just sprinting his way through. Richard Darvapala was uh, just tracking him behind but uh, couldn't get through to the speedster. Titan Adams. Here's the restart once again. Nice high hanging restart. Recovered by the Dragons. And the Vira Cody on the field. Look forward. Okay. Uh, referee for the first semi final. It's Jack Carter. Uh, you see KBSL supporters in. Uh, picked out in their yellow and blue. Sit. Steady. The first city. Aruna Pereira feeds through the scrum for the Gladiators. Poor pass by Ashan Bandara. Just swinging it out wide and uh, not going to the hand of Richard who was on the outside. It was a great opportunity for the Gladiators there. Field just opened up. Yes, uh, the Kargis Gladiators leading this semi-final, seven points to five. Fine. Set. The, the Dragons bringing it out wide uh, to Titan Adams once again. Boom, boom, he goes three steps, four. Steps of four players, Titan Adams there. And the Gladiators right on top of the ball. Referee Richard Carter letting it go. Playing advantage for the Gladiators. Another opportunity for them. Trying to throw the inside pass there. Now Sony. And now offloads once again. Forward pass says uh, referee Irshad Carter. Mm, they see uh, Minister Harin Fernando. Chief organizer of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens, the driving force behind the Sri Lanka Super Sevens. Mm. With the help of uh, high performance director Mr. Entisha Marika, he's found yet again a jersey, a signed jersey from the, was the Wellington Hurricanes, 2016 champion winning uh, Hurricanes team. The jersey auction is currently underway. You can bid for the bid for the jersey over the next week, well, and the donation, the money from the charity auction will be donated to a worthy cause. Science College uh, receiving the donation this year. 
Minister also donated a All Blacks jersey last year. They you know on the signed All Blacks jersey for the auction. Yeah, that was uh, the 2015 World Cup winning uh, All Blacks jersey. We'll go for a short commercial break and we'll be back with second half action. Enjoy unlimited data roaming in 75 countries for just $5 a day. Now available to all prepaid and postpaid customers. Dialogue roaming, clearly the best way to roam. Back live, we'll bring you the highlights of uh, the first semi-final. This is the first try of the game. The Kargis Gladiators. Scoring the first try of the game and then Titan Adams with a little chip and a chase down. Collecting well. And we're back live now with the kickoff. Two South Africans are in the KBSL side. Danny Roo in uh, the number 8 jersey and uh, the deadlock Titan Madden playing out at centre Samit Dhananjay to feed into the scrum out wide to Titan Adams looks to step his way through looks to support finds it in the form of uh, Charit Seniviratna now Danny Roo little step and he's through the gap Beautiful work there by Danny Roo. He'll go for the second try for the KBSL Dragons. So a little bit of space and uh, put the hammer down straight through. Yeah, brilliant work off the left foot. Just stepped off, saw a massive gap opened up in front of him. Daniel Roo. And uh, put the foot on the accelerator. No catching him from there on. Straight he went through Titan Adams who... Uh, Convert this. Yes, Danny Roo, a very big player, but he's got just shown that uh, he's got a clean pair of wheels. Enough space to get through the Targets Gladiators defense. Titan Adams missing that conversion. So the KBSL Dragons lead, now lead 10 points to 7 in this bowl semi final. Here's the replay once again, Sachin. Lovely step of the left foot. There's a little mismatch there, Adisha Seniviratna. Not that quick on the park. And he managed to capitalize on that. Samit Dananjay now. Uddhima Priya Ratna, the top try scorer of the, of the tournament so far. Seven tries on day one. Huge hit there by uh, Gayan Veera Ratna. Oh, oh, oh. On that one. He's so been sent to the bin for that one. Not using his arms, says uh, referee Ishad Carter. Interesting to see that replay. Very interesting. Lucky escape with a yellow card for Gayan. Here it is. In fact, he has the arms wrapped around him. It was just that impact of hit. Just round the chest. Bit unlucky for Gayan Viratna. Yes, I thought it was a perfectly fine tackle on uh, the first viewing. Basically, the referee Carter thought it was a bit too rough, even though it is a contact sport. Titan <laughs> Adams now with the ball. Collects it off the bounce and he's back. Stepped in and over under the post. He's going to just walk over, eat some time. Slow the game down. Titan Adams scoring the try there for the, the Dragons. Just using uh, the extra man. Yes, uh, the KBSL Dragons coached by. Fabian Juris, a former two-time World Rugby Sevens Player of the Year. 
the highest, third highest uh, try scorer in the World 7 Series as of 2014. So a lot of South African uh, experience coming in for the Dragons. Once again a restart, a very high kick, knock forward. Here's Budima Priyaratna on the outside, finds Titan Adams once again. Long pass to uh, Samit Dananje. Now looking for options. This is Randita Varnapura. Switching, twisting and turning, gives it back to Samit Dananje. Here's Danny Ru. Will try to muscle his way. Randita Varnapura, long pass out to Priratna. Priratna trying to step off and run through, has a lot of pace. Budima Priratna. Tilina Veera Singer comes in support. Now Dananja out to Danny Ru. Says he's inspired by uh, Brian O'Driscoll, does Danny Ru. Samit Dananja at the base. Wins a penalty. Yellow card to the Cargill Dragons. That's the second play in the bin for them. Now playing with uh, five. As Danny Roo goes over for his second try. So the South African blood proving good for the KBSL Dragons. Two tries apiece for Titan Adams and Danny Roo. Brilliant, isn't it, Danny Roo? Such a big man carrying a big frame on the park. But manages to score. Tries accelerating, muscling his way through. Exactly, you know, and it's not easy for these foreign players. They're not used to this humidity, not used to this heat, even though he is from Africa. Titan Adams with the conversion, just right of the uprights. Just off that post upright, uh, if you can see on top, if you can get a shot on that, there's dark clouds just moving towards the stadium. So there might be some rain coming in the latter part of the uh, the evening. Here's Titan Adams once again. Step off that left foot. Opens the gap up for Danny Roo to score that try. Richard Damapala not happy but his coach, Candy coach Nalaka Virakodi is very happy. Yes, uh, nice high hanging kick again. This is uh, another try coming up for the Gladiators in the form of Omalka Gunaratna. It's actually pulled back by uh, the KBSL Dragons. Excellent work. And uh, the third yellow card of the game shown. That one uh, to Tilden Vijay Singer. Now going over for the try. is uh, Randita Varnapura scoring the Cargill's Gladiator's second try just a consolation try the KBSL Dragons have run in five tries the bigger part in four tries 22 points to 12 now the score reads conversion yet to come Gladiators turning down the conversion. There you go, left corner in the screen, uh, Sachin, what I was talking about, the dark clouds coming in towards the stadium. 22 points to 12. The Dragons move to the bowl final. The Gladiators uh, move to the drop to the shield finals. Easy Wolves will take on the Etisalat Panthers coming up next. Wi-Fi everywhere.
Well, almost everywhere. Get seamless connectivity with SLT Mobitel Wi-Fi hotspots in cafes, food courts, shopping malls, restaurants and more across the island. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back to the Sri Lanka Super 7, the second bowl semi-final. The Edisal Art Panthers led by Fazil Marija taking on the Easy Wolves led by Sudarshan Amudadandri. Srinath Surya Bandara ready to get us underway. The crowd slowly filling into the Nitaola Stadium. Surya Bandara, mistake early on. Ball not going 10 meters. It's roll 10 now, but uh, the referee's call play back. The Atislaar Panthers going down in a surprise upset to the Access Kings in the Cup quarter final. The Easy Wolves suffering a loss to the defending champions, the Mobitel Eagles. The Wolves now going in. Referee Priyanta Kunratna the big Fijian for a high tackle. Now Nelson Oyu on the park for feed the easy wolf. Sudarshan Mosulantri swings it out wide. Chanaka Chandimal looks for Dinusha Chaturanga on the wing. Chaturanga taken in the tackle. Easy Wolf penalized for holding the ball on the ground. Now the Etisalat Panthers with room. Not the best of passers. Anra the hair up. That's the ball rolling to touch. There you go, Sachin. Not even uh, five minutes of predicted rain. It has come down. <laughs> yes. Uh, Looks like it's going to be a heavy one because. Uh, the heavy clouds have come, but it's moving fast towards left to right on your screen. So I hope it'll uh, be just a drizzle as the Panthers move forward and concede a penalty. Here is uh, Easy Wolves now for an opportunity on the Monday. Now Nelson Oyu back on the inside to Sudarshan Mututantri. Just gets past uh, Navin Hinakan Kanamge. Not often you see Navin not able to catch anyone. Uh, Maybe Navin Shaw uh, saw Sudarshan a senior in school, but shocked to chase him down. <laughs> yes, uh, former Thomian players, both of them. Both former Sri Lanka captains as well. Navin Hinakan Kanamge, captain the Sri Lanka and 18 side to the Asian uh, 7 Series title. Chanaka Chandimal knocks over the extra two points. And the Easy Wolves lead seven points to nil. Here's the replay once again. Nelson Oyo, lovely inside pass. I think uh, Navin just would have given, had he given a couple of more steps, he would have come closer, just mistimed that dive on uh, Sudarshan Amututantri to score that try, a tap on the pat on the back by uh, referee Priyanta Gunaratna. Nice to see the player referee relationship. Samuel Asangiwa takes it into contact. Chamra Dabre feeds on the base. Fazil Marija now out to Lutu. Looks for Marija back on the inside. Surya Bandara trying to dance his way through. Marija back to the Abare. Now Sakiva on the wing. Anra the hair up there to clear the ruck. Fazil Marija in numbers out wide. Lutu decides to step back in. Find some space. 
Looks for Marija. Marija back to Dabare. Just lost forward. Referee Gunaratna playing some advantage. With the Panthers still with possession. Lutu steps off his left. Two excellent steps there of uh, the left foot for Lutu. And he goes over for the first try for the Etisalat Panthers. So they've closed down the gap. Seven points to five. The conversion yet to come. Yeah, it was all. Sorry, Sajin. It was always coming up, isn't it? Sevloni Lutu tried a couple of steps in the middle of the park before as well, but didn't have. And then they swung the ball out wide to Samuel Asangiva, who set up and sucked the defenders in. So Lutu had enough space to move around in the park. Off that left foot, he went bang. A couple of big steps from uh, Sevloni Lutu to score that right. Srinath Surya Bandara puts the conversion. That is uh, Seulon Lutu going over. Uh, Dinok, the, I think a lot of the teams have seemed to have overcompensated for Navin Henakan Kanamge being on the wing yesterday. They're leaving a little bit of space, they're overcommitting to the right. Uh, and that's what happens when you have that type of player that teams tend to leave their markers. And you need to have brilliant players like Lutu to capitalize on that. Sashan Mohammed now. Referee says he lost it forward. Yes, you're right. Well, what happened, Sachin, was yesterday, early in the two, three games that Panthers played, it was Imori Muliboro and uh, Lutu created a lot of space for Navin to run on the outside. So now what has happened is the teams have taken notice of Navin Henan Kankanamge. As soon as the ball drifts, the defense drifts towards them. And then the big Fijians in the middle, Muliboro, Lutu or Sangiva, can capitalize on that. Exactly. Now Lutu with Henakan Kanamge on the outside, goes on his own, wants Henakan Kanamge to cut back on the inside. Good defence by the uh, Easy Wolves. Finalises uh, Nelson Oyo for going off his feet. Fair call there, Surya Bandara now with some space. Support needs to come. Referee says the Wolves are not back 10 metres. Now Fazil Marija as the rain buckets down over Nitavala. Anra the Herat. Sashan Mohammed comes up, doesn't make the tackle first time. Offloads to uh, Sakiva. Surya Bandara, little dance on the inside and he's through. Has the gas to go over, beautifully done there by Srinath Surya Bandara. That's why he's probably one of Sri Lanka's best sevens players. Dino. Yeah, one of the best tries, bang bang, he went off the right foot. Srinath Surya Bandara, Sangiva made all the damage on the right side. And once again, they're using both Fijians on both sides to create space in the middle. And uh, the speedsters capitalizing Srinath Surya Bandara and Fazil Marija putting in the kick. So they're running away with this game. Half time, 14 points to 7 in favor of the Etisalat Panthers. Don't be afraid, make the call. Enjoy a host of benefits with Mobitel via Knetua Roving. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back to the Netavala Grounds. You're watching www.thepapare.com on uh, Dialogue TV Channel 1 and My TV, bringing you the live broadcast of the Sri Lanka Super 7. The second bowl semi final, the Easy Wolves taking on the Etisarat Panthers. Panther, the Wolves ready to get us underway. As the rain uh, has really picked up now. Uh, 
handling will be key here, Sachin. Slippery ball. But it's, since it's a heavy rain, I don't think uh, it'll be that greasy. Eh? Quickly taken by uh, Sudam Suryarachi. Running into contact. Now the ball comes out wide. This Sudarshana Muthujantri to Sasan Mohamed. Mohamed steps back in to give it to Andre Mande. Referee playing advantage. Right on top of that ball was Simosi Mulivuru. Mulivuru just uh, going off his feet, off balance, says uh, referee Priyanta Gunaratna. He has an opportunity. Trying to run on the side is uh, Suryarachi once again. Has a lot of gas. Sudam Suryarachi will score in the corner. Crucial conversion coming up. Yes, excellent work there by Sudam Suryarachi. He just beat Navin Hena Kankanamge on the outside. The fin and over in the corner. Beautifully done there by the Easy Wolves. So that's the equalizing try, the conversion. The rain really bucketing down now at Nichawala. Chanaka Chandimal. Lines up the conversion. Conversion uh, going over there. Chanaka Chandimal equalizing for the Easy Wolf. So we've got a game on our hands now. Chandimal gets us back underway. High hanging kick. Fazil Marija offloads to Surya Bandara. Now on for the Panthers is Mulevoru. Stolen at the ruck. Referee says it's okay. Musudantri takes it into contact. Offload not uh, coming off there. High tackle, Chamara Dabare sent out to the Sinbin. And this is a great opportunity for the Wolves. There's extra man on the park now. Another penalty playing on the ground. Yes, sir. Clearly. Cynical play there. Held up. Uh, referee will check with the in goal assistant. Held up, yes. Good bit of defensive work there by uh, the Panthers. Opportunity now for the Easy Wolves. Sudam Surya Arachi getting ready to feed. Change coming up. Navin Hena Kankanam get taken out. I think for the first time in this tournament, he's been replaced. Yes. Hena Kankanam gave one of the only under 23 players in the Edisal outside. Remember, you need to have an under 23 player on the field at all times. Atrocious uh, conditions underfoot now. Good tackle there by Fazil Marija. Pouncing on uh, the att attacker. Chanaka Chandimal takes it into contact. Mutsu Tantri tries to take the man on. Surya Bandara and uh, Marija combining for the tackle. Now Andra the Herat getting in there. Holding the man up. Excellent work there by the Panthers. 14 points apiece, 11 and a half minutes played. Everything to play for here at the Nintavala grounds. Vimukti Rahula has also walked into the park. In fact, he has been taken out and replaced. I think he's just moved on to the wing, uh, Dinuk. Here's Mulivoru trying to step 
offloads. His way through. Referee playing advantage. Muliboro stands up once again, breaking his way through. Anurag Herat offloading in the meantime. Well collected there by uh, the supporting player. Not sure who it was. Fazil Marija, I believe. Referee says it was lost forward. So Darshan Apiris agrees. Not too often that he agrees with the referees. Bit unlucky. Chamaradabre collected it cleanly. And that pass of uh, Anurag Deherat also went back. Coach uh, Sheriff making a lot of changes in this game. Etisalat Panthers not a team that have made changes in this uh, series so far. They always try and keep the the best seven at the park. Yes, uh, obviously not happy with the performance either. They uh, I'm sure they didn't plan on finding themselves in the bowl semi-finals. They were one of the favourites coming into this. Had some real big names in the team: Fazil Marija, Surya Bandara. of experience in terms of uh, Imosi, Muliburu, Sevloni, Lutu, Samuel Asangiwa, three Fijians who have played in Sri Lanka before and played with these uh, same uh, men uh, or some of them, Fazil and them were teammates with Muliburu before so so they know how they react in uh, pressure situations Ball yes. trying going in front, Sasha and Mohamed tapping it, so there'll be a ball again for the Panthers. Yeah, so the rain has uh, eased a bit, it's a drizzle now here in uh, Nittavela. It was just a passing cloud, but a heavy one. But it's still a lot of cloud cover. Yes, Andre Monde. Andre Monde, the Kenyan uh, sevens captain. Taken into contact by Nelson Oyu. Pressure coming on by the Etisalat Panthers. Well, they are penalized. This is Fazil Marija was offside. And Easy was slowing things down. They're going to take the shot at three points. So the semi final rests on the shoulders of Chanaka Chandimal as he lines this one up. Conversion looks good. Over it goes, and that will be the game. Easy Wolves taking it with a penalty, beating what we thought were the tournament favourites, the Etisalat Panthers, who've lost their who, who've lost their third successive game. And have moved, in, and have moved into the Shield finals, uh, Sachin. So not what they hoped for, but uh, it, it's it's very disappointing, isn't it, when you lose off a penalty in a seventh game? in the last minute but that's how the game goes easy wolves have done it yes good experience shown there by uh, the easy wolves leadership sudarshan and uh, the next semi-final the cup semi-final the soft logic warriors this uh, squad Three Samoans in the squad, Edvido, Fatua Oto, Lafale Vaa. Three Samoan national players and they'll take on the Walker CML Vipers who have three Kenyans in their side, Aska Uma, Cyprian Kingnete and Samuel Joseph. Danushka Ranjan, the Sri Lanka 7th captain also leading the Walker CML Vipers. The Vipers, uh, I beg your pardon, the Soft Logic Warriors, they know. Nobody expected much from them. They lost all three games yesterday, but as Coach Laga eluded, uh, it doesn't really matter what happens on day one as long as you win on day two. They now find themselves in the Cup semi finals. Master stroke, isn't it? Uh, uh, Sachin, he, he, one coach I think who has read the game, read the tournament exactly how he wants. It doesn't matter how where you finish. In the day, on day one and he has turned up on day two it was worried about their players not playing a bit closer that's what uh, made them go down yesterday 
Yes, and he, he what he did was he used yesterday's games as warm up, as practice. He worked out his combinations. He put, he didn't. He used it as much experience for his players, and now the Soft Logic Warriors find themselves in the top four. They'll take on the Walker CML Vipers shortly. Following which, Soft Logic Warriors, led by Jason Disanayaka, Roshan Fernando, also taking the team, the field for the Warriors. Now you see Oscar Oma looking up to the heavens. Shayan Patirana, Samuel Joseph, Dulaj Pereira, Anushka Ranjan, Kevin Dixon. Quite a side the Walkers CML Vipers have put together. They've got a good balance of uh, strength, power, and speed. You've got guys like Shayan Patirana playing in that uh, front three. They can really contest for the ball. Interesting to see if uh, Arsha Jamal is on the park for Soft Logic Warriors. I saw him uh, training, putting the yards in uh, with uh, coach uh, Dushant Liuke, just warming up, loosening himself up. I think the reason is Laga has brought him down. It might come to a kick. It's a semi final, so he's brought him in to the star into the 12. Here's Jason Disanayaka, gives it to Sali Handa Pangoda, who swings it out wider. And this is Ed Fido. Ed Fido. <laughs> An extra Ed defender Fido. on the field. <laughs> Ed Fido not too used to that. Sri Lankan players. Uh, oh, it's a try. It's a try. It's it's so close, Ed Fido. Referee Wang says uh, he'll check with his uh, assistant referees. We'll try and get you the try awarded. So excellent work there, Ed Fido using uh, the interference caused by the extra player on the field four extra legs on the park the fifth official Ed Fido going over for the first try in the cup semi-finals <laughs> it'll be nice to see a replay on that he had to run around the, <laughs> the extra play player on the field too and put the kick behind and a good chase from Fido the Samoan. Yes. Uh, I'm sure the dog on the Nittawala Park not used to seeing the likes of Ed Fido charging down uh, the touchline. She was peacefully on the sideline watching the rugby. And she had a massive Samoan coming, <laughs> bearing down on her. <laughs> Oscar Uma loses that one off the shoulder. Referee Wang awards uh, a penalty to the CML Vipers. Dulaj Pereira changes direction. Looks for Oscar Uma in a huge gap. Didn't use him. Now Shian Patirana does well to stay in field. Three defenders taken to bring him down. Oscar Uma out to Pereira. Now Kevin Dixon with Ranjan outside. No space for Ranjan to work with. Bundled out into touch. A very good tackle by Otto. Just uh, cornered him nicely and uh, pushed him into touch. So the soft logic warriors, as you said, have got their combinations right. Sali Handa Pangoda. Will throw this into the line out. Jason Disanayaka will be lifted by Rohit Rajapaksa and Otto. Referee says play on the boys. Just uh, stayed for a bit. Here is Niroshan Fernando taking the ball into contact. Handa Pangoda looking for option. Goes to the short side once again. Has Rohit Rajapaksa on him. And now Jason Disanayaka. Ball pops off the ruck. A penalty. Playing on the ground says uh, referee Just Wong from Singapore yes uh, just going back to the lineup you know I think the players were confused because the throw wasn't th straight but you see the international referee the difference there the referee saw that it had no impact on the game so he allowed play to go on and uh, even the soft logic warriors were confused 
That's very good, isn't it? He, when he was here on the, up on the commentary box, he spoke of material impact and playing advantage. And uh, what I liked about him is his keenness to watch footage over and over again. And on his positioning, he works a lot on his positioning. And uh, I think the Sri Lankan referees have also have to learn that way. They need to look at their footage, see their positioning, see where they have went wrong. A couple of referees, uh, yes, they come and have a chat with us. That's, that's very nice of them to do that. And if they can continue doing that, I think uh, the standards of refereeing will increase as like the standards of the rugby in Sri Lanka. Top over the top, the pass was and too much power for Otto to score the second try for the Soft Logic Warriors. So, Coach Laga's plan going in full effect. The Soft Logic Warriors lead 10 points to nil. Conversion yet to come. Otto will do the honours uh, with the kick as well. Uh, beg your pardon, that is... Project Warriors are uh, ready to get the restart on the underway. Rohit Rajapaksa chasing this one down as well to get a hand on it. Samuel Joseph unable to keep that one in play. Referee Wang looks perplexed with the weather conditions here. 20 minutes ago it was all sunshine and rainbows and now he's out on a muddy day in uh, Nittavala. Lawyer by, lawyer by uh, profession, the referee just won and he's doing the correct job uh, as far as uh, it comes to the law and rugby as well. Charge down, he has an opportunity if the ball is bounced right into the hands of uh, the Kenyan Samuel Joseph. Here's Dulaj stepping off one. Dulaj Pereira will go and score the first try for the Walkers. Wipers. There you go, the big uh, strapping on uh, Kevin Dixon's left hand there. That's what he had posted on Instagram last night in the hospital. Not sure what exactly, but I don't think it's that serious. Others will not see him on the field. Kevin Dixon, strong in character and yes. kicks it through. It's a semi-final time, you know, players will play through smaller injuries. Obviously nothing too serious. A very uh, field right strong uh, walkers, CML Vipers. Kevin Dixon, Dulach Pereira, Anushka Ranjan, three former field rights. Find a royalist in between in the form of Shehan uh, Patirana. <laughs> yes, uh, Nishan Pereira giving it out on round. It was Arshad Jamaldin who gave it on the outside. Salia Handa Pangoda. <laughs> Lost, uh, Nishan Pereira. Kicked it through, another penalty coming up for the Soft Logic Warriors. They would like to finish this with a try. And the Pangoda tapping, just walking in front. Now puts the accelerator on, goes to the right side of the park. Has uh, Otto on the side. Nice uh, back flick from Jason Disanayaka to Rohit Rajapaksa, who holds on to the ball. Here is an opportunity. Excellent contest there by uh, Oscar Auma winning the penalty. But uh, his compatriot Samuel Joseph. Now Otto puts the kick in. Mm. 
pressure coming on uh, from the soft logic warriors but the walkers seem the vipers earn themselves a penalty this is uh, Kevin the decosta just checking with his keeper whether to kick it out or tap and run ranjan says to tap and run has oscar uma on the outside now uh, going out to the big kenyan and tap back by uh, Niroshan Fernando slides on his back and that'll be half time there is a long play after the final uh, hooter the 7 minute hooter so thrill thrilling end to a first half 10 points to 7 the soft logic warriors leading the walker cml vipers first and exclusive your job is to be their eye in the sky not kill we have the ability to strike a target I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Let's go. We're coming. First and exclusive, and all new on Saturdays. to the Netavala grounds half time here in the first cup semi final the walker cml vipers trailing 7 points to 10 against the soft logic warriors coming up next the second semi final the access kings will take on the defending champions the mobitel eagles a lot of fans watching us around the uh, kalambu as well a couple of my friends unfortunate uh, couldn't be up here at netavala Thanks for watching us on Papare Rishen. Have a good one in Colombo. We'll see you at race course next week. As the crowd is slowly building up here in Nitavel as well, Sachin. Yes, some good action here even in the rain. Uh we can the crowd, you know, not disappointing. Like you said. Uh when it comes to rugby, the folks of Kandy will always turn out. Come on, Otto! Ready to get us underway. High kick lost forward by uh, Samuel Joseph. Very uncharacteristic. supporters out here watching the rugby Sali Handapan got a feeds kick pass to Niroshan Fernando who changes direction Handapan got a put a little boot in does he have the speed to chase it down not quite Kevin the Decosta does well carried back so good defense there by uh, Kevin by Sali Handapan got a good little kick and chase he saw the space in behind and uh, the kick the chase crucial there a yeah, good pressure put by uh, the soft logic warriors a great opportunity for them to extend the lead here as well uh, sandha pangoda just a bit of miscommunication fido just uh, running just for too fast referee just letting it go and not forward in the end and the sanaga propping up against the big uh, oscar uma sale hand the pan got a feeds or not able to feed in because the uh, wipers infringed auto now offloads to nishon parera who's out on the wing back out to 
Samoan Atta who goes over. So that's try number three for the Soft Logic Warriors. They now lead 15 points to seven against the Walker CML Vipers. Just under five minutes left in the game, so plenty of time left in this one, Dinuk. Well, plenty of time as Laga brings in fresh legs as well. Nirosh and Fernando taken out. Arsha Jamaldin comes in as foul to Otto. Scoring the try for the Soft Logic Warriors. He will have to convert his own. Takes uh, enough time. Concentration. Kicks are very important in the semis, finals. Those extra points will take you through, as you saw in that last game against the Easy Wolves uh, running against uh, the Etisalad Panthers. That last kick of Chanaka Chandimal taking them to the final. So, just to uh, reconfirm. Confirmation of the uh, bowl semi final bowl finalists will be the KBSL Dragons as they take on the Easy Wolves. And the shield final will be between the Tisilla Panthers and the Cargill Gladiators. Two of the teams we expected to be in the cup. The top group A as Oscar Uma breaks around on the flank. Taken down by his undies. Swinging back left to uh, the Etisalat, uh, the CML Vipers. Just a little slip under there by uh, Salih Handapan Goda, but he's thrown the ball away, and Mekalanka Prabodha will go over for the try for the Walker CML Vipers. Right under the post. The conversion will bring them within one point. So, like I said, you know, everything still to play for. Yeah, and. Uh, Pounced on the loose ball there by Kalanka Pramoda and a very good try. The initial break was made there by uh, uh, Oscar Uma. This was uh, Sali Andapan got a good duck, offloading it. Make Kalanka Pramoda there waiting for the loose ball. Pounced on it, scored the try. Nishan Pereira didn't have uh, enough time to put him down. In goal was just too late. Yes, Sandhapan Goda did well initially to get away from that first tackle, but he should have held on to the ball there. Held on to position, uh, recycled it. Now we've got a game on our hands, just one point in it. Will it come down to a kick just like it did in the last game? Everyone just sliding around all over the place. Samuel Joseph, a sneaky little tap there. Now you have the next uh, semi-final, the Access Kings taking on the defending champions, the Mobitel Eagles, in the cup semi-final, the second cup semi-final. The loser will go into the plate finals. Then all the action being brought to you live by www.thepapare.com on Dialog TV Channel 1 and Dialog My TV for the mobile viewers. The Sri Lanka Super 7s powered by Dialog. Puts the kick behind and the chase is on. Arsha Jamaldin chasing it down. Oh, lovely bit of work using the post as uh, to obstruct play. And here is uh, Otto who is sweeping behind. He picks the ball up. Does he have the legs to go all the way to seal this game? Otto! Oscar Uma. Oscar Uma chased that down, tracked him, cornered him, and it's, it's a big call coming here. It's a big one. A chat between the referee and his assistant. Referee Wang says no try. 
So brilliant work there by Oscar Oma. Cover tackle. That's one for the highlight reel. Sudarshan has already instructed. Here you go. Otto running there. Very close. Oscar Oma. Look at that. Ho oh, oh. ho. Lovely tracking. Just tracked him to the corner. Put him into the corner and had the pace to come around Oscar Oma. And if they score the Walkers Wipers, that'll be the try saving, the match saving tackle for the Wipers. Yes, they've still got to go coast to coast. Of course, they have the players to do it. Kevin Dixon, Anushka Ranjan on the wing. Otto finally does go over for the try. So, the line out letting the CML Wipers down. Oscar Oma with a lot of effort getting them that possession. He doesn't look too happy. Standing there with the hands on his hips. And uh, the Soft Logic Warriors are our first cup finalists beating the Walker CML Vipers. Arsha Jamaldeen uh, lining up the conversion. Right of the uprights. Referee Wang blows the final whistle. So confirmation. Here's the final, uh, the last try. Otto diving on that one. Sliding in with the mud. As we see, there you have confirmation. 20 points to 14. The Soft Logic Warriors beating the Walker CML Vipers. So the Vipers in the semi final. In the final of the plate, the cup finalists. The first cup finalists, the Soft Logic Warriors. Now we have uh, taking you through the next few games is uh, Joe and Sudarshan Apiris. Thank you, Sachin. Well, after an end to end tussle, we are coming back to the second game against Mobitel Eagles and uh, the Axis Kings. What a game we had uh, previously against uh, the Wipers and uh, Soft Logic Warriors. Warriors prevailing eventually. And uh, will be the Mobita Legal to kick things off. As I welcome Sudarshan Apiris to the commentary box. What an accident we had to uh, the first semi final. If that's anything to judge by, we are in for a treat. Second semi final for the Cup. Kings taking on the Mobita Legals. Both these teams have been really good throughout the two days, uh, Joseph, especially with Axis Kings, having the veteran Setefanos Takao himself, the seventh specialist. Well, at the realm, but take a look at Leak Eagle. The Eagles have been performing very well throughout the two days. They will want to close it out with uh, Roshan Viraratna. No, that's not how you behave when you're put on a pedestal. was one of the foreign players here's that replay well inexcusable on that occasion wasn't an uncomfortable height either but at this level you expect those to stick but uh, at the end of it all it's a scrum uh, in favor of uh, the Axis Kings Lavanga Pereira will feed the scrum good crowd in today irrespective of the weather wonderful to see the second day the business end of uh, the first leg happier in Nitavela it's always a great sight to see a game of rugby here in Kandy. They have quite an honest following here up in the hills. And they haven't disappointed. Once again, uh, penalty for the Axis Kings. Quickly taken. Goes out wide. Lovely gather. Looking for his numbers. Shamri Burad as well. Pushes his man out of touch. Sasankari Aradda has been really good for Axis Kings. A player who looks like a Fijian, especially because of that headband on him. Plays yeah. in, uh, has good pace, has good power. But Shamli at that time was spot on. Now the Eagles trying to be a little cheeky, but uh, Referee would have none of it. Well, he wants it done in his own time. So asking uh, the liner to be retaken. This time a different ploy. 
still works in the favor of the Montpellier Eagles now. They're working their numbers. That's Bolivero to Anurad the Wilber. Eh? And uh, Anurad the Wilber is too strong for one tackle and has too much pace than Setefano Takao. Willie making a return to sevens properly to the island shows as well because he was out injured for quite a long time makes his presence known he's, he's not been at his best but it has been a decent comeback well, uh, the news is that he's still nursing uh, a bit of a fever but uh, doesn't look like a guy who's running on a fever really going on full throttle Dilna Vijay Singh, the man who converted to Candy SC players, combining for the Mobile Eagles. Take a look at the replay. Wilbur cuts back inside. A little goose step, no chance. What a strong run out of the ball he is, Anra the Wilbur. So Eagles get on to the lead, seven points to nil. And uh, the ball is in the hands of the veteran to Danus Dayan, can the SC winger show and go. Now Axis Kings slow things down, look at their options. Sasankari Ratna, now this time he's too strong for Bura. Breaking away is Pereira. Has one man to beat. But very good tackle by Tilna Vijay Singh. Eh? They will be having a hug and a kiss. There you go, both with laughs. There was no way both of them were going to stop that. Well, that was a... Take a look at that. A classic beautiful. slide, look at that. Ah, beautiful. beautiful. Sliding into the dugout. But uh, all in good spirit. Of course, sluggish conditions out here, but that was wonderful to see. Very picturesque dive from both the players. Ah, oh, that was sloppy. That was really sloppy. Let's just go back to that moment. That would have been... Brilliant for both the players. National coach Peter Woods will be having a very keen eye. He was here yesterday as well. He'll be looking to expand his squad, look for options in his squad for the national sevens outfit. Danush Dayan. Now Webe gives it to Chula Susanta. Big tackle on him. Referee says play on. But Slug access in a load of trouble. Well, uh, the sluggish conditions getting the better out of Echula Susanta. Timely offload, but uh, couldn't stick uh, in the hands of uh, his, his teammate. But uh, fortunately for them, they had a penalty advantage coming their way. So it will be a scrum in favor of the Axis Kings. Pereira to put in, he created a good chance for the Kings earlier on. Set the Fano now. Directs Pereira to go back to the other side. Now caught him back in is Yone, Abe. Changes direction to Sasanka Ariratna. Ariratna looking for his options, goes in the middle of two. He creates a gap there. Danush, Set the Fano. Now now there is space, Sandun Herat is on a big tackle but two men committed to it, Pereira has options, kick and chase, can he go underneath it, puts it back inside, the ball is still in play but there was nobody to support Pereira there, if, some, if a support player had arrived in, in goal, that could have been an under the post try, take a look at this replay. Once again, shrugging off the initial challenge and he slightly overcooked it. He, his idea was ideal, but uh, I think like you said, Sudarshana, if there was sufficient support, the outcome of that move could have been quite different uh, to what it is at the moment. As we approach half-time, Orbital Eagles have a slender lead of uh, seven points to nil. There's plenty of time for a little more. But Refrikada yet again says it's half time. This is uh, the third time he's doing this because uh, an infringement that happened before the bell has to be continued. It, it, uh, so uh, it comes to the half time. The score is seven 
points for Mobile Legal so with Texas Kings yet to disturb the scoreboard. Make your TV truly high definition. We built the baddest diesel truck. It will accomplish. Oh, no, I'm going in a turn. Now, activate any HD channel at 99 rupees per month. <laughs> Dialogue Television, Sri Lanka's number one television experience. Welcome back to the www.thepapra.com We are bringing you live pictures of the Sri Lanka Super 7s up here from Nitavela and uh, at half time the Axis Kings are trailing the Mobitel Eagles by 7 points to nil tuning into live and exclusive pictures from the number one sports hub and uh, as both teams regroup at half time and uh, come back into the second half the Axis Kings have a lot to do they had a few close calls but they didn't work out the way they wanted to so the Mobitel Eagles uh, are hanging on to that slender lead that they had seven points to nil that is a healthy crowd gathering here at Nitavela to experience uh, this uh, seventh rugby action of course uh, it's not ideal weather but still the crowds have not disappointed as the Axis Kings kickstart the second half comfortably gathered now the Mobitel Eagles are trying to work their way into something productive. Oh, good bit of work. Uh, Sasankari Ratna now. Well, he's been hung on to, but support arrives. Here's Chula Susanta. He's too taken down. Good bit of defending by Mobitel. Now the ball goes out wide. Here's Stefano. Steps in. Tries to dummy a few. Hits all him. Uh, that's too much of class. Too much of experience. Well, what looked like a try has been given as held up uh, by the referee. That would make for an absolutely interesting replay. Setefano Takao was sure. Axis Kings was sure. Harshan Joseph was convinced. Take a look at that. But it's held up. Absolutely spot on by Irshad Khad at that time. That's held up. Brilliant camera work by the Popper.com crew. Our production crew and uh, the technical crew has been working tirelessly. Well, I stand Unseen corrected. from all the action. I stand corrected. That was a very good decision by the referee. And, uh, well, sometimes, uh, well, yeah, Nobitel have uh, turned over. And uh, this time, there's no denying Chula Susanta as they have gone over for the first time. And uh, there's a confirmation of your try scorer. Eh? The Axis Kings are on the scoreboard. And uh, there's a conversion to come. And uh, now, currently, the game is uh, well balanced at five points to seven. Well, the experienced man will take the conversion from a cute angle. Well, that comes to no good. But still, the Axis Kings uh, will like the start they have for the second half. Here's the replay. That was the penalty. Quickly taken. Shrugged off one. Worked it out to Chula Susanta. was completely unmarked and that was just a stroll from that point onwards from that man. Wonderful restart again, but uh, Sandun Herat unable to keep it in play. Good kick off that time by the Axis Kings. Well crafted. I know this is uh, not very important when it comes to the complexion of the game, but I'd like uh, for our cameras to take a look at uh, the Axis Kings team. Because uh, remember, in this tournament, it's mandatory to have an under 23 player playing in your team all the time. And Axis Kings have uh, Tharinder Ratwate and Risa Rafaiding listed down as the under 23 players, but none of them are inside this playing team. So. That would be something for the administration to take a look at. And uh, because according to the rules, it's mandatory that a 23-year-old is being played. Of course, it's something to do with the management. 
Just a confirmation of what's to follow. Dharmaraja College will take on Isi Patana in the Shield final in the following game. As we tune back into the live action, well, the Mobita Eagles are doing their very best. As Shamribura tussling and has harassed by uh, the Axis Kings defense, but uh, support arrives in the nick of time. And uh, still, Mobita Eagles hold on to possession. Now, they're trying to dance their way past a few, make something out of nothing for themselves. That's uh, Roshan Veera Singh. Now, Anrudh Vilvara slips in the nick of time, unfortunately, has to offload. Penalty, says the referee, in favor of the Axis Kings. They're not wasting any time. Quick chip and run. But that was the right option. Uh, I'm not so sure. But Mobitel wouldn't mind. They've regained position in style. Scrum in favor of uh, the Axis Kings once again. Lee Eagle was uh, actually wondering as to why uh, the decision went against them. But still, it stands as the referee calls it is a scrum for the Axis Kings. I think there is a substitution which is taking place at the moment. That's for the Kings, they're taking out their skipper. Roshan Veer Ratna and uh, Mohamed Absal comes into play. He will play scrum off, has experience playing scrum off and fly off both at Kingshood. And straight away, Abzal manages to win the ball, but referee awards a short term um, penalty, uh, free kick rather. Lavanga Pereira has been in the forefront of things for the Kings. Takao had men, had an overlap trying to go on his own. He's brought down. Now good pressure coming in and at the breakdown from the Eagles. And they win the penalty, force the penalty. Very good play from the Eagles. Well, calm down, says uh, the young man. Doesn't want to rush things or hand back possession. They're going for touch. Big booming kick. But has he found touch? He hasn't. Well, that uh, certainly did best be me backfire. But Chula Susanta, schoolboy on that occasion. <laughs> Well, uh, anyways, uh, a scrum was given in favor of. Uh, there you go. Uh, he loses it forward, taps it forward slightly. So, Ishad Kader awarding a scrum to the Mobile Eagles. Abzal now sends it out to Tilnavijay Singer. Now it's in the hands of Andra the Wilber. Can he make a change? Setafano Takao marking him. Slippery conditions coming into play. Eagles now scrambled, still hovering around their 22 meter line. Abzal now has space. I beg your pardon, Lee. Now to Abzal. Abzal has Vijay Singer coming in on the inside. Cannot to offload. But the Eagles recycle it. Very well done. Now they have numbers. They've created enough numbers on the outside. Space now it's the foot race. Will he has the pace? Setefano Taka with the cover tackle, and uh, that's full time. I'm sure the whistle will come. No, the legals have if given to be consistent at that. The whistle needs to come now, but uh, this time, since it's the final moment and uh, the game is well. Uh, Lovely tackle from the veteran. I think uh, still keeping the game within grasp. Uh, if any, still this uh, scrum could go either way since uh, the referee has allowed play to go on. So all the Axis Kings have to do is to keep their composure and make sure they turn the ball over and they could uh, manufacture something in their favor. As it stands, they're going out of uh, the semi final. There you go, that's full time. Five points to seven. Mobite Eagles uh, have booked their place in the cup final. Whereas the Axis Kings will have to be satisfied with the plate final. 
full time score 5 points to 7 in favor of Mobitel Eagles next up we will have the bowl final of the school segment big up on the shield final of the school segment it will be uh, an interesting game because Isi Patana will be looking for their first win Dharmaraj College, uh, the other day, Bhavan Todangam, brother of uh, Buoneka. He's been an in instrumental player in this setup as well. Yeah, after the red card he received in the very first game against St. Joseph's, he has come up trumps for the Rajans. And uh, irrespective of where they stand at the moment, I think he has uh, been a good performer. Isipathana College with a lot of uh, good players. Now he's charming the one of those. And uh, still not being able to perform to their full potential. So they find themselves at the bottom of uh, it all, but still they could go on a high and uh, this would probably be their first win if they do so. Hoping uh, that the green machine can come up trumps and uh, produce one of uh, their best performances in this game so that uh, they could uh, manufacture something for themselves. Here come the teams. Bawan Tudangam leading uh, the Rajans as uh, Nadish Chamin is leading the Patana lads. You could see uh, the Trinity school boys still awaiting their finals. Both teams going through their customary huddles and the final few words before they kick things off. Seems like Isipathana College will get us underway here. Kick things off, Dharma Raja with a clean pick up and now we will resume play. Sloppy bit of handling and uh, straight away handing the ball back towards Isipathana College for a knock forward. Quickly taken. Where are the numbers? Oh, lovely step over. Good offload, but uh, the preceding player was unable to collect it cleanly. But uh, still not 10 meters, says the referee, so brings it back. Between uh, Panthers and uh, Kargil's uh, gladiators. Both teams kindly get ready. Here comes Isipathana College. There's the opportunity. Number five goes over. And uh, that is the first try of the game. That's uh, Janit De Silva. Janit Seru Singer. The Singaporean uh, referee just rang. The, the conversion to come will be taken by the number nine. That's uh, Chamath Kodikar again. The conversion goes astray, but uh, Subhatana will be happy that they are the first to score. Here's that try, another replay of it. Found an opening, and uh, well, once he got on to second gear, it's quite hard to contend with. His momentum took him over. And uh, now uh, we are ready to restart proceedings once again. The franchise. Then comes the school's bowl final. Stands filling up uh, despite the rain. College. Not the expected crowd to be honest and uh, another restart goes astray. We've uh, seen this time and time again in Nithavala during these two days. Dharmaraja will uh, be happy to take a free kick from the middle. Buantu Udangamua commits two men. And now Dharmaraja with the opportunity to Pouncing close. And on the outside, can he go all the way? It's a little bit of a high tackle, but... Uh, Nadish Chamin on that occasion, the Easy Patana skipper. 
Referee is happy to let it go. There you go, that's the replay. You got to be very careful when you're going anything above the shoulders. Because uh, the interpretation is if it's not accidental, it could be a yellow card. True enough, we've seen these being criticized or penalized rather throughout the tournament. As Izzy Batana tried to go on the blind side, quite risky, almost uh, being bundled out of touch, still managed to keep the ball in play. Exactly what we were talking about. That was a high tackle, the referee playing advantage, but Izzy Batana had plenty of advantage. Izzy Batana now with the chance. But defended very well by Udangamu that time. Dharmaraj need to put pressure on these Patanians, but they've been awarded offside advantage. Dharmaraj have them covered. Can they run on the outside? Yes, they can. Now this time in the other Patan skipper. But they need to recycle from there. Dharmaraj lost the ball forward, but referee awards a penalty. For holding on to the ball, Dharmaraj will be very much relieved. Last thing they want is another try to be scored, opening a little bit of a gap. No way we're through from there. Now they create extra numbers, kick and a chase. He had enough time to deal with that one, but uh, decides to wobble with it. Sipatana College recycling the ball well. They have numbers out wide, with, especially with their skipper. Nandish Charmin, the, I think they're trying to get, the, get him on the ball, but uh, still not finding sufficient amount of space in terms of uh, getting him into the thicker things. But still, Sipatana managing to hold on to possession. They have the numbers out wide, but that being said, sloppy bit of handling gives the ball back to Azhar Maraja. This has been the undoing of the Patanians this tournament. Those kind of 50-50 chances they did not take. And this is why Dharmaraja is now equalizing and getting back to the scoreboard. Patana have they have shown promise. They have shown the ability to play, play like how Patana normally does. But uh, the slight mistakes that they've been constantly doing this time have been very costly. They will be taking a very stern look at that. Whereas Dharmaraj this time managed to make use of that opportunity to get to the in goal. Udangamu to convert. But he's not successful. But Dharmaraj will be happy now they're on even ground. Still in the first half, plenty can happen in this game. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, once on level terms now, Dharmaraj with the momentum will fancy themselves. Once again, lovely step uh, towards the inside. But once he was uh, marked well, he made sure he offloaded. And like you said, those 50-50 chances, they have to stick. That uh, pretty much is the difference between uh, being in a cup final or a bowl final. So now, Isi Patana, with their work cut out. Here's their skipper, Nazis in the He has... A few gears still to be shifted, but uh, he's been taken down well. And uh, once again, Dharmaraja not letting the ball land. They're quick to capitalize on it. Here's Bhavanta. Hands it back towards his teammate. His offload wasn't good, but still, Dharmaraja pressing on the throttle. Lovely offload. Here's the opportunity, the little number 13. Once again, does real offload rather. Well, uh, the referee has uh, given a scrum in favor of Isipatana College for a forward pass as uh, we hear the bell for half time as well. Now the look at that incident, they created pace, they wanted a player to come in support. The best thing to 
do there would have been to boot that ball not collected he didn't have enough space next up Dharmaraj up. this is the confirmation that Dharmaraj versus Sisi Patan at the Shield final now once again hustling and Herring he's out number two to one against Sisi Patana. once again trying to step in step out not working here's not this charm in the he too looks outnumbered and out of uh, Options sometimes Dharmaraj to steal the ball, steps in, steps two, steps three. That is a brilliant tackle, almost. And yes, eventually he slipped at the nick of time, but made sure he converted the opportunity. That's uh, the number 15, Duranjana Piyadissa. Brilliant footwork from the young man, outfoxing pretty much the whole of the Sipatana defense. Here's Bhavanta to convert this way to take. Uh, Dharmaraj College to a seven point lead, not to be, it's still a five point lead at half time. Here's the, the replay, one stolen off uh, the ruck, look at that feet. Steps in, steps out and completely outfoxes uh, his opponents, almost outfox himself in the end but still managed to cross over. And uh, now we are into half time. Confirmation of the half time scores that Maharaja College leading Easy Patana College in this shield final by 12 points to 5. Internet. Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back to www.thepapere.com. We are bringing you live and exclusive pictures from Nitevela from the Sri Lanka Super 7's first leg, day two. This is the Shield final. The second half about to commence between Isipatana College and Dharmaraja College. Where Isipatana College are leading Dharmaraja College by 12 points to 5. Upcoming we have the franchise team's shield final. Gladiators taking on Etisalat Panthers. Both teams were unbeaten up until they played each other yesterday. But they find themselves back in a final. But Isipatana has started the second half in flying fashion. Managing to get to the five meter mark of Dharmaraja. Dharmaraja will be breathing a big sigh of relief because they managed to get the line out to themselves. Take a look at this replay. Good tackle coming in. He tried for the ball. So may or may not have had his hand on it as well, so, but he's very, very happy. Rajans will be looking to hold on to their lead. What they need to do is they need to clear their lines, get out of danger zone. They're not able to do so because Isi Patanam pounces off the op opportunity. Numbers on the outside. Isi Patanam easily does that. Brilliantly done. Lined him up. Had a had an extra man on the outside to bother with, but attack the inside gap and go for the try. Lovely work by the Sipadana skipper. Now he's charming. He's taking a lot of responsibility. Still, Dharmaraja College hold a two-point lead with a conversion still to come for Isipatana. The conversion is good, so we are back on level terms. Brilliantly done that time. Must have received a good talking. They would have received a good talking to. Yeah. 
Dharmaraj now again going for an attack. Good tackle coming in from there. Caught taking selfies, they say. Well, all of the spectators are having a good time here. Good cover tackle coming in. 12 all is the tail here at Nittavilla. Nine minutes into the game. And uh, Zimbabwe tour of Sri Lanka, 30th to the 18th of July. You can uh, visit popper.com for exclusive videos, previews, reviews, photos and updates. As it's become very interesting, we are playing a decider with uh, two matches lost to the Zimbabweans. First one was a historic one. We are Zimbabwe chased down 300 for the first time in Sri Lanka. No other team has done that. Plenty of team teams have toured Sri Lanka. But coming back to the rugby, if you're around in here in Kandy, you really do need to get here. Some really interesting games lined up as Isipathana College try to get on to the lead in this Shield final in the school segment. Which will be followed by the Franchise Shield final. Well, uh, two surprise candidates uh, in that uh, particular final, like you mentioned earlier. Here's the replay. Try to go on the outside. Was uh, well marked, well uh, marshaled towards the touchline, and then uh, eventually was bundled out. So line out in favour of Dharmaraja College right now. A little bit of uh, ajibaji going on. So the referee says, no nonsense, please. Let's just get on with the game. It's a scrum in favor of Isipathana College. So Isipathana is still holding on to that two-point lead. Well, ten. And he's running out from Dharmaraja. Once again, that's the replay. Well, uh, hands flying all about. And penalty for Isipathana, says referee. Here's the number nine. Works it out. Now off the ruck. Oh, sloppy hands once again. But knock back says the referee, so play on. Nisi Patana will still have an opportunity to have a crack at this Dharmaraja defense. Offloads, but uh, doesn't really have any sort of conviction to that pass. So a lot of work yet to be done by Nisi Patana, who still. Managed to hold on to possession. Lovely step in. Still covered well by the Dharmaraja defense. Holding firm at the moment. Here's an opportunity. Two against one. Once again, looking for spaces. Being very patient, Aisi at the moment. And just when there was an opening, they couldn't manage to give that telling pass as the ball is uh, trickled out of touch. And there's a flag uh, by the linesman as well. Lots happening at the moment. It's the shield finally for the boys, for the school boys, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, uh, let's give them all the love, support, encourage, and encouragement that we can as they put it all on the line. Here in there's the a yellow card for the easy button of player. That you see in front of your eyes. They too, you like a super seven. There's a yellow card for the easy button of player. Well, uh, not what uh, you want right at this moment of time. Here's a reminder of what's uh, next to come. The Eti Salat uh, 
Panthers will be taking on the Kagis Gladiators in the Shield final in the franchise segment. That was the infringement. Uh, a bit of a snub at uh, his ankle. That is why the linesman showed a flag immediately. Is this the opportunity for Dharma Raj to steal this game from Isipatana? They have a numerical advantage. They'll probably end the game uh, the same way. Udangabur, the man going straight, needs support. Keeps the ball in play and will be penalized. Isipatana penalized yet again. And now with the extra man, Dharma Raj will go all the way. Some of the home crowd who's made their way to Nittavela goes all up. Supan Vijay Siri, the try scorer. And uh, Dharma Raja is surely taking the shield back to the lake round here in Kandy. Isipatana will be kicking themselves because uh, they absolutely had it in the bag. Yeah, story of their tournament so far. It was uh, within their grasp and they let it slip. Now I wanted to convert, I don't think it will make that much of a difference as the final uh, bell has gone off well. The game has been completed without the conversion being taken. The Rajan surprised, all the players surprised, so are we upstairs. But still, it's still Dharmaraja College who have prevailed against Isipatana College. Just to give you a confirmation of the final scores. We are at a loss to be honest. The message has been clear, listen lads. The franchise game has to start on time. No time for conversions. You all have won it finally. So we move on to the franchise games. Gladiators and the Panthers. How exciting because both these teams ended up yesterday as one of the favourites because they both topped their group with only losing one game. That was the Panthers who lost to the Gladiators and Gladiators losing out to Vipers. But uh, today they meet in a shield final, not being able to get the better result on day two. Yeah, day two was uh, nothing close to what day one was for both these teams. Complete contrasting images from uh, their day one performance, but uh, they will be absolutely ruining the opportunities that they had uh, during the early exchanges but however now it's just a matter of a shield final to be settled here we have plenty of brilliant players in this mix-up Fasal Marija to name one <laughs> taking the ball forward Sevaloni to Surya Bandara Surya Bandara Sri Lanka's very own seven specialist Marija to Sevaloni gives a long cut out pass but uh, good defensive ball by Shamal Virasekara young Hena Kankanamge and coming back to what I mentioned uh, in the Axis Kings game that there was no under 23 player playing in the setup we've received feedback that the l rule is no longer there and uh, we do apologize because it was not communicated to us the last time we checked, an under-23 player had to be in the mix. But uh, as we speak of an under-23 player, a uh, foreign player, Sevaloni, who's not very foreign to Sri Lankan soil because he's played plenty of games here, touches down for the Panthers in this shade final and will uh, take the score to five points to nil with the conversion to come. Lovely goose step uh, by Lutu Sevaloni. Showing uh, his man the path, but still his speed uh, and uh, power too much uh, in terms of containing. It's a conversion to come for the Edisalat Panthers from a tough angle, but still they'd be glad they're on the scoreboard before the Gladiators in this final. Five points to nil at the moment. It will remain the same as uh, we prepare for the restart. Take a look at this Sevaloni. Too strong for his countrymen and uh, too fast for Pereira. Touches down in the corner and uh, Panthers will be happy with their start. Five points to nil. Surya Bandar to kick off. 
not collected cleanly. Gladiators loses forward. Semi Nakarai, the culprit that time. Just not sticking on that occasion. Once again, uh, good, healthy crowd in here at Nitevela today. Wonderful to see that uh, the crowds have gathered to experience this uh, Super Sevens being played for the first time here in Kandy. Three minutes on the clock on in this final. Marija now gives it out to Nasoni. Back inside to Marija. Long pass. Was it aimed at anyone? Now Suri tries to create an opportunity. Henekan Kanamge cut him back inside. He's brought down by Tuloga. Panthers still searching for an opportunity. Marija now to Seviloni. And uh, disturbingly enough, there are two number sevens playing in uh, the Etisalat lineup. And uh, that's, that's Mulivera who missed out on a brilliant try. Just inches away from uh, the white line. Here's a replay. Lovely offload. Just, just been taken out of touch. But, but still, the Edisalat Panthers thought they scored. But uh, the referee has given a penalty for the Cargill's Gladiators. So, I, I believe that's a loss forward. Few changes happening for the gladiators. Pereira. It wasn't the grounding that was the question, it was the earlier move. Now the feed in from Pereira. Dharmapara scrambling inside the 22 looking for opportunity now they decide to go out while Shamal Virasekara gives it to Gayan Viraratna Gayan Viraratna is very well marked by three men there if they can get it out quickly it will open up a gap but the gladiators have to commit three men as well now trying to punch through the Middle East Pereira Dharmapala is there to secure it. Tarindu Chaturanga. Back to Tarindu Chaturanga wearing a yellow, yellow color outfit. But uh, Mulavera's attempt is deemed illegal by Just Wong, who, is, who was placed right about that rock. He saw exactly what happened there. And Dharmapala, Dharmapala, we haven't seen Dharmapala's scintillating finishers in this tournament. Hasn't seen much of the ball. Gladiators penalized for holding on to the ball, not enough support there. Very good work by the defending Panthers. A good job on that occasion, not allowing uh, any space on that occasion. Here's a confirmation of uh, what you're tuned into. The Edisalat Panthers taking on the Kargis Gladiators in the Shield final of the franchise segments in the Sri Lanka Super 7's first leg up here in Kandy. Matter of seconds remaining. As a matter of fact, uh, the halftime bell has already rung. So this probably is the last move. As Lutu Seveloni offloads uh, wide. Here's Fazil Marija. Back to Seveloni. Trying to step his way into some space. Not able to do so. 
Here's Marija again. Goes wide. Space on offer for the Panthers. Still uh, held on by uh, Hargis Gladiators. Here's Savaloni once again. Navin Henakankanamge on the outside. But uh, doesn't go for that number seven. Goes for a different number seven. And uh, that probably will be half time. And uh, the Etisalat Panthers take a slender lead of five points to nil against the Kargis Gladiators in the Shield final as we walk into first, ha uh, first half time. Welcome back to the www.thepapra.com I bring you live pictures from Candy As you can see Everyone has turned up in their colours To support their franchises As we have uh, approached half time In the Shield final between the Kargis Gladiators And the Etisalat Panthers The Etisalat Panthers are leading the Gladiators by 5 points to nil As we are prepared to restart the game Action from the first half. The Panthers was the only team to disturb the scoreboard. Brilliant camera work there. The Gladiators will kick things off in the second half. Referee Wong. Here's the number five. Cerrone stepping outside for the Edisalat Panthers. Srinath Surya Bandara taken out of touch. It will be a uh, Line out for the Cargill's Gladiators. Now we need a Kankana to be quickly taken down. Not supporting the body weight. Hands on the ground and uh, Pereira will be shown a card. Because he was in 10 meters and he made no attempt to retrieve back as well. Now the Panthers yet again with the chance. Nalin Kumara to Mulivero. Soiru Anthony. Kumara looking for options. And a very good offload under pressure while he was going down. Sends it out to Herat. Right underneath the post. Panthers extend their lead to 10 points to nil with the conversion to come. It's a good thing Nalin Kumar and Herat are recognizable to us. Since uh, both of them were wearing number 10. Here's a replay of that try once again. W offload and once he struck off his uh, initial challenge, he just had a stroll uh, down towards the white line. Now the Panthers have extended their lead to 12 points to nil.
Srinath Surya Bandar to start things off. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant restart and lovely work done there by Mulevero. Gives it to Navin. Navin will be penalized for holding on to that ball. Spot on call there. A second too long. And the Gladiators now pouncing for an opportunity. Dharmapala gives it out to Per. That was a brilliantly, brilliantly timed tackle. That would be for wonderful viewing if we can take a replay of that. Very well timed, but that time looked like he had the legal rights and rightfully so. The referee penalizes. Gladiators opting to take it quickly. Dharmapala. Offloads the new man and the arriving player wasn't ready for that. Shamal Virasekara, the arriving player wasn't ready for that and uh, they lose possession, the Gladiators. They've been dealt a blow. Got to know uh, that Kavindu Pereira had a tiny fracture in his nose. Niroshan Fernando done with uh, the game. He would be very happy and he's having a little chilled out time. Surya Bandara with the throw in. Panthers wanting to extend their lead. Radisha trying really hard to hold on to him. Nalin Kumar trying to create an opportunity. Nice. Chest in the nick of time, letting, hold, letting go of the ball. Knock forward, says the referee. Kagil's gladiators once again let off the hook as they will have a scrum to contest here in their favour of course here's a replay of that incident Chester brought down and uh, on his way down Navin Henakankaramge losing the grip of the ball Here's what's to follow. St. Joseph's College will be taking on St. Anthony's College in the bowl final. The school segment of the Sri Lanka Super 7s. Leg 1, Day 2, up here in Kandy. Brought to you live and exclusive to www.thepapre.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. Short arm free kick for going in early. And this time Samuel Asakiva. It's too strong for anybody inside that five meter line. And the Panthers are running away with this one. 17 points to Nell with the conversion to come. Just under a minute to go in this bowl final. Shield final rather. Srinath Surya Bandara lining up the conversion. Takes all the time in the world, nothing to worry about. They have a very healthy cushion of 17 points. Gladiators will have a rethink. They will regroup after this leg. They're in the Shield final. And uh, they're going down to a team very cheaply. Uh, which they defeated yesterday so turn of the day hasn't been very good for the gladiators well that's been the order of the day all the fancy teams have gone down rather surprisingly and uh, the gladiators uh, well they would have uh, fancied their chances especially considering the fact that they've taken the panthers down now that being said gladiators with an opening but uh, they let it out just like that and uh, that should be the final uh, action of this game and the referee thinks so too. It's, uh, we see Srinath Surya Bandara absolutely chopped down to the ground. As uh, the 
here was the op here was the opportunity lovely offload but uh, Luja doing a very good defensive job marking his man making it quite uncomfortable in terms of uh, offloading here's a full time confirmation Edisal Panthers winning the shield against the Kargis Gladiators in the first leg of the Sri Lanka Super 7 franchise segment Here's the confirmation of the team cards of St. Joseph's College. Quite a few big names, uh, quite a few emerging young talents from uh, this team. And also St. Anthony is fielding some of uh, the promising talents as well. It's going to be a very nip and tuck tussle between the teams. And uh, it's uh, surely going to be a real spectacle in the bowl final. Both teams going through their customary huddles as uh, St. Anthony's will kick start this first half. Joining me in commentary is Dinuk. Started. The match starts and uh, scrappy balls and Anthony's recover to Mohamed Shabir and have position. Referee says uh, play on. Here's a great opportunity for St. Anthony's. Jazz Surya going on the outside. And the ball comes back in to Shabir. And this is uh, Lienage. Gives it back uh, to uh, Ruan Amarasinga. As he scored. Yes, the try is awarded. And St. Anthony's go through for the first try to Ruan Amarasinga. A good early opportunity created by the Antonians and uh, they made sure they've completed the move that they began to be Ekanaika to convert. I beg your pardon, that's moment to convert, but that was up to no good. But still, five points to nil. St. Anthony's College taking the lead. And that was the try. Here's an opportunity for St. Joseph's inside. Uh, good hands, good tracking defense as well. A forward pass. Good defense there from Anthony's. Push them back, push them back. And the supporters on the outside had to run up. And the pass had to go forward. Good high intensity rugby on that occasion. Here's that uh, forward pass, quite evident to the naked eye itself. So, not a very. Uh, and you call on that occasion, St. Anthony's get the scrum as uh, there seems to be a blood wound, if I'm not mistaken. That's why the player has been given a bit of attention. Only six players on the field at the moment for St. Joseph's College. It's confirmation, St. Joseph's College taking on St. Anthony's in the bowl final. Cleanly taken by St. Anthony's, lovely inside move, shrugging off the first challenge, but uh, coming down to the second. St. Anthony's now looking for the numbers out wide. Lovely pass after drawing the man, here's the number one, the big man. That's uh, Lashan, but uh, the Antonian player. Well, it's a penalty for St. Anthony's. Here's the big number seven. Numbers out wide for St. Anthony's. 
That's uh, not a promising ball. Gathered cleanly. He has the breakaway. Can St. Joseph score? And well, once he's getting on to third and fourth gear, there's very little stopping of this man. That's uh, the number eight for St. Joseph's College, Nehan Pereira. Completely against the runner play. Under the post he goes and uh, St. Joseph's have the opportunity to take the lead with the conversion to come. Yeah, brilliant stuff, isn't it? Nehan Pereira pouncing on that ball. Sir Anthony set up through Shabir and had the boys on the outside to work that ball around. Nehan Pereira had to intercept or make that tackle, opted to intercept and ran the distance to score the first try for St. Joseph's. Completely against the run of play. As, uh, the conversion is good, seven points to nil. Here's the replay. He almost, almost bobbled it, Dinuk. Yeah, brilliant stuff. You see, there, there's not much players on the outside of him. So he had to go for that uh, intercept or the tackle. Brilliant stuff. Restarts has been a problem all tournament, even in franchise too. And this is a gone beyond the in goal. Very poor by St. Joseph's. Just when uh, they could have uh, pushed the Antonians back. We hand the ball back. Now, St. Anthony's, what will they have in response? Nicely offloaded. St. Anthony's uh, player taken down. And here's the big number seven, that's uh, Shabir. Looking for support. Lovely offload. On the backhand pass once again, gathered cleanly. St. Anthony's putting on some good phases of rugby here. Once again, swinging it out wide, uh, St. Anthony's, good hands. Ball coming to ground. Here's Shabir once again, the skipper, who sets up things for St. Anthony's. Pops off the ruck. No opportunity, trying to kick and chase through that is uh, Arya Pala. And a lovely offload. Uh, and Leon again, Ishara Leon again will go under the post for the second try for St. Anthony's. Brilliant stuff, top door stuff. Just uh, drawing uh, the defender, chipping it over him, collecting it and offloading in the nick of time. Brilliant work from the Antonians to regain the lead once again. This time the conversion is much simpler. So they will uh, go back uh, into the lead irrespective of the conversion. St. Anthony's will restart proceedings. Nicely weighted kick, good defense as well, but it'll open up some space for St. Joseph's. Good offload. Vihanga Pereira taking the ball into contact. Referee playing advantage for St. Joseph's College. Coming in the side, says the referee, quickly taken by the Josephians. Good pickup. Now St. Anthony's have the opportunity to go into half time with a lead. Penalty coming up. Arya Pala. Isuru Arya Pala says we'll kick out and uh, we'll finish the half on a high with 12 points to 7. St. Anthony's College leading in the bowl final. I think he didn't take the tap before he kicked it, so he had kicked it out on the without taking the tap. So the line out has to continue. Brilliant stuff from Shabir. And if St. Anthony's can score, it'll be a bonus for them. They wanted to kick out, but uh, the 
Rock forms as the referee. Here's the number one. Lashan. Now numbers out on out on the wide for St. Anthony's. Good bit of hands, but still St. Joseph's covering up quite brilliantly. Making life hard for the, for the Antonians. But they still have possession now. Trying to go through is the number three. That's one Amara Singh unable to do so. And the referee calls back play and goes into half time with St. Anthony's College leading St. Joseph's College in the bowl final by 12 points to 7. Confirmation of the half time score St. Joseph's College 7, St. Anthony's College 12. Wi-Fi everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Get seamless connectivity with SLT Mobitel Wi-Fi hotspots in cafes, food courts, shopping malls, restaurants and more across the island. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back uh, for the second half action. Joining me on the commentary box is Romario. Welcome. Not a happy start in the first half for you. Yes, it wasn't. Uh, first of all, thank you and uh, welcome to all our viewers watching here. Live telecast on www.thebapare.com and uh, yes, it wasn't uh, a happy start. Uh, the Josephians uh, have not managed to uh, get too much of points. But uh, saying that, they are not uh, all out of the game and uh, they have the chance to get some points and if they do earlier on in the second half I think that they can make a match out of it. As we see the two teams, uh, St. Joseph's there in their huddle and uh, the fans as well flocking in to watch the finals of uh, the tournament as uh, the second half of this game is about to just kick off. So it will be uh, Johan to kick off for St. Joseph's College as uh, St. Anthony's field the kick off uh, with a five point lead. Trying to swing it out by there are some open spaces here for St. Anthony's. Amar Singer gives it out wide and uh, it will be into touch. So. Uh, Again, Anthony is putting a lot of pressure on St. Joseph's. Just talking about this game, uh, in the first half, uh, St. Anthony's uh, came out all guns blazing and uh, managed to get a try. And uh, they doubled it up uh, just before the half time. So I think uh, they have they have not uh, given position away easily. And uh, by hanging on to position, uh, the Josephians have been starved of uh, points. And uh, of the start, they have managed to get in the previous games. That's held up. Good strength shown there by Amara Singer. And referee playing advantage for St. Joseph's. And if he says the tackler did not roll away as uh, Rashin Gunavadana gives it uh, to Santu Shalgam and now with uh, Imesh da Dasanayak. And uh, now it's once again with uh, Johan as he tries to put on some footwork but uh, is isolated and uh, the referee comes back for the penalty for St. Joseph's uh, penalising their line the, as uh, now it will be a chance of points and yes uh, it will be Pereira to dive over for St. Joseph's and uh, now the game is level and uh, with the kick to come uh, the Josephians uh, could go into the lead for the first time in this game. Yeah, good score there by St. Joseph's. Himesh Dasanayaka, Dasanayaka setting it up. 
we have a lonely dancer in the stadium as well. Yes, it's very good to see the fans enjoying, enjoying themselves. And uh, as the kick conversion goes over by Santu Shalgama, and now St. Joseph's College uh, with a slender lead of two points as we see the replay of a try. Yeah, pushing it off, that was the last bit scored by Vihanga Pereira. Now Anthony will have to hit back. He has a great opportunity trying to run on the outside, puts the fender. He's uh, Swell Wasim. Now the ball come out, comes out wide. An opportunity here for St. Anthony's through Mohamed Makrim. Yes, Makrim, very experienced player, Mohamed Makrim, and he goes around the Josephian defense to touch down the third try for St. Anthony's. Yes, that was some lovely build up and a lovely finish. He pinned his ears back and did not uh, think of stopping. Uh, goes over for the try. Eka Naika. So, so the scores read 17 14 in favor of uh, St. Anthony's as they go into the lead with this conversion to come. The conversion not successful, so the scores remain at 17 uh, 14. And uh, there's very little to decide this, to separate these two teams. Yeah, here's the replay once again. Mohamed Makrim. Restart once again. Here's St. Joseph's. An opportunity for them. Three minutes to go. Now it goes around, a lovely wrap around. Here's an opportunity, great opportunity for St. Joseph's. But uh, bundled into touch there. The crowd slowly building up here at the Nithaville Rugby Stadium. The sun has come out as well. Yes, I think it's uh, lovely to see the sun coming back out. And uh, now the, the ground seems to have dried. The players uh, did slip early on as the rains came down, but now it's uh, dried and. Uh, Seems to be uh, good underfoot conditions as well as uh, Russian Gunavadana goes into contact. It's another penalty this time for St. Joseph's. Opportunity, just two, mi two minutes on the clock to go. Yes, and uh, now St. Joseph's College uh, taking the ball into contact, but uh, a good counter are coming in, but still uh, managed to recycle. And win another penalty, says the referee says hands in the rock. Here's a great opportunity for St. Joseph's trying to go through this time is uh, Vishwa Pereira. Yes, and now St. Joseph's College spreading the ball wide. Uh, will they have man on the outside? They do, but uh, they opt to go back in. And uh, there, is a, there is a slight knock on by St. Anthony's. So, the referee calls play back for the knock-on in favour of uh, St. Joseph's College. And now with uh, just uh, 1 minute and 10 seconds or so to go on, the clock, on our clock, I think uh, there's everything to play for and St. Joseph's will be hoping that they manage a score. Free kick for St. Anthony's. They'll kill as much time as possible. KBSL Dragons will take on the Easy Wolves in the bowl final. That's coming up next. Here's St. Anthony's trying to push through. Offloading Shabir. Very strong lad. The skipper for St. Anthony's. He will know how important the next 30 seconds will be. Now an opportunity, put the kick behind is Mark Rim. And now a great opportunity here for St. Anthony's. He's running through Fernando and he scores the drive for St. Anthony's on the far corner. And that seems to be the game for St. Joseph's. Another sad ending for my co-commentator Romario. Yes indeed, uh, it's uh, not good to see your school go down but uh, 
Well, that's a game of rugby and uh, they need to brush up and come back strong in the second leg. Conversion doesn't go, but it doesn't matter. St. Anthony's have finished the tournament as the bowl champions, bowl winners rather, and the parents are very happy of St. Anthony's. Here's the replay once again of that last try. Yes, and this is the score confirmation. 22 points, uh, place 14 as uh, St. Anthony's down, St. Joseph's College. Uh, the next game between the Dragons and the Wolves, so we'll be back after a short commercial break. Yes, and uh, now you can see the Easy Wolves team uh, comprising of Chan Chandimal and uh, Sudarshan Mudutandri, the two experienced heads uh, along with uh, Sudam Suryarachi and uh, the under-23 players and uh, the foreigners all from Kenya as uh, I'm joined by uh, Sachin David in the commentary box. Thank you very much, Romario. The Papare band in full swing here at the Netavola grounds. It's a party atmosphere here up in uh, the hill capital. As the two teams line up for the bowl final. KBSL Dragons led by Dilina Veerasinghe. Andrew Monde, the Kenya Sevens captain, taking the field for the Easy Wolves. He captained the Sevens in the Olympic uh, competition as well. Titan Adams, what a Titan he has been for the KBSL Dragons. Joel Busan taking the field for the KBSL Dragons. Danny Roo on the bench. Dilina Veera Singer ready to get us underway. Just waiting on uh, referee Priyanta Gunratna. As uh, Dilina Veera Singer kicks off the game. Nice high hanging kick by uh, Veera Singer. Goes just the 10 meters around the Vira Kodi knocks it back. Excellent kick off there. This is Joel Boyson. Sees some space, puts the hammer down, and he's going straight for the corner. Sudam Suri Arachi chasing him down. But Boyson just too fast over in the corner. So the KBSL Dragons get the get the ball rolling early on. Yes, I think uh, it was all because of that kick off. A lovely hanging kick off there by Thilin and uh, around the Vira Kodi did well to get it back and uh, after that uh, the foreigner just uh, put his uh, foot on the gas and uh, did not look back so five points on the board with the conversion to come for KBSL Titan Adams lining up the conversion five meters in from touch Nice hanging uh, yes. conversion there, knocked over by Titan Adams. So the South Africans coming good in the bowl final for the KBSL Dragons. Now we see Joel Busan saw that space, just put the hammer down and went straight for the corner. Dragons get us back underway. And the nice uh, hanging restart, the easy goals this time. Collect the ball, Chanaka Chandimal takes it into contact. 
Turnover is good, says the referee. Samit Dananja. Uh, Boyson again steps back on the inside. Looks for his compatriot, Titan Adams. Samit Dananja with a little step. An offload on the inside. Titan Adams uh, once again a little chip over the top for a chaser. Sits up nicely for Sashan Mohammed. Mohammed sees some space. Looking to take on the defense. But he Adam. hands it straight away to Adams and uh, what the referee says uh, otherwise as uh, now it's a scrum for the easy wolves. No, so Adams tried to get that run on the boot. Says just having a quick question from the referee. And you see the offload going out. Uh, referee says it went forward. Now Adams in centre field, swings it out wide to Boyson, steps his way back in, runs into his own teammate, tackled by Chanaka Chandimal. Samit Dananja out to Randavir Akkodi. Now it's still in a Veera Singh uh, finding some space but uh, gets isolated here and uh, the ball seems to be turned over by Sudarshan Mudu Tantri. That's actually uh, Chanaka Chandimal there forcing that turnover. This is Mundu Tantri. Yes, that was a lovely turnover there by a fly half. Uh, you don't see them going into rucks much, but uh, this time Chanaka Chandimal stuck his head in and Jack all over the ball as uh, Mundu Tantri goes down the short side and he runs straight into Samit Dananja and he's brought down as they recycle the easy wolves, but uh, they get a penalty as uh, Veera Kodi may see yellow. Samit Correct. Dananja receiving a yellow card there. Interesting to see the replay, what he was penalised for. Nowhere near that ruck. I think it was some for some infringement before, but uh, play continues uh, as uh, KBSL are down a man and now they will surely be down by points as well as... Uh, Nelson Oyu going over there for the Easy Wolves. Another Kenyan in this uh, KBSL, uh, bigger part in the Easy Wolves team. Yes, and now the Easy Wolves will be looking to convert and uh, equal the scores. It should be meat and drink for Chan Chandimal from under the post. Chandimal lines it up, knocks it over with ease. Seven points apiece in this bowl final of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens, powered by Dialogue. Candy spectators all out in their numbers. It's a glorious day for Sevens Rugby. We had quite a bit of rain earlier on in the afternoon. Nice soft ground conditions. But uh, bright sunshine now. That was a lovely handoff there by Nelson. Uh, still Navir Singh went high and there is no chance if you go high to tackle uh, these Kenyans or these foreigners as uh, the Easy Wolves go back on the at attack through Mekalanka Pramodia. He pops it up, but uh, Lairu Herathar is a man to read it first as uh, he puts in a little chip for Adams to chase, but uh, unfortunately, Dinusha Chaturanga was there, not the man they wanted. But now again, they somehow turn it over as uh, this time it will be Joel going over for the second try. Beautiful offload there by uh, Titan Adams. He knew exactly where his player was. Just sending a lofted pass straight into the hands of uh, Joel Boosan. So he runs in the second try for the day for him. A little smile to the referee. Titan Adams taking his time, having a conversation with the referee. Slow things down. It's been a long day for these players. In the third game of the day already. Yes, and I'm sure they'll be uh, very quite tired uh, heading in and they'll be very happy as we can see Megalanka Promo there. Uh, had, uh, that, that was a good idea, but unfortunately execution let him down. And uh, even uh, Lairu Herat's execution did let him down, but uh, he managed to, to get back there, get in and turn, turn the ball over. And uh, Adams uh, flicked it back for his uh, teammate Joel as uh, he stepped in and went over under the post as uh, the KBSL restart the game. Very well read there by uh, 
Şarit seni bir atma. Referee reach into his pocket once again. Referee seems to be a bit uh, low on patience, but uh, maybe because it's a game of sevens as uh, the Easy Wolves spread the ball wide. Chaturanga knocks that one back, but the referee says it went forward. Not sure how you can knock the ball backwards when you knock it forward, rather when you're facing your own goal line. But that'll be all. So 14 points to seven at half time. The KBSL Dragons leading the Easy Wolves in the Sri Lanka Super Sevens Bowl final. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Sri Lanka Super 7 powered by Dialogue brought to you by www.thepapare.com also powered by Dialogue on uh, Dialogue TV channel 1 and Dialogue My TV for our mobile viewers it's a beautiful afternoon in uh, Nithavala, up in the hill capitals, nice cool breeze as you see Joel Boysan going over for his first try of the tournament, of the game rather and then uh, Nelson Oyu going over for the try of for the Easy Wolves and then the little chip forward, the steel and then a magical offload out the back door by Titan Adams sending his compatriot over for a second try we're back live KBSL Dragons playing in the yellow from right to left and Sudarshan Amutudantri is shown a yellow card now so that's the third one of the game Samit Dananja steps back on the inside off to Titan Adams off the boot referee says we play on Adam did not seem to be too happy about something but uh, the referee said play on and uh, well for the KVSL Dragons they managed uh, to get another scrum feed as uh, the Easy Wolves uh, player knocks the ball on as we can see here on the replay. Yes, Sudhar Adikkumbro that just took his eyes off the ball, bounced off the chest and forward so the Dragons with a good attacking opportunity. Samit Dananje to feed. Got Titan Adams with him. Dananja runs into trouble, puts his teammate into more trouble. Titan Adams puts a little cross kick in, collected by Nelson Oyu. Tackle made by the chasing KBSL player. Now the Easy Wolves looking to run. There's uh, Udhar Kadik Kumbura, Sudam Surya Racha at the base to Sastan Mohammed. Now Chanaka Chandimal rather. Nelson Oyu trying to beat his opposite number on the outside. Takes a knee. Sashan Mohammed with the ball. There was some good thinking there. He got his knee down and uh, hence the tackle and needs to release as uh, the Easy Wolves uh, continue to go on attack. Andrew and Monday for the Kenyans there. Sashan Mohammed goes into contact. Darakadik Kumbura. Now Chanaka Chandimal. Pass behind the back, loops around. And Chanaka Chandimal will go over for the second try for the Easy Wolves. Goes over under the post, so that should be an ex the extra points with that. And the Easy Wolves should, in theory, equalize here. Should they be able to get the conversion over. Chanaka Chandimal, the try scorer on your screen. Is ever some good uh, continuity there by the Easy Wolves. They kept the ball in hand, uh, recycled, and uh, the faces uh, meant uh, the KBSL Dragons players fell off. And Chanaka uh, Chandimal crossed over as uh, Surya Raji lines up the conversion, knocks it over. And it's all square now, 14 points apiece at the Nitavala grounds. 
the KBSL Dragons and the Easy Wolves in the bowl final. Excellent work by Chanaka Sandimal. He sent that looping pass, then looped around and sprints over the line. Very experienced campaigner for the Easy Wolves. He's been around the block, played for Sri Lanka. Mutsutantri back on the field. Now Nelson Oyu runs into Danny Roo. What a contest that is. Mutsutantri at the base to Chanaka Chandimal. Now Dek Kumbura. Surya Arachi on the outside. Tackle coming in with the hand. So, Uddhima Preratna penalized that. Yes, that was uh, Uddhima Preratna coming in for the tackle and knocked it on. Bit harsh, you could say, going for a penalty, but uh, well, that's how the referee saw it, and that's what he gave. As uh, now, uh, Rehan Silva sends it out wide. Uh, Chanaka Chandimal and uh, Nelson Noyo with the man on the outside, and uh, he gets the offload in. That was a lovely offload there, and uh, Nelson Oyo goes over. Correction: That's Andrew Amande. He, he went over uh, over the offload by. Uh, Sudam Surya Arachi, so some good work there by the Easy Wolves. Again, showing that uh, if you have ball in hand in sevens, you can make something out of it. Exactly, all it takes is one missed tackle, one broken tackle, and you can score easy points. The Easy Wolves taking the lead back. And now lead 19 points to 14. Just the start of the first half, so we've got a lot of uh, sevens rugby yet to come in this game. The bowl final once again. As you see, Andrew Monde just touched that one down. Etisalat Panthers supporters uh, out in their numbers. Etisalat Panthers taking away the shield final. They won't be too happy with uh, in having to take the shield, but they have to come back strong in the second uh, uh, round. Yes, I think uh, they were coming in uh, with a favourite stack, but unfortunately for them, uh, the, the today did not go as planned and uh, hence they had to just settle down for... Now Sura Arachi looks to turn on the gas. Samit Dananja there, diving over the rock, penalised. Referee going to have a chat with his assistant referee. Referee says the player was in touch. So we're going back for a line out. Sashan Mahamud off the field for the Easy Wolves. Skipper Mutu Tantri. He's been an absolute workhorse for the Easy Wolves missed out on the Sri Lanka tour with an injury. Missed out in the club sevens as well. Surya Rachi to feed. Apologies, that's uh, Udaraka Dik Kumbura. Omalka Gunratna on the field for the KBSL Dragons. We haven't seen too much of him in this tournament. Yes, I think he has been uh, one player who has, has not featured much uh, as... Uh Buddhima Priyaratna was uh, the under-23 player and uh, we can see next the next match, the plate final between Kingswood uh, and uh, St. Peter's College. Uh, I think that will be another game to watch out for as uh, St. Peter's boasts some lovely play good players as uh, Zani Rooks goes into contact and uh, concedes the penalty and um, he's amused, not amused and he's uh, shocked by what the referee has blown for but uh, now the Wolves just need to tap it and uh, kick it out and yes that's just what they do as uh, they are the bowl champions taking the bowl final 19 points to 14 against the KBSL Dragons so Danny Roo not too happy with that one he thinks there was no penalty there once again confirmation the easy Wolves the bowl champions for the first leg up in Netavala of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens. Yes, there's a confirmation. Uh, the Easy Wolves winning in 1914 against the KBSL Dragons. 
to win the bowl championship. Uh, so confirmation again, the bowl final. As we have the pitch inspection by Nitavala's resident on the field. And we'll take a quick commercial break and be back with the plate final between Kingswood College and St. Peter's College. First and exclusive. Your job is to be their eye in the sky, not kill. We have the ability to strike a target. I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Rescue mom! We're coming! First and exclusive. And all new on Saturdays. Make your TV truly high definition. We built the baddest diesel truck. It will accomplish. Shout out! I'm going in a turn! Now, activate any HD channel at 99 rupees per month. <laughs> Dialogue Television, Sri Lanka's number one television experience. Sri Lanka we pick up the challenge. So we shall have to make GB Lakshya to make a data channel. Dialogue data wasana. Data top up karna hai. Have a bit dialogue data wasana. It can be free data. Vedi vedian top up karna. Vedi vedian free data laba karna. Swipe karna. Share karna. Angli fit ticket tiya karna. Din atiya pura avata free data din a karna. Davos ke tar chagra ha kin siya. Parangar hai tar. Invites have been sent to the ones whom the world knows, whom the world recognizes, gods of dance. I'm coming, my squad, world dance champions. Who will win, will win Dance Plus 3. Dance Plus 3. This time, dance will be a level up. Dance Plus 3, Saturday and Sunday, 8 p.m., only on Star Plus. To activate this channel, use the Dialogue Self-Care app or type on space your Dialogue Television account number, space channel number and SMS to 679 from your Dialogue mobile or 0770-679-679 from any other mobile network. Puluntama Avarane Sahita Sri Lanka Ve Vegabat Majalin Dialogue 4G Home Broadband Handan Vadin Prepaid Broadband Ita Bahasuin Top Up Karla Data Plan Nikat Activate Karagana Rupia Anu Hathi and the Data Plan Magi Persecutor Hari Nama Vidhi Hatta Masika Gasta Munavatne Obey Nivasa Ho Vyapari 4G Broadband Samagin Balagan Vand Dialogue Anagatea Adai 300,000 GB, the largest data bonanza ever from Sri Lanka's fastest network. Are you ready for Dialogue Data Vasana? Every time you top up, you could win free data. Top up more and win more. So get those fingers ready to swipe, surf and share all day. Win free data throughout 30 days with 100 winners per day. Enjoy unlimited data roaming in 75 countries for just $5 a day. Now available to all prepaid and postpaid customers. Dialogue roaming, clearly the best way to roam. We're the last Lannisters. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. If we don't put aside our enmities, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The world premiere of Game of Thrones, Season 7, on HBO. To activate this channel, use the Dialogue Self-Care app or type on space your Dialogue Television account number, space channel number and SMS to 679 from your Dialogue mobile or 0770-679-679 from any other mobile network. Hey, what the Dialogue Clash on Gaming World, Dianoda? Arriba. Matakan gigi para king kamu kem? Ah. Siapa yang nak kalah? 
Police Sports Update. Wherever you are, tune into the papare.com at 6:30 p.m. on the dot and be updated on what happened around you. to uplift the fitness arena in Sri Lanka. Attack, defend, pattern, back to the board, the rugby analysis. What's happening here, the time for...
Hello and welcome back to the www.thepapari.com. We are bringing you live pictures from Nitevela grounds from the Sri Lanka Super Sevens. This is uh, the school segment. St. Peter's taking on Kingswood in uh, the plate final. Here's the Kingswood College uh, team list because uh, some good players have to watch out for. Just came out short in the cup uh, semi final. As a result, they are in the plate finals up against uh, St. Peter's College. And of course, uh, the standout here should be Ravin Fernando. Jason Karna Ratna also has impressed. So, a lot of impressive players to watch out for from both teams. As I'm joined with, joined by Romario Di Silva up here in commentary. Yes, good evening, Joe, and good evening to all our viewers joining in. Live stream incoming brought to you by www.thepower.com as uh, Kingswood College looks to kick off the plate final for the school segment. Up here in Intervala. A good high hanging kickoff and it was it's dropped there early on. So bad error by uh, St. Peter's and uh, Kingswood ideally should look to make them pay. Very confident uh, ball passing by uh, Kingswood. Looking for numbers out wide. St. Peter's not uh, closing them down. Eventually man bundled down but penalty says the referee. Worked out wide. Here's the number one, Tainu Maligampola. Recycling the ball. Now going to the opposite end. Steps in. Looking for an opening. Still not finding any. Taken down. But offloads in the nick of time. Here's Maligampola once again. Has support. Gives it to the nine out wide. Number 12. That's uh, Shazan Mohammed. And he crosses over for the first try in this plate final. Just have some lovely build up play there by uh, Kingswood College. They kept the ball in hand, spread it left, spread it right, spread it left and the, the next time they came to the right, uh, Tarindu set up uh, Shazan as uh, he converts his own try and uh, Kingswood College take an early lead, 7 points. Here's a replay of that uh, try, Waligampala drawing two men towards him, lovely backhand flick. Offloading in the nick of time and uh, all uh, Shazan Mohammed had to do was to take the ball home. Had a bit of a challenge from Ravin Fernando but I think by that time he had uh, well uh, crossed the white line and done the hard work. This time around good clean pick up by St. Peter's not the same mistake as the previous time. Here's uh, Ravin Fernando looking for options tries to go by himself offloads but uh, nobody home. Yes, I think uh, they did manage to get the kickoff clear, but uh, the pass from that uh, was bad, and hence they are, they are under pressure. And now, it, but now pressure relieved uh, as Kingswood concede a sloppy penalty. And uh, here's Jason sending it out to Ravin as he sends it out wide. And uh, now they have numbers on the outside, but uh, decide to go back to Ravin. They'll be looking for Ravin to spark something up as another huge hit comes in. That's uh, Tarindu as. Uh, he nailed the player and now St. Peter's College playing with uh, a knock-on advantage. Huge hit from uh, Waligampala, the big man running at uh, probably the tiniest uh, outfield player for St. Peter's today. Here's Robin Fernando, steps right, steps left, goes around a couple, now has some space to run at. This is where he's quite deadly, steps back in. Well, wrong foots the defender. It's all Ravin Fernando from this point onwards. Bread and butter try from this point. Easy does it. Yes, and you can see the supporters there are really happy about that. Uh, that was uh, individual brilliance there by Ravin Fernando. He spotted uh, there was uh, some space uh, out wide. Ran laterally to begin with, but then uh, came uh, step inside and uh, did the needful. And Jason converts to make it uh, a seven point game. Seven points apiece, we're back uh, where we started things off. Here's a replay, just uh, a highlight package for Ravin Fernando to be very honest. From the moment he got the ball here, he knew what he was going to do. Forced, uh, he stretched his defense, stepped back in, wrong foot of the defender, found the space and just ran home. 
That's just a class from the young man. Knew exactly what he was going to do and uh, made sure he completed the deal. Yes, and now St. Peter's kick off uh, deep in, into the Kingswood 22, but uh, the Kingswood number 10 seems to be hobbling a bit. That was Asir Seneratna, seemed to be hobbling a bit, but uh, somehow uh, they managed to recycle and uh, the referee has uh, stopped the clock for some uh, infringement. So wait and see what uh, he decides. We are unsure as to what uh, the referee and his AR is in uh, conversation about, but uh, let's just wait and see what happens. There seems to be something to do with uh, the players on the field. Consultation is happening with the fourth and uh, chair, umpi chair umpires. The referees are in a bit of a tangle, but says play on. So we are unsure why the penalty was given to uh, Kingswood, but uh, a penalty it is and uh, send correction Kingswood to take it quick. And now they are back on the attack inside the Peters half. Yeah, they send it wide now with uh, the number six on the ball at the moment. Uh, that's uh, Chan Gunasekara, but uh, they get uh, counter act but uh, the referee says uh, that uh, the tackler did not release so seems to be a favorite penalty there for the referee yeah I think uh, it's not the first time he has done so now numbers out wide Wali Gampala drawing two taking all three here's the number 12 Mohammed can he go for the second that's a brilliant cover-up challenge excellent cover-up challenge topples his man on his head and makes sure the ball goes into touch good work Yes, I think that was a try saver indeed, that tackle. And uh, he, it has uh, saved his team five points. Just a confirmation of what's uh, going on at the moment. Live Kingswood College taking on St. Peter's College in the plate finals in the, sing in the Sri Lanka Super 7s. School segment. Yes, and that is a try. So, the, that is a try because after the ball is in goal, the players cannot be offside and he can come from the side and dive over the ball. So, hence, and that's a try for Kingswood as uh, Janit uh, celebrates uh, his uh, good bit of thinking there. He knew the law and... Uh, he did uh, go according to it as the conversion goes wide but um, it doesn't matter as Kings would go into a five point lead uh, scores 12-7 here's the replay now there was the initial challenge offloaded that was Jason now here is where the ball was pretty much on the loose but unfortunately we don't have footage of that because of uh, the restart here's Ravin Fernando quickly offloads this time as he's taken down that's the number six uh, for St. Peter's N numbers on offer now can they do something St. Peter's can they hit back just before half time here's the number eight that's Ravi that's uh, Rukshan rather here's Jason once again has space to run out wide does he have the legs to do so tripped off his feet lovely last his challenge but he gets himself back onto his feet now uh, a bit of uh, ruffling going on as the referee gives a penalty for St. Peter's College. Sure I saw a hand in that ruck but uh, not too sure whether I saw a high tackle but anyways the referee's call is what is the one that matters as Ravin Fernando steps one, steps twice and uh, fends off the third man and he goes in for his second and uh, St. Peter's second try. That's under the post and uh, ideally with the conversion to come, they should go into the halftime with a lead. Well, this man, Ravin Fernando, sometimes is quite unstoppable. Once he fends off one challenge, it's quite destined that he is going to go. The whitewash, that is 
the whistle for half time as Jason Karnarat Karnanaiga converts it's 14 points to 12 in favor of St Peter's College as we approach half time in this uh, plate final here's a confirmation of the scores St Peter's leading so now St Peter's Invites have been sent to the ones whom the world knows, whom the world recognizes, gods of dance. I am here, my squad, world dance champions. Who will win, will win the Dance Plus 3. This time, dance will be a level up. Dance Plus 3, Saturday and Sunday, 8 p.m., only on Star Plus. To activate this channel, use the Dialogue Self-Care app or type on space your Dialogue Television account number, space channel number and SMS to 679 from your Dialogue mobile or 0770-679-679 from any other mobile network. Welcome back to www.thepapare.com. We are bringing you live and exclusive coverage of the Sri Lanka Super 7s. Happy from Nichavela. Here's a bit of the highlights. Uh, this was the first try for Kingswood College for Shazan Mohammed uh, the scorer then a moment of individual brilliance from uh, Ravin Fernando took uh, the mantle upon himself and uh, pretty much uh, did all the hard yards to score that try to bring uh, St. Peter's back on level terms then uh, a slight bit of uh, confusion and uh, it just came down to the understanding of the laws uh, eventually as uh, Kingswood College were given the try. And uh, unfortunately, we are not able to show you the full try just because uh, we're about to resume play. Another deep kickoff there by uh, St. Peter's College going in to the uh, 22 of Kingswood, but now they opt to run it out and uh, they seem to be having some pace out wide as uh, the offload comes. Uh, but the second offload goes straight into Jason's hand. Correction, that was uh, not Jason. And now, uh, this time, uh, St. Peter's uh, opt to send it wide. Uh, Rukshan is with position. And now it's uh, with Shenal as uh, they send the ball back to the center field. The step in there was uh, Rukshan himself. And uh, now it's with... Uh, Jason as he looks to put on some footwork and uh, bounce off a couple of tackles as uh, he gets uh, raced and uh, tipped there, tip tackle but uh, the referee said that there was nothing much in it but uh, now there was some uh, sloppy work there by the covering defender and correction the, the final uh, player as he knocks it on and now the referee has uh, spotted a flag and uh, is uh, calling for time off. Now here's that uh, replay. He gets picked up and uh, pinned to the ground head first. That's cynical. That is inexcusable. Both those defenders knew what they were doing. And uh, I think that is what uh, the referee or the linesman had flagged for. The referee went for a consultation. Now I think he's looking for the culprit. And that's a yellow. I think he's lucky to just get a yellow for that challenge. But still. The number 10 for Kingswood College will go and sit for two minutes in the bin. Asiri Senaviratna. St. Peter's with a priceless opportunity to put this beyond uh, sight in terms of uh, this final is concerned. They go for touch. That was a lovely touch finder there. And uh, now Kingswood uh, back in their own 22 with a lot of defending to do. I think uh, St. Peter's would ideally look uh, to first... Uh, First, they should ideally look to win the line out and then decide on what they are going to do. Because uh, if they don't execute the line out properly, I think uh, from there, there on, uh, there is uh, nothing they could do. As uh, they throw in a jumper and they do manage to win the line out, but a bit scrappy as uh, Dilshan goes into contact. There seemed to be a hand in there. And uh, yes, the referee blows for the tackle and not releasing as uh, Jason takes it quickly goes by himself pierces the gap and uh, no stopping him from that point onwards he has to be careful 
Uh, I think uh, he just managed to ground the ball in the nick of time. I think he was quite unsighted about the player who was coming from the opposite end. He was concerned about the player who was coming from the blind side. However, Jason Kararatna does the score. St. Peter's now 19 points to 12 with a conversion to come. Yes, Jason does seem to look like a really, really promising player for St. Peter's College and uh, the years to come. We are sure we will hear his name more and more as uh, Bilal takes a conversion but it goes wide and uh, the scores remain at uh, 19 points to 12. As we see Jason showing and going, took the quick tap. He was composed, he showed and went but uh, he nearly losing out as he got uh, bumped into but uh, thankfully for him he managed to get the ball down. And now everyone, everyone saw the funny side of it, but uh, what matters is that St. Peter's College are in the lead, still within uh, touching distance for Kingswood College. But uh, with the numerical aspect uh, kicking in, not really sure whether they could take the initiative at this moment of time. Not forward says the referee, scrum for Kingswood College. Well, the game is uh, still not out of the reach of Kingswood. A converted try would uh, level things up. So, I think uh, Kingswood should look to do something out of this scrum. And if they manage to get a converted try here, we are in for a cracker of a final two minutes as the Kingswood feed the scrum. Yes, uh, this move is very crucial. He's trying to spin his way past a few. Does that. Eventually offloads, but still right in the midst of the traffic. Kings would have a player down, and they have a player in the bin, so they're playing with five at the moment. I'm, uh, I stand corrected. I think uh, the player has returned, so they still play with six, but uh, that, that is unfortunate. Uh, that is a knock forward, so St. Peter's have an advantage to play for. and we can see the player who was down getting some treatment as uh, the number six of uh, St. Peter's put it out into touch. There's a substitution being made as uh, Jason prepares uh, to take uh, the line out. It's a reminder of what's to follow, Air Force uh, SC and CR and FC women will be taking on each other in the next game in the women's segment of the Sri Lanka Super 7s. First leg coming to you live from uh, Candy from the www.thepapere.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. As uh, Jason feeds us the line out and uh, gets it back, now Dilshan gives it uh, to centre, to his centre partner as uh, he turns and uh, gives it back. Kind of a bit of a bad pass there, but uh, St. Peter's managed to uh, scrap things up. And uh, here goes number eight, uh, Rukshan, as he offloads. And now Jason back on the ball. I think again Jason uh, was uh, tipped there and dumped. And this time I'm sure there will be another yellow card as uh, number eight uh, picks and goes. And now it's back. They're sending it back out wide. What will the referee do? Play has stopped. Penalty has been given St. Peter's way. Here's the replay of it once again. Taken off his foot. And uh, he went head first. Fortunately, he didn't land awkwardly. It was okay to continue. Yes, but the referee seemed to have uh, turned a blind eye onto it. And uh, he lets uh, play continue. And uh, I think now... St. Peter's will be defending, rather they'll be feeding the scrum and uh, they would want to get out of their own half and uh, keep position, hang on to it for as long as possible as Jason feeds and now it's with Mark as he puts the hammer down and uh, runs in but he had support uh, but unfortunately 
the pass did not go to hand as uh, Kingswood managed to clean up and now it's uh, number 12 uh, Shazan with the ball going into contact some good faces built here by Kingswood as uh, now they have a man on the outside he steps in and uh, he seems to be going home but uh, his uh, offload did not go to hand as uh, Kingswood now do they really manage to get the offload no he does not as uh, still they are in with the chance and if they convert this try this will surely be going to extra time well just uh, when you thought they were down and out Kingswood find some inspiration come roaring back into this you know like an icon just a confirmation of the try scorer it's a very very testing uh, conversion to come now kingswood must hold their nerve to make sure they go into extra time the number 8 and he does ever so well this is going into extra time pressure pressure kick by ishara kure brilliant work kingswood managed to hold on yes and i'm sure the kings foot boys will be up for it uh, playing in their hometown candy against uh, rivals st peters i'm sure they'll be up for it uh, as we see the replay of the final try in all honesty it looked like the chance had gone a begging because uh, st peters managed to bring up their defensive numbers in the nick of time but uh, somehow somehow kings would just force themselves over that wise wash yes that was uh, number 13 uh, dina lekanaika who crossed over for the try and uh, was converted by kure as uh, the game heads into extra time So referee is uh, taking a slight breather before extra time. Well, uh, probably give a few final instructions as the teams too have uh, gotten into a huddle. The coaches will reassess the strategies, reassess the plans. Oh well, in fact, uh, the match uh, is a tie, and uh, they will uh, share the trophy as uh, CR and FC. versus the yafos uh, ladies head out for their game well bit of an anti climax on that occasion however the trophy will be shared between the two schools the result will come the end of the day as uh, the ladies once again take the field young and old uh, all dropping in at Nitavela today to experience uh, the second day of uh, Sri Lanka Super 7s powered by Dialog brought to you on www.thepapa.com Sri Lanka's number one sports app first time uh, the competition is been played up here in Kandy so it's attracted uh, a decent amount of crowd as Air Force are preparing to kick things off here against CR and FC both teams coming off two defeats so we want to finish uh, the day on a high Yes, uh, these two teams have have been the two weaker teams of uh, the ladies four teams, but uh, now as they face off each other, they would want to end the day on high. As uh, here goes the CR and FC on the attack uh, with uh, number five uh, Tilani on the on the run, and now CR and FC playing with a, an advantage as uh, they go into contact. Yeah, and FC showing a lot more intent than they did uh, during the first two games. So surely they are out here to win this game. That being said, Air Force once again regroup, overturn possession. Now they have an opportunity to run at them. Here's their chance. Player goes out wide, shrugs off the first challenge. Does she have the pace to go around the second? That's a brilliant bit of cover up defending by the number seven from CR and FC. That's Atala Das, and uh, that will be. a line out in favor of CR and FC yes as we see this replay here a lovely tackle and uh, that was not a line out 
the ball was out of the hand of the Air Force uh, player and uh, but uh, well said that uh, it would have been a scrum to uh, CR and FC but now they have to just uh, settle down to a line out and uh, now here goes the CR and FC back on the attack with uh, the number 5 Vatilini put in a kick but uh, a horrible kick as uh, Jeevanti of uh, Yafos feels it and now Yafos are going back on the attack that was a horrendous kick there real comedy of errors on that occasion but uh, well now Air Force uh, turning up the heat the number six uh, going over the white wall for the first time Anushika Samaravira and Air Force uh, are the first team to get onto the scoreboard and at the end of uh, a spell of frantic rugby eventually it's Air Force who managed to get onto the scoreboard yes I think it all yielded from that horrendous kick there by Thilini but uh, well now it's uh, number five of Air Force uh, Aisha who converts successfully so the scores read 7-0 in favour of Air Force against CR and FC as we see the replay here a good run here lovely run went across and uh, found the space that she needed and uh, once she got onto her front foot Backtracking defender didn't have the pace to keep up with her. She will be the player to restart the game as well. Flat kick goes over the first uh, player who has uh, attempted to catch it as the number six uh, offloads. Eventually picked up by her own player, but uh, she's been bundled out. It will be a line out for Air Force. Yes, Yafos looked to go quickly, but uh, the ball, it wasn't the ball that they were playing the match with, so hence they have to settle down for a line out, set piece line out, as we see CR and FC ladies uh, not having a good day at the office, as uh, also not forgetting uh, that the Sri Lanka under 18s uh, are, are to travel to the Bahamas for the Commonwealth, for the Youth Commonwealth Sevens. And they will play the likes of Fiji, England and Australia, South Africa and Bahamas. So I'm sure a lot of these uh, young lads who are playing here will be hoping for selection, ho hoping to be selected. But uh, it won't, it will be a test in uh, tour, the co youth commonwealth as uh, we shift our attention back to the Yafo's CR ladies game. And uh, now it's... Uh, Number six, she puts in a kick, but a uh, bit too much of weight on it. Uh, that was Anushika, as it'll be a 22 meter dropout for CRNFC. It was a bit of a kick and chase on that occasion, but the ball had a bit too much on it. She couldn't catch up uh, as the ball bundled out of touch. CRNFC to restart proceedings. Well, a short uh, 22 meter dropout taken, and CR managed to hang on to position, but uh, we thought uh, there was a chance of a turnover. But now it's uh, number seven uh, on the rampage for CRNFC that's uh, Achala Dias. And uh, she seems to be bundled out of play. But now it's number 14 of uh, Yafos and she will manage to go over, is it? No, she doesn't. Uh, knocked on there and uh, it'll be a scrum down in favour of uh, CRNFC. Well, uh, quite good determined defending by CRNFC on that occasion. Didn't allow her to easily score. And it uh, seems like the number 14 player must have picked up a head injury on this occasion. So the referee confirming whether she's all right to continue. Seemed to be in a little of uh, distress. Must have picked up uh, some sort of a head bang. She's clearly not uh, all right by the looks of it. But still, the game goes on. It's a scrum for CR and FC. Scrappy, but still managing to hold on to possession. 
They're hovering around their goal line. It's quite risky, but still, they have possession. Here's the number seven, taking her time on it. And then... <laughs> It was a good kick there, but uh, now we are for somehow managed to recollect position and uh, surely should uh, score from here on as uh, the big friend comes out and the offload and that's uh, number five, uh, Aisha, who goes over, walks uh, her way towards uh, close to the post and dots down. That's the second try for her and of course Air Force as well. So, they are now slowly but steadily building a gap between uh, themselves and CIR and FC. Disappointed players from CIR and FC. Probably would have wanted to make a mark here. Here's the conversion. Alwarachi opting to convert her own try once again. It good, it's good once again. 14 points to nil. They lead the CIR and FC. With a uh, matter of minutes uh, remaining uh, in the first half. Here's the try, here's the replay of the try. Lovely uh, offload on that occasion. Good awareness to her teammate who was arriving and then uh, pretty much comfortable from that point onwards for Kalu Arachi to cross the whitewash and score. And that's the bell for half time, but uh, the game has been kicked off, so this will be the last play of the game. Tirini with the ball, a high challenge, surely. Hand around her neck and brought her down. This should be a yellow card. Yes, sir. and uh, she's been shown the bin. Rising smile from the referee, but still cynical challenge nonetheless. Can see our NFC capitalize on this numerical advantage they have. Bundled down. But still, possession remains with CR and FC. Real tussle going on for the ball. Now they have a number out wide. Trying to take on the player herself, but uh, not able to do either. As uh, playing on the floor, the referee calls for a penalty and then sends both teams into halftime. Air yeah, Force SC leading CR and FC by 14 points to nil in this women's segment at halftime here at Nitavela. Kuluntama Avarane Sahita Sri Lanka Ve Vegabat Majalin Dialogue 4G Home Broadband Handanwadin Prepaid Broadband Ita Pahasuin Top Up Karala Data Plan Nikat Activate Karagan Rupiah anu hati anda dalam data plan. Mage perasa kita hari ini memang tidak ada. Masih kegas tu mana mana. Obe nivas hobi apa ada 4G broadband sama gin balagan ban. Dialo, anu agak tu ya ada. Wi-Fi everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. Get seamless connectivity with SLT Mobitel Wi-Fi hotspots in cafes, food courts, shopping malls, restaurants, and more across the island. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back to www.thepapaya.com, Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. We are ready to start the second half in this game between Air Force Women's SC and CR, CR and FCB men. Good kick off. As the uh, Air Force pick up uh, of the restart. Now looking for numbers. It's a kick pass there. That was uh, seemed be very skillful as uh, number five uh, Aisha runs on the outside, steps on the hammer, and now. She has been chased down but uh, brought down illegally and high, says the referee and that will surely be a yellow card for Ajala Dias. 
Yes, uh, she showed some good feet to get back and bring the player down, but unfortunately, illegally, says the referee. Well, she did the hard yards. Here's the replay. She did the hard yards, but I think uh, she went a bit uh, too high. As a result, uh, she was binned uh, by the referee. She, she could have gone a bit uh, lower in terms of uh, the tackle. However, now Air Force with a numerical advantage. This surely means uh, trouble for CR and FC. Now, uh, was that a try or was that shot? Knock forward, says the referee. Even for the naked eye, it didn't look like uh, the ball had actually gone over the whitewash or touched it for that matter. Here's the replay. Clearly dropping the ball on that occasion. So it will be a scrum for CRNFC. Yes, now ideally CRNFC will be hoping to get out of uh, their own half as we see the spectators have all packed the stadium uh, awaiting the finals, the cup finals as uh, CR takes it up and uh, puts in a little kick but again it ricochets off uh, the Air Force player but uh, this time around they managed to get it get their toe in for the second time as uh, now it's uh, Ayesha on the charge <laughs> she gives it out to number 14 um, on the wing uh, Jivanti as uh, she puts on uh, some speed and runs straight in and gets bear hugged as the number 6 uh, cynically plays the ball on the floor that's uh, Umeangana of uh, CR and FC and uh, now the referee has uh, blown for a penalty for Air Force as they take it quickly. Seemed like a high challenge but not penalized. However, it's a penalty and Air Force convert. That's the third try. And now they're comfortably in the lead. And pretty much out of sight of CR and FC. The conversion to come. It will be Kalu Arachi once again to convert. She's been successful the both. She's been successful both the previous times, and uh, she goes good three out of three for her conversions. Here's the try once again. Was well, a comical tackle there by uh, the number six, uh, but uh, she somehow managed to bring the bring the lady down and. Uh, that, uh, it's a replay of the try as now uh, CR and FC staring down the barrel once again of defeat. Yafo's uh, kick off through Aisha, but uh, ball dropped, and uh, now the referee says knocked back. So there's uh, almost 3 minutes and 30 seconds to go in this game as uh, CR and FC now back uh, to 7 men, uh, women and uh, now go on the attack and, and that will be number seven. She will go uh, for the first try, Achala Dias. Uh, it is Achala Dias and that's the first try for CRNFC. CRNFC scored their very first try of this uh, women's segment and that calls for a celebration definitely. Took a lot of toll on them as it's uh, visible. But still I think uh, that move deserved uh, the points and uh, still a conversion to come. And uh, credit goes to Goes to the <laughs> number five, uh, Tilly Senanayaga, who created the try. The conversion goes astray, but still, I think the outcome doesn't change that much, uh, irrespective of uh, the score. Here's a replay of that. But Tilly, who did the hard work, showed uh, her teammate where she should receive it, and once she did. It was always going to be a, a comfortable try for her. Yes, and now uh, Air Force uh, collect the restart and now they would look to spring an attack as uh, CR knocked the ball forward, unfortunately, but the referee says uh, play on with an advantage and uh, now number four runs straight into contact. And that was uh, some lovely bit of work there by uh, the number six, uh, Anushika, and now it's... Uh, a foot race and uh, Yafo's uh, lady will get there in the end to score their fourth try and rounds it off under the post. Uh, 
Once again, good bit of offloading on that occasion. Lovely hands, good thinking. The flick back actually created the try. So now Kalwarachi will uh, go for her fourth conversion. Game all but done and dusted here. CRNFC with a consolation try, if any. Yes, as we can see here on the replay, the try. Some uh, lovely hands there, a lovely flick pass over the head. And uh, the winger does the, the finishing bit of it as uh, she uh, applies her foot on the accelerator and uh, runs over. That's uh, number three, Heshala for Yafos. Kalwarach once again to take the restart. Once again, deep kick, cleanly gathered. Now, 25 seconds to go on the clock as uh, CR and FC take the ball into contact and uh, manage to recycle as Achala try score. Achala is on, on the ball and uh, looks to run across, but uh, does not manage to gain any yardage as she pops a pass in and uh, now it's back with Achala, but. Uh, no, Yafos boot it forward and uh, now Achala seems to be a mile offside and uh, yes, uh, the referee is playing advantage and ideally now Yafos will look to swing the ball wide and score as uh, the number 14 puts a step on the pedal as Jivanti goes over for the fourth, fifth try of the game for Yafos. Well, that thought to wrap things up, that's the icing on the cake. Final move brings the final try. Conversion to come. Should be a 35 points to 5 victory for Air Force. The conversion is successful, so that brings an end to this game uh, between Air Force and CRNFC. Air Force come up winners as uh, both teams exchange pleasantries. Yeah, that's good to see, good lady in good spirit and uh, that is uh, done and dusted. Now moving on to the cup final, it's the big one. It will be the Axis Kings and uh, the Walkers, uh, Walkers Wipers. Just a confirmation of uh, the full time score, Air Force women uh, 35, CR and FC women five as we have a change in voice up here it will be Sachin David and Dinuk you know, to take over thank you very much Joe we are coming towards the the business end of the tournament here's the walkers wipers led by Danushka Ranjan Shahan Patirana coming to Costa Dulaj Pereira Oscar Uma and uh, Samuel Joseph, the Kenyans, coached by Salia Kumar. And then you have the Access Kings, uh, Danush Dayan, Lavanga Pereira, have Sandu Nehrat in there, Vishwamitra Jayasinghe, Tarinda Ratwate, and Setafana Takau, the player coach, and also Joni Vota, who has uh, done a very good job for the Access. And they will run out uh, for the plate final of the franchise segment. Joining me on the commentary box is Sachin David. Good evening, Sachin. And we are here for the business end of the tournament. Good evening, you know, exactly. Uh, well put, business end of the tournament is right. This is effectively a third place playoff between the Access Kings and uh, the Walkers CML Vipers. Kevin Dixon, been excellent uh, all through the tournament. We haven't seen much of uh, Danushka Ranjan. He missed the first two games of the tournament. Uh, long time teammate there, Sandun Herat of Danushka Ranjan. A lot of Peter rides featuring in this game on both sides. Here's the kickoff. Uh, we're ready for kickoff. Referee Irshad Kada will uh, officiate the plate final. And uh, Dulaj Pereira puts a nice one, but just knocked forward on the far side. Uh, very good start, but uh, Danus, Danus Dayan could not take it on the full going in there. But they'll get the ball. Once again, here the replay once again. Just uh, couldn't reach it, Diane, but uh, not forward in the meantime. Luckily for Axis Kings, I was behind curtains off kickoff for the Kings. 
Here is uh, Lavanga Pereira. Picking out the base of the scrum, putting the chip behind. It's a foot race between Pereira and Dixon. Pereira gets to the ball first, but knocks the ball forward. So a good start uh, for the Kings, but uh, unfortunately the ball didn't stick. And Lavanga Pereira. Yeah, it's just a little unfortunate there. Tried to dive on the ball. Excellent speed shown there by uh, Lavanga Pereira. Just off the fingertips. Anushka Ranjan on your screen. Kevin Dixon moves into the halfback uh, position. Yes, Dixon feeding the ball into the scrum. Ball comes out nice and clean to Dulaj. Off to Ranjan on the outside. And tackling and putting him off. Here's a turnover for the Kings now. Wide pass there by uh, Chula Susanta. Susanta taking on the line. A little flick back on the inside to Sandun Herat. Sandun Herat is going over for the first try of the plate final. Excellent work there. Good combination between uh, Susanta and Herat. Created the space, drew the men out wide and just left it on the inside for the speedster. Yeah, very well done. It was started initially by Chula Susanta on the near side. Hit that up, set that up and then swung to the, to the left side of the field. Came back to the right and a lovely switch by uh, Chula Susanta to put Sandu Nerat in space as Takao, the player coach, converts the try. Set the final Takao, the Fiji legend. Here's the replay once again. Lovely switch there. Dulaj Pereira caught wrong-footed, his uh, former teammate. And Sandu Nerat just uh, jogging his way under the post. Yes. Uh Mistake on the part of Dulaj Pereira. He drifted with Chola Susanta, which opened up the space. He needed to hold his line there and trust his defender on the outside. Kevin Dixon swings it back into Dulaj. Tries to step his way through. No room for him. Dixon now taken by Takao. Referee Carter quick to the whistle. Access Kings once again switching, twisting and turning, looking for support. Now the ball comes out wide to Herat once again. The dry scholar trying to break through. Offloads. Lavanga Lavang Pereira, Pereira once again. Just uh, busting his way through, twisting and turning and dives over the try line. Brilliant stuff. Individual, a lot of strength shown there by Lavanga Pereira to score the second try for the Kings. Yes, Lavanga Pereira does look fired up for this game. He's been all over the park. He's playing at halfback, he's creating the moves and uh, completely out muscling Danush Ranjan there to go over for the second try for the Axis Kings. They now lead 12 points to 5. Takao's kick to come. Uh, easily knocked over by Setefano Takao, taking the Axis Kings lead to 14 points now. Here's the yeah. replay once again, offload by Sandun Herat. Then Lavanga Pereira, look at the strength here, takes about three players. One, Danush Karanja, not an easy one to take. Two, and then uh, they just helped him as well, pushing them to the wrong side. He just broke through. Yes, uh, Ranjan there just got caught going a little too high, and Lavanga Pereira used his upper body strength to hold him off. As uh, John Evota now breaks through for the Access Kings third try. So the Kings running away with this one. Five minutes into the game, and we've got. Uh, Just, just as we say that, uh, Joe Nevota, the experienced Fijian, he's got a guilty look on his face. Just got a bit complacent. Oh. 
definitely going into the bloopers folder look at his and face he's not happy at all isn't it he's he's uh, he's confused to take the funny side of it or to be disappointed but might must be getting a uh, earful from his uh, player coach takao yes uh, that uh, type of thing is a coach killer isn't it you know as uh, the vipers now look to get out of danger a kick and chase dixon going after this one doesn't get the contact on it vota now looking to make an amends swings it out to chula susanta susanta fends off ranjan and goes over for the corner that's the second time danushka ranjan has struggled to make chula susanta there had a word to say to ranjan as well is seventh skipper ran on the outside friend at danushka ranjan again ranjan just going uh, high not low there and uh, showing the wiper to ranjan as well in the end that would have that would be a lovely replay if you can see that once again here stuck out to take the conversion yes the kings now running right the third try what should have been their fourth jone vote Once again, Wota just creating space to uh, Chula Susanta. Fence him off. Now look at him. Stands up. There you go, the wiper. Danushka Ranjan not interested. Just a bit of fun among mates. And uh, referee Carter blows for half time as the ball rolls out into touch. So the Access Kings running away with this one. The first half score confirmation for you: 19 points to nil. The Access Kings leading the Walkers, CML Vipers. We're the last Lannisters. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms, and I will. If we don't put aside our enmities, we will die, and then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The world premiere of Game of Thrones season seven on HBO. To activate this channel, use the Dialogue Self Care app or type on space your Dialogue Television account number, space channel number, and SMS to six seven nine from your Dialogue mobile or zero double seven zero six seven nine six seven nine from any other mobile network. back here's the highlight once again this was the first try chula susanta creating space for sandun herat to score the first one and then uh, sandun herat once again going through offloading into lavanga parera good strength to fend off the sri lanka seven skipper danush karanjan look at that look at that strength twisting and turning and scoring that try and here's susanta once again gave it to jone vota broke through brilliantly but just uh, couldn't handle it and uh, here's Oscar Uma first touch for him in the game and he'll be holding on right on top of the ball referee says play on and now gives advantage for the kings danush dan on the field for the axis kings the skipper setefano stakao looks to straighten back on the inside to lavanga pereira looking for support now he's got that on to his right lavanga pereira decides to go on his own fence and he's over for his second try of the game Beautifully done there by uh, the young Candy player. Lavanga Pereira with a beautiful fend there. He's got some upper body strength on him. And uh, the Walkers CML Vipers head starting to drop now. This is the experience of uh, Setefano Takao. He knows it's been a long day. He's taking his time. long stroll back to the mark before taking the conversion decent kick not going over here's the replay once again 
Lavango Pereira, good acceleration, put the foot on the accelerator. And uh, fins of uh, Sali Handapan go to there. Beg your pardon, that's Kavandu Di Costa. Now Samuel Joseph with possession. Nanushka Ranjan on the wing now with some space to run. Steps and goes. Finally a break for Danushka Ranjan. One on one. What can he do with Setefanos Taka who steps on the inside? Offloads. To Mekalanka Pramoda who goes over for the Vipers first try. So Danushka Ranjan first touch of the ball and he's made an impact. Yeah, it took about two days for him to do that, isn't it uh, Sachin? It's a good kick as well. Dulaj Pereira converting that uh, kick of his teammate Danish Karanjan. Here's the replay once again. Danish Karanjan slowed down, fended off uh, Riza Rafaidin and then accelerated, cut back in. Good skills shown there. Tackled in the end, but good support line had two inside him, Mekalanka Pramod and uh, Dulaj Pereira. And Pramod is scoring the try for the Wipers. Yes, the good decision making there was that uh, Danushka Ranjan stepped on the inside instead of going on the outside. He stepped towards his support as the Access Kings uh, now bring play forward. Chula Susanta takes it into contact. Tarinder Rathat on the field for the Kings. Now Setefano Takao out to Jone Vota on the wing to Riza Rafaidin. He looks to beat Ranjan on the outside. Mekalanka Pramoda brings down Shone Vota. Rafaidin penalized for holding on there. Pressure coming through from the Walkers Vipers. Samuel Joseph, the Kenyan seven star. Ranjan now looking to spark something. Gives a short pass on the inside to. Called forward. A lot of the. Looked like a flat pass from up here. Referee Carter. Confirmation on the cup final coming up. An interesting one there. Science College taking on Trinity College. A lot of Trinitians up in our commentary box. Excited for that one. Good offload, Danushdan. Chula Susanta goes over for another try for the Axis Kings. Soft try conceded there by the Walkers Vipers. And uh, their heads really starting to drop now. Harinder Rathwata, we saw a lot of him on the day one. We didn't see too much of him on day two. Another young up and coming player for Sri Lanka rugby. Yeah, Tarin Rathwata was playing yesterday and Takao had started all the matches today. So, uh, fair enough for, to start Takao instead of Tarinder. Yes, uh, both men on the field at the moment as Takao knocks that conversion over. And that's exactly why he's been starting all the games. So if you're in the area in uh, in and around Candy, the cup finals coming up. Hometown boys Trinity College in the finals. Playing Science College in the school's cup quarter final. We've got the women's, the last game of the women's tournament coming up after that. Sri Lanka Army taking on Sri Lanka Navy. And then the final, the cup final. The Mobitel Eagles, the defending champions, going up against the Soft Logic Warriors, who've made one hell of a comeback today. Takao very happily waiting there. He knows that the clock is ticking. Nice hanging kick. Doesn't go the 10 meters. Well, they have the free kick. Just a few seconds left in this game now. 
Lulaj Pereira looking to spark something. Steps his way through and he's through the gap. Offloads on the inside to Mekalanka Pramoda. Good valiant defense uh, by the Access Kings and they've turned this one over. Joni Vota. Wavered pass going out to Lavanga Pereira. His teammates asking him to kick it out. He's looking to see if he can run. Oh, decides just to nudge it into touch and take the plate final. The Axis Kings, 31 points to 7, taking the plate final against the Walker CML Vipers. So they take third place going into the second leg next week in Colombo. Confirmation there. 31-7. And coming up next, we have the big game. Trinity College taking on Science College, the team for Science College. Dhananjay Fonseca, Abhishek Fernando, Sashin Munasinghe, Hashan Madhumadava, he's been brilliant for Science College. Sasindu Imash, Sanjula Rohan, Kosala Kumara. Here's the Trinity lineup Navin Rajaratnam, Akita Sakal Surya, Warren Virakun. And Mohamed Ziad, one of the key players, uh, Sachin. The school's uh, under-18 boys will travel representing Sri Lanka next week uh, in the Commonwealth Youth Games Sevens at Bahamas. And they'll play the likes of Fiji, England, Australia, South Africa and Bahamas. So it's a good rehearsal for some of the players who are playing here. Exactly. Definitely a good warm-up for them. Uh, Warren Virakun, I know, is a member of that team. Not too also sure. Also Vishwa Rana Raja, one Vishwa. of the speedsters. Yes, Vishwaran Raja definitely has been one of the stars of the school's tournament so far. Scoring a number of tries on day one. Here's Sakala Surya kicking off. Puts in the deep kick to uh, Science College. Trying to step and run through is Sasin Duvimash. Sasin Duvimash will put this and chase behind. Not much of chases for Trinity College coming here. And it's an open field. They need to catch it cleanly. And a brilliant one for Hashan Madhumadava and he scores what a try to start off for Science College Hashan Madhumadava chasing the kick of uh, Sasindu Imash a brilliant one spotted there was no sweeper for Trinity and scoring the first try for Science Yes, yeah, Science College have been playing some brilliant heads up rugby all day long you know, even yesterday they played what was in front of them they were not they didn't force uh, anything they looked to create the plays and there he saw the space in behind, put the little kick. I thought he was going to roll out into touch. It's set up beautifully for Hashan uh, Madhumadava. Brilliant collection and sprints down the touch line to score. Bit of a flip at the end as well. The kick goes astray. Madhumadava has been a live wire for Science College all weekend long. Trinity College a bit shell shocked early on, Dinuk. Yeah, there's no sweep. I think Science have read this properly. They're playing with one man up always uh, in this tournament so far. This time a short kick collected by uh, Bandara. Here is uh, Amit Kulatunga. Gives it to Naveen Rajaratnam, to Akita Sakalasuri and Warren Virakon. Now here's the speech. The Vishwarana Raja puts the accelerator on, runs around. But good tracking behind by Science. They have good speed too. The Science College boys. Akita Sakalasuria coming in support. Here's uh, Navin Rajaratnam once again trying to step back and come towards the blind side. Sakalasuria now gives it to Rana Raja this time. Vishwa Rana Raja again brought down by Science College. He's released the ball. Good clean out. And Warren Virakorn. Referee playing uh, advantage for Science College. Knock forward, says the referee. And they'll go for the kick once again. That's Madhumada with prize scorer. Amit Kulatunga collecting it. And steps back in, cuts back Amit Kulatunga. Needs to offload. Gives it to Sakala Surya. And on the outside is uh, Dulanjit. Dulanjit will try and turn and twist and turn and keep the ball in place. And a penalty for holding on for Science College. Good defense, good scratching defense there by Science College to hold on to the Trinity attack. Yes, brilliant defense by Science College. Twice they chased down Vishwarana Raja. 
the speedster for, Science, for Trinity College. He's been running circles around everyone else. So excellent work by Science College. Now they have an opportunity to get out of danger. And that's exactly what they do. So, so good last ditch defense uh, by Science College. A lot of heart in these boys. They haven't got all the resources that some of these other big schools have, but they have still managed to compete up there at the top level. They have, they have created a niche for themselves in the sevens rugby game. Had an excellent line out. And once again stepping and running through is Madhu Madhava. Madhu Madhava puts on the big right foot step and he will run under the post this time. Heshan Madhu Madhava or Hashan Madhu Madhava is just walking. Um, I hope uh, Heshar Madhumadov is in that under-18 squad travelling to the Bahamas. We're not too sure of the confirmed squad. We haven't received the final details on that. Uh, but he certainly put his hand up for that uh, selection of that squad. Madhumadov with the second try of the cup final for the Science College. He's just gone down with a calf injury. Mm, heavily strapped calf. Look at that step. A little shimmy and off he goes. Very happy to walk the last five meters. Conserve the energy. Takes his time. The magic spray coming out for Madhu Madhava. And uh, your daily sports update, the recap, uh, will be online on www.thepapare.com every day at 6.30 p.m. You can log on to the website, thepapare.com or SoundCloud to get the sports update every day at 6.30 p.m. Here's Madhu Madhava back to restart proceedings 12 points to nil they are up against Trinity College here's Virakorn Warren Virakorn good strength shown by him steps off one pushes off another now offloads looking for support huge here's hit Dula coming hit. there here's Navin Rajaratnam giving it outside to Sakala Surya has men on the outside they can Vishwa go this time here's Vishwarana Raja trying to go into contact Ball has been placed, picked up and ran through. Pops out once again. Sakala Surya going short is Navin Rajaratnam. And a penalty says the referee. That's a call that has been uh, making the stadium go who and out throughout the two days by the local referees really don't understand why they make that call let's go for the replay there's nothing wrong in that nothing wrong in that yes uh, there was not even a contest there so i don't know what he penalized them for mm. bamboozling call science college won't complain they've cleared their lines what we have to mention though dinuk is that uh, vishwarana raja has been completely shut down they've shown him the outside three times now he's taken it and they've closed it out so a lot of speed on that wing for Science College as well. And uh, Vishwa Ranaraja, who's threatened every time he's had the ball in hand, has been completely shut out of this game. Yes, Science College once again going in front of that line. Now we'll try and swing this out, use the width of the field and explore some space. Inside pass, loudly cut back. Almost through that gap there. And Trinity counter rocking this time. The ball is through and once again another penalty coming from the side, says the referee. Yes, uh, Trinity College did come in from the side there. You see some young supporters cheering on to the Papari music. Uh, 
as the half time dinner bell goes ball out into touch referee says we'll still play the line out let's see what science college does do they opt to keep playing do they put this one into touch and go into the half time break if they score one more it will be very tough for trinity to come back in the second half the second 7 minutes so they'll try something if it goes against them then uh, it will be a close game over shot line up but very well taken referee says the line out was not over so he keeps them waiting here is science once again trying to run around a lovely inside pass and uh, through he goes this time that's uh, roshan sanjula but steps into touch good cover defense there by uh, i believe it was varun virakon pushing him out into touch this uh, confirmation that is varun virakon so saving his side uh, seven points there okay, that good committed defense he's hurt himself in the process so that's what the cup final is all about you put everything on the line as we see the half time score science college leading 12 points to nil in this cup semi cup final G internet mobitel we care always welcome back to the netavala grounds you see the highlights of the first half from the cup final ashan madhu madhav was scoring two tries for trinity college i beg your pardon for science college they've come to kandy and they're putting uh, trinity college to the sword look at that little shimmy down over under the post 12 points to nil science college leading trinity college dinuk not a happy man not exactly but uh, i think trinity have come enough of uh, far than what i have expected to come in this tournament and as you said if the two tries were scored by trinity i would have been even happier beautiful kick off there by science college a pass back on the inside just lost his footing unfortunately did the science college player trinity still playing we are counting them out of this game they know but it's only 12 points in it so the two quick tries can really turn things around and this is the man to do it vishwa rana raja looks to go on the inside he's been caught on the outside twice science college player not rolling away there referee spots it penalizes him trinity college now looking to run from inside their own half Is Warren Vidakorn running on the outside? Does he have the pace to go all the way? It's a question mark. Offloads into Navin Rajaratnam and pops it off to Amit Kulatunga. Again, Rajaratnam knocked back, says the referee, and then says knock forward. Yes, uh, I'm not sure about that knock forward, Dinuk. But what did happen was the player on the ground. He continued to play the ball while he was on the ground. I will see him reaching for it. Uh, that should be a penalty. Not sure if he has penalized that. Chance college now one of their players in trouble. That's uh, Dananjay Fonseca clutching his hamstring. As a slight drizzle starts over Nittavala once again. Uh, you can get all your events covered by experts in sports photography for a budget and friendly rate. I beg your pardon, a budget friendly rate on uh, the Papare Light. You can uh, inform us of your event on zero triple seven eight double two triple seven or email us at info at the Papare dot com. Is uh, Trinity once again a great opportunity to for once again is a try 
a penalty against the Trinitians and uh, would like to see a replay on that not sure why exactly that was yes science college once again punishing with five six men on the park Good right on top defense. of the ball the ball has come out for Trinity here Yusuf uh, Yomal Bandara taking the ball into contact for Trinity College but a knock forward says the referee Here's the penalty once again. Zero contest. They are not going for the ball. He's penalized them for coming in from the side. Not coming in through the gate is the penalty that uh, the referee awarded. Been a bit harsh on uh, Trinity College. Science College, however, have been excellent. They've capitalized on all those. Vishwar Anaraja now looking to go on the outside. Tracked down by uh, Rohan Sanjula. Science College now with possession. Big tackle coming in from uh, the number one, Kanishka Navaratna. Science still with possession. Referee opting not to play any advantage for the high tackle. Here's the replay once again. If that's what he's called a high tackle, Dinuk. Uh, so not that's sure what game the referee is watching. That's three penalties he has called against uh, against Trinity. But in the game, he has called three penalties incorrectly so far. So a cup final referee. Yes, uh, Science College have taken their opportunities, however, when they've uh, been awarded to them. As a confirmation of our cup final, I beg your pardon, the women's, the final game of the women's tournament, Army Sports Club taking on Navy, two unbeaten teams in the women's uh, competition, Science College with possession now, slippery conditions underfoot with the rain, now Hashan Madhumadava sees a gap, puts the foot down, one on one, bumps off uh, Rana Raja. The player out on the wing calling for the boot, gets the offload. Steps on the inside, support needs to come. Comes in the form of uh, Dananja Fonseca. Science still with possession, looking for that uh, wide pass. Decides to go short. A little bit of a confusion there. Referee penalizes him for obstruction. Be interesting to see a replay of that. The two players did collide. And uh, the referee shown him a yellow card. Surprising call there, it didn't seem intentional. Hopefully, our technical crew can bring us a replay of that. Another worrying sign is Vishwarana Raja also limping. So, uh, the under-20 coaches As won't be happy. The replay of that uh, didn't seem too intentional there. There is a collision, but uh, I don't, I'm not too sure, Dinuk, if you can give him a yellow card for that. It didn't seem intentional. I'll just take it as a bad day in office. The candy crowd getting in behind Trinity College, trying to get them going. Remember, there's still three minutes left in this game. Everything to play for. Two tries. If Science College can score here, they can put the nail in the coffin for Trinity. Knocking that one back. Now, Hashan Madhumadav. He's been the player of the final for me. Beautifully steps in. Slides in under the post. And he's taking a nap. Yeah, brilliant try once again. Individual brilliance. Bounced on that loose ball off that left foot event and that will be most likely the winning try for science yes so madhumadava running in a hat trick for science college he says i don't want any water either i can keep going so a hat trick in a cup final excellent thing to achieve and yeah, he's brilliant isn't it here's the replay once again hashan madhumadava the ball going back, there is a loose ball, tap back into him, put the accelerator on, look at that acceleration of the right foot, uh, Sajin. And off he went under the post.
Yes, a brilliant prospect for Sri Lanka's future as well, isn't he? The nippy young player. Again, a nice high hanging kick. One of the features for Sans College has been the accuracy in the kickoff. Now, Warren Virakon looking to go around the blind side. High tackle there. Referee stops the game, decides not to play any advantage. Sans College player says, uh, I'm hurt, please don't give me a yellow card. Referee says, uh, nothing doing. He put in a lot of effort to go that high there. Warren Virakon kept playing, he's like, uh, Sir, let me keep playing, please. Begging the referee for some advantage, not getting it. Medics check the player out. He's walking away from the referee. Referee reaching into his pocket. And shows the yellow card. So finally a decision going in favour of Trinity College. Bit too late. <laughs> 30 Call seconds. Neutralizer. 30 seconds left in this game. Trinity still want to keep playing. They're not going to go down without a fight. Step back on the inside. That's uh, Vimal Pra Prabhat. Advantage played for Trinity College. Warren Vira Cohn goes into contact. Four Trinity players committed for that ruck. But Pradap Prabhat decides to go on his own. The substitute player who's come on. He says, if you guys can't do it, I'm going to do it. Uh, goes over for Trinity College's first try. On the stroke of uh, full time. He's going to take the conversion himself as well. Conversion, not good. The full-time bell goes, so that'll be the game. Here's the replay once again. Vimal Prabhat uh, scoring the try. But there is one more play, says uh, the referee. Trinity wants to get on with the game. The water boys still haven't gotten off the field. Science College collect the ball now. All they need to do is put it out. Trinity looking to force a turnover. They haven't managed that. And Science College booted into booted into touch. Science College take the cup. Beating the favourites, Trinity College. So an upset on the uh, upset here from uh, Science College. Excellent scenes. As the young lads from Mount Lavinia celebrate. So, seventh glory going to Mount Lavinia. Yeah, congratulations to Science College. They have been the silent killers throughout this tournament. Especially Hashan Madhubadava. That's the full-time score. 19 points to 5 as we have changing the voices. Romario and uh, Joe will take over through the next match. Yes, thank you, Dinuk. And uh, yes, uh, we are in for another interesting uh, ladies' game as the Army take on uh, Navy. As uh, Navy, uh, correction, Army kick off. And uh, I'm sure uh, both teams coming unbeaten would want to uh, keep the unbeaten record uh, intact as they go into the second leg. As a uh, high tackle comes in and uh, referee plays uh, advantage. And uh, now Navy look to spring an attack from inside their 22. Navy continue to keep hold of position but uh, now they decide to, to put ball to boot and uh, there is a good chase but uh, will the ball stay in touch? Uh, the ball did stay in touch but, uh, in play but unfortunately a slight knock on there as uh, Army win a scrum down just inside the Navy half. 
Yes, and I have got uh, alongside me Dinuk uh, staying put in his seat. Dinuk, uh, what do you think of this uh, exhibition games by the, the ladies on show today? Yeah, it's good. It's good for the game. Uh, there, there's a CRNFC team also is playing in this, not only the forces, so it's very good for the game. But there's a lot of talent I've seen uh, throughout the tournament. Army players, there are a couple of kick passes I, I saw for the tournament. Here's the army player just running through. She has a lot of pace and steps off that right foot to go under the post. And that's the first try for Army Sports Club. Yes, uh, she has been the standout player throughout the day today. And uh, now she comes up uh, good when uh, it really matters in the, the final game of the day. With uh, the price of uh, Stain unbeaten on the line. The army wing three quarter comes over and uh, the try gets converted as uh, Harshan Joseph joins me in the commentary box. Good to have you back Harshan. Yeah, lovely move on that occasion. Stepping out, stepping in, finding the space for herself and uh, exhilarating from that point onwards. Wonderful try and uh, army to restart proceedings once again. Sloppy hands by Navy on that occasion, but still they recover quite well. Trying to fend off her defender, not able to do so. Outnumbered, now has to offload. A lovely inside pass. Yes, that was a lovely switch there. And now Navy go on the attack as uh, they look to cut the deficit and... Uh, get a score on the board and uh, make this uh, a level playing field but uh, saying that uh, things won't get any easy as uh, this time uh, army knock on and uh, navy win a penalty for the defensive line being offside as we see the rains coming down as uh, as to the supporters feeling in to watch the cup final between uh, mobitel and uh, The soft logic warriors so that that's the next game coming up uh, but uh, right here right now it's the Air Force correction the army ladies taking on the Navy ladies as the Navy get a penalty tap and go quickly and works a little switch play there and uh, but uh, pass does not go to hand and now does she have the pace to run around well unfortunate on that occasion Trying to go around but unable to do so. Army overturned possession now. Well, she attempted a chip and run. Did backfire to an extent. It's still not in hands. Still quite of sloppy from both teams. As uh, the referee is pulling play back uh, to the initial infringement. As uh, we could see in the replay. Here's that uneven bounce. Knock back. And uh, I think that was the knock forward uh, which referee, which the referee has pulled things back to. It will be a scrum in favour of uh, Navy. Well, it's a scrum in favour of uh, Army as uh, they feed and uh, go down the short side. Uses the extra, extra person outside. Uh, and uh, now she's running towards the try line and there's no stopping her as she dots down for Army's second try in the game. Well, once again, a display of uh, sheer speed. Once she had the opening, it was just a matter of uh, accelerating through. And once again, Army far too strong on this occasion too for the Navy defense. So now they've doubled the advantage. It's uh, 10 points to nil with the conversion to come. Conversion is no good as we see a replay of that try just on the home stretch uh, and there was no stopping her. Quite a strong run. Yes, that was Charan, Charani on that occasion. Right in the number 13 jersey going over for the second try of Army. 
Army to restart proceedings here. Flatter kick collected cleanly, 12 points nil. I stand corrected as we approach the last minute of uh, the first half here in Nitavala. Both the unbeaten teams facing off each other. And that should be a knock forward. Advantage uh, played by the referee by the looks of it. As Army pick up the pieces and uh, recycle. The referee eventually blows the whistle and says crumb in favor of Army. Lots have gathered in their numbers to experience this cup final, which is coming up next. At the moment, uh, just a confirmation, it's Army SC and uh, Navy SC taking in each other in the women's segment. So it'll be Army to feed the scrum inside the Navy half. Uh, and I'm sure they'll fancy themselves to go over for another try as uh, number nine uh, Ayesha goes into contact and uh, but uh, unfortunately loses the ball and now it's uh, Navy with the possession and the player on the outside and she gets the offload and there's another one and this time uh, it's uh, number five uh, Tanuja who steps on the gas and runs and uh, support arrives just in time but the so does the counter arc and uh, this time now it's turned over by Army uh, with the first half uh, Hooter going off as well. The referee penalized for, uh, penalizes for a forward pass and with that comes the end of the first half. Army in the lead against uh, Navy women's. This is a confirmation of the score. Army leading 12 nil at half time. We'll be back following a short commercial break. First and exclusive. Your job is to be their eye in the sky, not kill. We have the ability to strike a target. I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Rescue mom! We're coming! First and exclusive, and all new on Saturdays. Yes, hello and welcome back as we see the two teams uh, and the coaches uh, giving the last bit of instructions. We see the highlights of the first half. Uh, first, it was uh, number nine of uh, Army Ayesha who crossed over for the first try under the post. Uh, and uh, soon after, Sharani doubled the try scoring uh, for Army as uh, they head into the Head, headed into the break with a 12 point advantage and uh, we are all in readiness as the referee is ready to kick off the second half You can see the crowds have gathered in their numbers here up in Nittavella. Of course, the all important cup finals coming up next. And uh, just a matter of a half remaining in this women's draw as we come to the conclusion of uh, the first leg of this Sri Lanka Super Sevens powered by Dialogue. First time the competition has been played up here in Kandy. Typical Kandy weather here. It was quite sunny during the daytime and uh, started pouring down later. Now uh, it will be Army to kick things off. I beg your pardon, Navy. Deep kick uh, gathered cleanly. Now looking for options. Tries to step in and create something herself. But uh, the defense is up for it now. Ball being recycled. I just spotted the opportunity, but the gap soon closed on her as uh, now uh, Army go back on the attack uh, through Niranjala as they set and now steps inside uh, but uh, runs straight into contact uh, as uh, Army continue to hold on to position and uh, here is uh, number seven. Uh, 
who passes, uh, Dulani who passes, and uh, Ami continue to hold on position as a big tackle comes in and uh, they seem to lose hold of ball but it goes back as Ayesha puts her foot down on the gas and uh, fence but uh, well brought down there by the number four Shanika of Navy as uh, Navy win a turnover so Navy show intent uh, in defense as uh, they are here to play in the second half yeah I think another try here would mean that uh, it will be a mountain to climb for the Navy ladies but I think uh, like you said their intent is good they're showing intensity they want to win and uh, just uh, with eight minutes played there's still enough and more time for them to get back into this game all they need is to make that breakthrough in the second half and bring themselves back into contention there's a slight delay prior to the line out I think there's a, a blood wound which is being nursed at the moment so slight hold up but uh, pay will resume anytime now as uh, Navy prepare the line out well, sloppy hands but uh, the referee has already signaled for a penalty here come army once again looking to go on the outside here's the pace that has troubled Navy throughout and once again she steps on the accelerator it's no stopping one whatsoever Charani goes uh, all the way for her second try and the third try for Army now surely it's a mountain to climb for Navy yes I think now it's a bit uh, too far for Navy as uh, they concede the third try and uh, the scores extend uh, with the conversion to come It will be Nadika to take the conversion. Conversion goes astray as we see the replay. Charani sees the space on the outside, puts her foot to the pedal, and uh, there's no catch in her as uh, she goes uh, for her second try and the third of the game for Army. Once he started uh, stretching her muscles it became quite obvious that she was going to take it all the way now Navy with the mountain to climb at the moment substitutions being made by substitutions being made by army of course quite understandable just four minutes to play bringing fresh legs on probably to do the defensive jobs if any surely they'll take once again deep kick gathered cleanly now looking for support Goes for the tall number five. Offloads quite well. Hands have been clean so far. Tries to go on the outside, but still, Army defending, which has been outstanding throughout the day. Still holding firm. No signs of uh, fatigue being showed. So that's uh, pretty good from uh, the Army ladies. Here come Navy once again, trying to manufacture something. Navy continue to hold on to position and uh, if that offload uh, did get through and went to hand, it would have been a certain try, but unfortunately, the ball is locked forward in the tackle as uh, Army continue to hold on with some tight defense. Just a matter of uh, two minutes remaining on the clock so this is a matter of seeing out for army and uh, this is the big one soft logic warriors taking on the mobile eagles the defending champions in the franchise cup final stay tuned that is going to be a real blockbuster both teams coming up uh, with quite contrasting performances mobile eagles uh, well quite consistent throughout the two days but soft logic turning up quite trumps in the second day after a very dismal performance in day one so surely there's an element of surprise about the Soft Logic Warriors on day two, so that's going to be an enthralling encounter. 
coming up next. Well, let me go for touch. Surely is a line out. And uh, just a matter of um, something over a minute remaining uh, in this women's segment. That will be the final game for the first leg. And the referee is laying down the marker. Taken too long, says the referee. Recycled immediately. Can maybe come up with a consolation try. Here's the restart. Those two hands. Looking for support. Uh, she tries to go inside, drops the ball, knocked back uh, by the looks of it. But still, Army regroup, regather, and uh, overturn possession. Here's that uh, wonderful inside outside move. And now she's going on the outside, turning on the burners, and that is going to be the icing on the cake. That's all over. And. Uh, should be the final move of the game by the looks of it. She's taking her own sweet time. Should be 22 points to nil and with a conversion to come. There goes the final bell. So this conversion probably will be the last play of the game as Army wrap up a convincing 24 points to nil victory over the Navy ladies. Both teams came unbeaten. But only one remains unbeaten. Yes, uh, it's uh, a very happy army team. We can see here on, on our pictures as they celebrate their win. Stay unbeaten in the first leg of the Super 7s uh, as uh, they head to Colombo for the second leg. And uh, here's a confirmation of the score. In fact, uh, if my memory serves me right, Army did not concede a single try and uh, in this match as well, 24 nil as uh, full-time score reads. So we will go in for a short commercial break and it will be Sachin David along with uh, Dinuk Baskaran to take you through to the final when we come back. We're the last Lannisters. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. I was born to rule the Seven Kingdoms and I will. If we don't put aside our enmities, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The world premiere of Game of Thrones, Season 7, on HBO. To activate this channel, use the Dialogue Self-Care app or type on space your Dialogue Television account number, space channel number and SMS to 679 from your Dialogue mobile or 0770-679-679 from any other mobile network. Welcome back. It's the big final between the Soft Logic Warriors and the Mobitel Eagles. Here's the Soft Logic team card. Jason Disanaika, the skipper, Salihanda Pangoda, Harishad Jamal, then you have Ninosh and Fernando in there. Ed Fido and Futua Uto is uh, one, uh, one of the key players for the Warriors in this team. And here's the Mobitel Eagles. Lee Eagle, Roshan Viratna, and Anrutha Vilvara. He's been having a quiet tournament. Watch out for this one. And then uh, Chamut Fernando also had a Good, good two days so far, along with Sharu Fernando and Mohamed Abzal, with a couple of Fijians and Americans fe featuring in this Mobitel Eagles team, coached by Nilufa Ibrahim. Welcome, Sachin, on uh, on to commentary, and uh, it's going to be a cracker, isn't it? Soft Logic Warriors lost all three games yesterday. It was a master stroke that stroke that Laga has pulled out to test the games yesterday and come back today. Exactly, and the team's taking a slow stroll out onto the park. Jason Disanayaka leading the Soft Logic Warriors. And Roshan Viratna, the 2016-17 candy skipper leading the Mobitel Eagles. The defending champions, still unbeaten this weekend. Soft Logic Warriors, three losses yesterday, two wins today. As a lineup to meet. The dignitaries. There you have the draw for today. Soft Logic Warriors beating the Gladiators in the first game of the day. Then beating the Walker CML Vipers in the semi-finals. 
on their way to the final. The Mobitel Eagles beat the Easy Wolves in the cup quarterfinals and the Access Kings in the semifinals to make their way into the cup final. The crowd is building up and uh, there's some hype around uh, as both teams just line up and uh, are waiting for the authorities to come I guess. Referees for this game uh, Sachin Just Wong from Singapore. And assistant referees Priyanta Gunaratne and Arsh Irshad Kader will be his assistant referees for this game. Exactly, and uh, the team's just waiting to be introduced. As you said, referee Wong from Singapore to uh, take control of the game. He's had an excellent day so far. There you have it, the grand final. Soft Logic Warriors taking on the Mobitel Eagles for the top spot in uh, the first segment or the opening leg of the Sri Lanka Super 7s powered by Dialogue. There we have the officials, Minister of, uh, Dele of Telecommunications and Digital Infrastructure, Harin Fernando, with uh, Mr. Asanga Seniviratna, the President of the Sri Lanka Rugby Union. Mr. Nazim Mohammed, the Secretary of Sri Lanka Rugby and the CEO of Sri Lanka Rugby, one of the chief organizers of the tournament, uh, Mr. Priyanta Rekanayaka. A lot of effort gone into making this tournament a success. <laughs> Martin Yusefo, Shamli Bura, Mohamed Absal with a few red streaks in his hair, Sharo Fernando, all uh, ready to get things underway. Niroshan Fernando, uh, former Isipatana player, now plays for Havelocks. He'll look to spark something. Andrew the Wilver, a key player for the Mobitel Eagles, out on the wing. Had an excellent day one, fairly quiet day two. Lee Kegel has been a driving force of this uh, Mobitel team. He hasn't done too much attacking, uh, Dinok, but in defence, he's been absolutely brilliant. Referee having a little debate about the jerseys, both teams in blue. So he's going to define them by the shorts. Rohit Rajapaksa on your screen. The players look ready to get things underway. Just waiting for the official call. And there we have it. Roshan Ratna To get things underway for the Sri Lanka Super 7's final of the opening leg. Jason Disanaka takes it in the air. Straight away, drop four, knock on, uh, and an opportunity here for the Mobitel Eagles. And luckily, it bounces off uh, into in goal. Shamli Bura was chasing that. Just Wong, just checking with the assistant referee, Irshad Kader, as the Papri bands have started playing in the stands. They'll have a 22 meter restart for the uh, Soft Logic Warriors. This is uh, Otto for the Soft Logic Warriors getting things underway. Goes forward now, the Eagles with an opportunity. That's 
uh, Juane Nasalo going over for the Mobile Eagles. But the referee says he stepped in touch, so they'll come back for the line out. Soft logic getting away with that one. It was an interesting restart there, uh, Sachin. Uh, he just kicked it across and he saw some space there, but unfortunately, uh, Juane just was up on, on time to uh, put some pressure on that receiver. Now here's a great opportunity for the Eagles. Yes, nice cool conditions over Nittavala. We had a bit of rain. Still uh, drizzling a little bit in the hill capital. Jason Disanayaka in the air. Sali Handapangoda with a lot of pressure. It's a knock forward, says the referee. So another op opportunity for the uh, soft logic warriors to get out of jail. So Handapan Goro will feed into the scrum. A pressure scrum for them. Just five meters out the outside their goal line. Handapan Goro feeds into the scrum. Decides to go on his own. Taken by his opposite number Veer Ratna. Rohit Rajapaksa feeds to Ed Fido. Fido puts the boot in. Chase is coming. This is Otto putting a sprint on. Beg your pardon, that's Ed Fido chasing. And Ed Fido gets the first score of the cup final here. So Soft Logic Warriors, they've been the dark horses of the tournament. Against the run of play, Sachin Dan. They saw the space, no sweeper coming up there. Just put the chip behind. And he knew that he can win the foot race. Chased it right across and kicked it once again. And a nice bounce onto him. Picked it up and went under the post. He'll convert his own try at Fido from Samoa. Yes, a 95 meter try there. They started with a scrum. Five meters out. That just goes to show seven rugby. You can go from corner to corner without in a flash. As we see the referee shirts. Uh, donning the Papare.com logo. Papare.com, a driving force behind uh, Sri Lanka Rugby. Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. Bringing you the action from the Sri Lanka Super 7s live. Here's the replay. Nicely weighted kick. Again had the patience to put another one. A kind bounce onto him by the rug of the rugby ball. And he scores. Shamli Bura takes that one in the air. Roshan Viratna. Penalized for sticking his hands in the ruck. Sali Handapan Goda takes it quickly, but off the mark says uh, referee Fido. Beg your pardon, referee Wang. Handapan Goda places the ball on the mark. Jason Disanayaka says, Go for touch. He decides to do the kicking himself. The skipper. Andrew the Wilbur on his screen. Coming back, it's a comeback tournament for him. Had a slow start so far. Yes, he had to get some possession. It'll be interesting to see him in full tilt. Handapan got to throw into the line out. Jason Disanayaka will be lifted by Raju Patsa and uh, Fido. Contested by Martin Yusefo. He steals that one. Viratna puts the boot to it. Out into touch. So we'll have a line out just two meters ahead of where it was uh, previously. Another opportunity for them. Here's uh, the Mobitel Eagles or the Soft Logic Warriors bench. Yes, we do apologize for any confusion. Both teams donning their blue jerseys. Yes, and this Anaga collects it this time. Handa Pangoda pressured by Shamli Bura. Lee Kegel com competing for the ball, puts a foot in touch. But the uh, referee says there was a knock on first. Mobitel Eagles will get possession. The Sri Lanka Super Sevens powered by dialogue. Brought to you by www.thepapare.com. Sri Lanka's number one sports hub. Bringing you live images across uh, Dialogue TV Channel 1. Coach Laga. Coach Laga. 
just uh, has a slight look at the camera as well. <laughs> yes, uh, he spoke to us before the game, before the, at the end of yesterday's play rather, and said we don't, doesn't really matter what you do in day one, day two is what matters, as Nasalo takes it into contact. Wilbur there to clear the rock. Helena Vijay Singer tries to go quickly. Coach Laga assisted by uh, Dushanta Luke, the forwards coach of the championship winning uh, Royal team. This is an interesting thing, uh, Sachin. Referee wanted to go with the shorts, the color of the shorts. And if you see one of the Mobita Liga's players is also wearing a white shot. There you go, the number one. Yes, uh, that's uh, Nasalo. So... Niroshan Fernando waiting for possession. Now Tilino Vijay Singh out to Nasalo. Quick ball out to Wilver. Can he go on the outside? Looks to go. Puts the foot down. Takes Nishan Pereira with him. Nasalo there to clear the rock. Tilino Vijay Singh. Vijay Singh rather. Roshan Viratna swings it right to Lee Kegel. He's got, eight, uh, got Martin Yusefo on the outside. He turns on the gas. Goes around the corner. And he'll trot over under the post for the first try for the Mobitel Eagles. So the champions will score on the stroke of half time. Martin. Excellent work there by the Mobitel Eagles. Yeah, Martin Yusef, Yusef from the United States of America just ran around that. The acceleration was superb by him. He is the all important kick and they'll take the lead. Seven points to nil till Navijay Singer will put it through going into half time. You see the replay on that once again. Look at this from Martin. Lovely hands initially. Lee Eagle putting him to space. Look at that acceleration. Jason Dizanak had no chance. And as well as Salih Handapangoda. He just ran on the outside channel, sprinted his way, went under the post. And just uh, yes. thanks the one all above. Yes, they do uh, churn them out big in the US, don't they? Martin Yusefo uh, played in the Olympics for the United States. The US, yeah, an up-and-coming seven side. They've got some really big names in the seventh circuit. Players like Madison Hughes, Perry Baker. Don't be afraid, make the call. Enjoy a host of benefits with Mobitel Bayak Nathua Rovi. SLT Mobitel. We care always. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Sri Lanka Super 7's final, the second half. Here's the try score on your screen, Martin Hughes, to save for from the uh, United States of America. Yes, we were speaking about the Americans. They're churning out some good sevens players there. Madison Perry Hughes. Baker, New Love. It's it's uh, surprising to see New Love not here in this circuit. He normally visits every year. He has yes. the try scorer once again. Steps off, couple of players. Very dangerous. Now gives it to Roshan Viraratna. Swings it out wide. Here's another opportunity for the Mobita Eagles. Fence off one. And running through. And he's almost through. Sali and the Pangoda will not catch him. He goes under the post for the second try for the Eagles soon after the turnaround. Yes, uh, foreign players making all the impact for the Mobitel Eagles. A little step on the inside, a powerful fender off the left. And he powers his way through. Joni Nasalo scoring that uh, try for the Mobitel Eagles. Till Navija Singer puts in the conversion. So they're trying to win back to back championships here. Here is Joni once again. Look at that fend off to uh, Nishan Pereira. Not even close steps off Sali Handapangoda. No chance. Just puts his uh, hammer down on the accelerator. 
goes under the post. Shown it. Lee Keegal instructing him to touch down right in the middle. Veera Ratna ready to get us underway. Nice high hanging kick. Contestable. Yusefo decides not to go for it. The last time he contested a high kick, uh, you know, he came away oh. with an injury. Now Roshan Veera Ratna off to Nasalo. Wilver on the corner. Steps, goes. Puts the hammer down, goes into Nishan Pereira. He's been well marked today. Thilina Vijay Singh out to Lee Kegel. Looks to put Fido into space. I beg your pardon, Yosefo into space. Vijay Singh recovers possession. Pressure coming through the breakdown. Yosefo there to clean up. Vijay Singh now. He looks to go through the middle. Needs some support. Penalized uh, by referee Wang. Masalo uh, asking for some advantage. But I think he lost it forward. And Martin Yusuf has turned up in the final, isn't it? Couple of turnovers, a sprint on the outside for that try. Now just controlling the game, advising the young boys of Sri Lanka just to slow the game down. They are ahead with uh, more than two scores for the Soft Logic Warriors to come back. About four and a half minutes to go on the clock. And he's just slowing the game down, let them play at their pace. Very good, very good experience coming in. And hope the local boys can learn out of learn something out of this. Yes, Yusefo did have a chat with us yesterday. Uh, you can catch the interview on uh, www.papare.com. He spoke about for young players uh, how they need to have a dream, have a goal, and go after that. Uh, you know, and that's exactly what uh, he has done. He's achieved great heights with the American team. They won the Singapore Sevens. Won in Glasgow a couple of years ago, finished fourth in the or fifth rather in the World Series, just behind uh, New Zealand. And the final, the Soft Logic Warriors taking on the Mobitel Eagles in the Franchise Cup final of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens. Referee Wang awarding a short arm penalty to the Mobitel Eagles. Lee Kegel takes it quickly. Now Yusefo puts a little chip in. He's going to chase it himself. Wilver are there with him. Did well there to stay on their feet. Didn't fall on the player on the ground. Yusefo with a oh flick oh. through the legs to Tilino Vijay Singh. He's all over the place, is Martin Yusefo today. Now a replacement on the field for uh, the Mobitel Eagles, Leuta. Coming on for Nasalo. Send it out wide to Shamli Bura. He's going to take Salia Hanapan Kodo on. Slips through the tackle. Dives over the line. Tells the referee. He says, I got it call. down. Referee Carter and uh, referee Wang will have a conference. And the try awarded. So Shamli Bura goes over for the third try for the Mobitel Eagles. They now lead this one. 19 points to 5. Our technical crew will bring you the replays of uh, that final so we can confirm that it was a try. The try was awarded. Brilliant, isn't it? Once again, it was Martin Yusuf who turned over that ball on the fast, on the near side. And then they swung the ball to the far side to Shamli Bura. Good strength and skill shown there. He did that earlier in the day as well. Just about in the 5 meter mark. He has a good reach on him with a good body push and controls the ball very well even in these wet conditions to score that try. Yes, the ruling is you're allowed one movement as we see the replay, Shamri Bura. Ball in the right hand, the friend to Sali Handapan Gura slips out the tackle, bounces to his feet, dives over and scores on the line. All you need is uh, the ball to touch the line. Viratma, nice hanging kick. Yusefo to contest. Everybody misses that one. Sharo Fernando claims the ball. We haven't seen much of Sharo Fernando in this tournament. He to a top flight Sri Lanka Sevens player. As we see then candy crowds. Out even in the rain to watch this brilliant rugby on display. 
Arshad Jamal Din on the park searching. He has uh, another local boy, plays for Candy Sports Club. We Ratna to Kegel. Kegel out wide now to Wilbur. Looks for some space. Decides to take Edvido on. We Ratna steps, goes back the other way. Looks for some space and he's found it. Steps through Ed Fido with the chase and the tackle. Leaves the ball behind. Fido does well to recover. Brilliant turnover work there by Ed Fido. Making the tackle. He saw the ball, just reached out his massive hand and picked that ball up. Picked it up like it was a cricket ball. Yeah, that's the skill these uh, international players. Look at the replay. Went down, released the player right on top of him. And uh, unfortunately, didn't uh, scoop up properly for him. Yes, it just bounced into the into Roshan Viratna, who was on the ground, and went forward. But it, it's magnificent how these players know how to adapt to the conditions, isn't it? You know, they they still pull out these skills even with a wet ball. They use that slippery surface to slide in over, as we saw Samri Bura earlier in the uh, days, earlier scoring that try using his momentum to get over now Leuta out to Chamot Patirana Chamot Fernando apologies flicks it back on the inside Leuta again kicks the ball out super kick and that will be the end Mobital Eagles will win the championship of the first leg in candy of the Sri Lanka Super Servants 19 points to 5. They have beaten the Soft Logic Warriors. The Mobitel Eagles taking top honors. 19 points to 5 against the Soft Logic Warriors in the Cup final. The we are the champions rings across the stadium defending champions remain unbeaten through six games three on game one three on day one three on day two roshan viratna very happy with his players the soft logic warriors put on a valiant effort on day two helena vijay singer jason disanaika looks dejected with that loss they put on what a comeback by the, the soft logic warriors you know they failed yesterday three losses in three games and they come back and find themselves in the cup finals today mobidel looks very happy they'll take the points going into day two into the second leg down in colombo at the race course international rugby stadium that one will be played under lights going to be a rugby fiesta next weekend yeah so mobile eagles so another championship title for their coach nilu Ibrahim. yes uh, everything here's the highlights package coming up this was the first try the kick and chase by Ed Fido. Look at that, controlling it perfectly, Ed Fido. Once again, a lovely bounce for him. And that was the only try the Soft Logic Warriors scored. And then the Eagles came back. This was uh, Martin Yusufo. Look at the speed, look at the acceleration and the, the willingness that he wants to score, that, that it shows on the face. This comes around the post to score that try. And then Joni Vota. Joni Nasalu running through for the Mobita Eagles once again. Touching it down. That was the second for the Eagles. And then Shamli Bula went down for the third try. And uh, so confirmation, the Mobita Eagles taking the championship. We'll take a quick commercial break and be back with the award ceremony from uh, Nittavala. First and exclusive. Your job is to be their eye in the sky, not kill. We have the ability to strike a target. 
I cannot have my presidency built on murder. Dad, give us the mission. Rescue Mom! We're coming! First and exclusive, and all new on Saturdays. Number one television experience. Sri Lanka we pick up the challenge. So we shall have to make GB Lakshya to make a data jamal. Dialogue data wasana. Data top up karna hama vitamin dialogue data wasana. It can be free data. Vedi Vedi and top up karna Vedi Vedi and free data laba gana. Swipe karana, share karana, angli fit ticket tiya gana. Dina tiya kura avata free data dina gana. Tavasa kata chai graha kin see ya. Pada karna hai di da. Invites have been sent to the ones whom the world knows, whom the world recognizes, gods of dance. मैं ला रहा हूँ मेरा स्क्वाड, world dance champions. जो इनको हराएगा वही जीतेगा dance plus three. इस बार डांस होगा एक लेवल अप डांस प्लस थ्री सैटरडे एंड संडे 8 पीएम ओनली ऑन स्टार प्लस टू एक्टिवेट दिस चैनल यूज द डायलॉग सेल्फ केयर एप और टाइप ऑन स्पेस यू डायलॉग टेलीविजन अकाउंट नंबर स्पेस चैनल नंबर एंड एसएमएस टू सिक्स सेवन नाइन फ्रॉम योर डायलॉग मोबाइल और जीरो डबल सेवन जीरो सिक्स सेवन नाइन Kuluntama Avarane Sahita Sri Lanka Ve Vegabath Majalayan Dialogue 4G Home Broadband Handan Vadhanu Prepaid Broadband Ita Pahasuwen Top Up Karala Data Plan Nikat Activate Karagana Rupiah Annu Hathi Andhra Data Plan Maghe Persekata Hariya Nama Vidhi Hatta Maasika Gaastu Munna Vatna Obe Nivasaho Vyapare 4G Broadband Samagin Balagan Vanna Dialogue Anagathe Adai 300,000 GB, the largest data bonanza ever from Sri Lanka's fastest network. Are you ready for Dialogue Data Vasana? Every time you top up, you could win free data. Top up more and win more. So get those fingers ready to swipe, surf and share all day. Win free data throughout 30 days with 100 winners per day. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now ready for the presentation ceremony. We are going to be felicitating all the players from the school Super 7s that took part and showed us all their talent. To give away the awards, I'd like to call upon the following dignitaries. First and foremost, the chairman of the Sri Lanka Super 7s and the minister of telecommunications and digital infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honourable Minister, Mr. Harin Fernando. Along with the Honourable Minister, I'd like to also call upon the President of the SLRFU, Mr. Asanga Senabiratna. The Secretary of the SLRFU, Mr. Nazim Mohammed. General Manager, Brand and Media, Dialogue Asiata PLC, Mr. Harsha Samaranayaka. And last but not least, the CEO of the SLRFU, Mr. Priyantha Ekanayaka. Right. For the first category, to collect their medals for coming runners-up, in the shield, I'd like to invite Mr. Priyantha Ekanayaka to give away the medals to the entire team. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Ipathana College. If you can come forward, the entire team can come forward and collect their medals from Mr. Priyantha Ekanayaka.
Once again, Isipatana College, the entire team can come and collect your medals. Okay, we're going to move on to the champions of the shield. And Mr. Priyantha Ekanaika will give the trophy uh, and the medals away as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Parmanaja College! Come forward and collect your, tea, uh, collect your trophy and the medals. Dharmaraja College. Once again, calling the Rajans to come and collect their medals from Mr. Priyantha Ekanayaka. And now to invite the captain of the Dharmaraja College to come and collect the trophy. As winners of the Shield Championship. Thank you very much, Mr. Priyantha Ekanayaka. And now, over to Mr. Harsha Samaranayaka to crown the runners-up and the champions of the Bowl Championship. The runners-up of the Bowl Championship, St. Joseph's College. the boys of St. Joseph's College collecting their medals after coming in second place at least in the bowl championship. I'd also like to call upon the captain of St. Joseph's College to come and collect your trophy. Mr. Mr. Nazim Mohammed, if he can step forward to crown the champions for the bowl championship and the entire team to come collect their medals, ladies and gentlemen, St. Anthony's College. Mr. Nazim Mohammed, if you can step forward, please.
and also the captain of St. Anthony's College. Please come and collect your trophy. There we go, champions of the ball. Thank you very much, Mr. Nazim Muhammad, Mr. Asanga Senavi Ratna. If we can ask you to step forward, please. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an unprecedented situation in terms of the plate. It's a very rare occasion because there are two teams, joint champions. So I'd like to invite both the captains of Kingswood College and St. Peter's College. You are the joint plate champions. Thank you very much, Mr. Asanga Senaviratna. I'd like to uh, ask the Honourable Minister to please step forward because it is now to crown the champions. Before we do that, let's crown the runners-up. I would like to invite the runners-up for the Cup. Trinity College, come and collect your medals. And of course, the captain of Trinity College, please come and collect your trophy for coming in second place in the Cup Championship. You boys did very well. And now for the champions of the Cup. It's been grueling for these school boys, but it's it came down to this one team that proved to be better than the rest. Science College, you are the champion! Rugby has culminated in this very special moment for this team. As we can see, proud faces, happy faces, smiling faces among the Science College boys as they now prepare to lift the trophy. I'd like to call upon the captain of Science College. Come and collect your trophy for all your team's hard work.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for us from here in Candy. You can get to Colombo for the second leg. Of course, lots and lots of actions. The Mobitel Eagles crown champions, but it isn't over until the fat lady sings, and she will be singing at the race course grounds in Colombo. We'll see you in one week's time. Thank you, Candy. Back to you in the commentary box. College, the cup winner, Science College. And in the franchise segment, the shield winners, the Edisal Art Panthers, the Easy Wolves taking the ball, the Access Kings taking the plate, and the Mobitel Eagles taking the cup. And that's a wrap for today from Nitavala. Join us next weekend as we bring you all the live action of the second leg of the Sri Lanka Super Sevens, powered by dialogue from Colombo. I'm Sachin David along with Sudarshan Apiris, Dinok Baskaran, Romario De Silva, Harshan Joseph and James Piris signing off on behalf of the technical crew, sharing the passion. Saturdays. Make your TV truly high definition. We built the baddest diesel. It will accomplish. Shout out! I'm going in a turn now. Activate any HD channel at 99 rupees per month. Dialogue Television, Sri Lanka's number one television experience.